40 Balak section 1 The Birch Sipper Rabbi Shimon says that Balak saw a real vision with the eyes of wisdom and that he saw it through one of the windows to Chakma. We learn that Balak was a son of Sipper meaning bird and that all his witchcraft was done through birds. Rabbi Shimon describes the origin and nature of the bird that he used for his sorcery and says that the name of the bird was Yidu, meaning known Balak knew everything through the bird which spoke great things. On her own one and Balak the son of Sipper saw the midbar 222 Rabbi Shimon said he saw what did he see he responds it is definitely a real vision he perceived through the gaze of Chakma and he saw with his eyes meaning the eyes of Chakma he noticed through the perception of wisdom as it says that Abimelech king of the Philistines looked out at a window Bershi 268 what is the meaning of out at a window it is as is written the mother of Cicero looked out at the window showed him 528. It is assuredly the window of Chakma at the corner edges of the stars that is the window that is mentioned with reference to Cicero's mother and Abimelech and these are the windows to Chakma meaning that there exist many windows and there is one window where all wisdom prevails whoever looks at the root of the Chakma can look through it here too and Balak saw through his Chakma meaning his own private window too the son of Sipper is as they said that he was a descendant of Jethro who was also called Sipper however he was the son of Sipper lit bird actually meaning that all his dealings were with birds since his witchcraft dealt with a variety of that bird he took a bird struck the grass and let it fly in the air he performed acts and whispered incantations and the bird would return with the grass in its mouth chirping for him he would then put her into a cage and burn incense for her and she would inform him of some things he would then perform witchcraft and that Foul meaning the bird chirped and flew and wandered in accordance with the one whose eyes were open who gave her his message and she would return all his words came through that bird three one day he performed his acts and took the bird she flew away and left tarried and did not return to him Balak was saddened and before her return saw a flame of fire that flew after the bird and scorched her wings he then saw what he saw and was afraid of the children of Israel what is the name of that bird it is you do and know none of those who make use of and know how to make use of that bird know its witchcraft as well as Balak knew it for all of the wisdom that he acquired came from that bird this is what he used to do he bowed down before the bird and burned incense covered his head bent over and spoke he would say the nation and the bird would reply to him Israel he would say much and the bird would respond many had rab in commemoration of the great one had rab that traveled. Among them they whispered to each other seventy times Balak and the bird he would say poor and the bird would say much had Rab he then was afraid as is written and Moab was so much afraid of the people because they were many had Rab Bimidbar 223 assuredly Rab 5 in the variety of witchcraft of ancient Castile we first found that this bird was produced at specific times from silver mixed with gold silver is the secret right column Shesedim and gold is the left column Chakma and they used it to produce and put together that bird to be likened to holiness as a monkey to people just like in holiness Chakma of the left is blended with Shesedim of the right they wanted to draw it that way however since they have no power of unification of the central column everything results in the aspect of refuse the head the first three Svarot of the bird is from gold meaning the refuse of gold her mouth is from silver meaning from silver refuse and her wings and Bura from. Like copper that is left blended with silver that is right since each one eye is comprised of right and left the body is of gold with round points of silver in her feathers her legs net satch hot and yes it are from gold and they place in her mouth the tongue of that bird you do since the tongue I asked at and since the clip hot have no doubt they have instead you do and known six they place that bird in that one window of the ones mentioned above and during the day they open the window in the direction of the sun that rules by day at night they open the window in the direction of the moon which rules by night and they burn incense and perform witchcraft during the day they conjure the sun to bestow its abundance and at night they conjure the moon and so they perform for seven days from then on that tongue is already rattling in the mouth of the bird but is still unable to speak then they puncture her tongue with a golden needle and she speaks great things on her own everything that Balak knew came from that bird therefore he was called the son of bird and he saw what other people were unable to know and could not see section 2 Sihon and Agrabi Shimon says that God can do anything immediately but because people don't fully believe they think that it will take years to fulfill a wish and so it does although the lives of people are fleeting they are sanctified with repentance and prayer and good deeds and tears since God commits himself to do. As they wish we hear about Og the king of Bashan and Sihon the king of the Amorites with whom Moses waged war Sihon was destroyed by a flame from the king of heaven and it could not therefore be rebuilt Rabbi Shimon says that the children of Israel overthrew the rulers below in this world and also in the world above he tells us why Esau did not receive his birthright even though he was the eldest seven it is written Hashem said I will bring back from Bashan I will bring them back from it. Depths of the sea to 6823 we must pay attention to the faith in the Holy One blessed be he since all his words are spoken with truth and great faith as soon as he utters something it is immediately completely accomplished if a person who is narrow of heart says that it will take several years and much time to fulfill his wish that is what happens the Holy One blessed be he in accord with his dominion that all the universe is filled with his glory reflects his way a person's words are of small consequence and all his words are of a temporary nature similarly he himself is of a temporary nature like a passing shadow however he is sanctified with repentance and prayer and good deeds and lots of tears since the supernal one who is higher than all the world lights his lamp and contracts his holiness to that person to do his wish eight now he explains the verse Hashem said is in the future to come the Holy One blessed be he will arise and bring back from Bashan all those whom they while beasts killed and devoured since M.I. from Bashan I spelled with the same letters of Mubin Shiny live from between the teeth of the beasts there exists in the world a dwelling place where all the great beasts and the great variety of mountains are and these are hidden in those the beasts hide in the mountains that place is called Bashan there is a strong desert around and a wild ass this is who dwelt among the wild desert asses there lies his strength because he was a king of Bashan meaning the king of that area and none of the world's kings could do battle due to the powerful might of Bashan Moses came and waged war with him nine Sihon was a desert cold and Moab security depended on him for Arnon is the border of Moab between Moab and the Amorites Bimidbar 2113 meaning that he was his neighbor and guarded his border come and see when Israel destroyed the city of Sihon the proclamation went forth in the heavenly kingdom meaning among the seventy Chieftains of the seventy nations gathered together you heroes who rule over other nations and see how the Amorite kingdom is destroyed ten at that moment all the rulers who were appointed over the seventy nations gathered and wanted to restore the kingdom of Sihon to its prior state as soon as they noticed Moses might they retreated that is the meaning of what is written wherefore they who speak in similes say come to Heshbon Ibid twenty seven these are the appointed rulers over the nations who gathered and said come to Heshbon who is that who destroyed it let it be built and established Ibid as originally and let the kingdom be reinstated as before eleven when they noticed Moses might and the flame of his kingdom they said for there is a fire gone out of Heshbon a flame from the city of Sihon Ibid twenty eight he asks if it already says from Heshbon why the additional from the city of Sihon isn't the city of Sihon Heshbon as it says for Heshbon was a city of Sihon the king of it. Amorites Ibid 26 12 he replies it is only that a flame from the king of heaven went and destroyed everything during the time they said let the city of Sihon be built and established simply and did not specify Heshbon it is because they figured that it would be rebuilt for the Amorites dwelling place then they replied and said we cannot what is the reason it is because all the roads and paths were sealed by the might of their higher authority if we repeat ourselves and mention again that Heshbon should be built did not a fire gone out of Heshbon and if we repeat ourselves and say the city of Sihon most certainly a flame started out from the city of Sihon since that flame of fire still prevails there there is nobody who can return it to its prior state because we have no authorization from any side 13 from here on woe to you Moab since your protector has been broken therefore as soon as Moab saw that their defense was breached and Moab was sore had me afraid of the people Bimidbar 223 what is the Mead it is very which means more than death since Meot alludes to the angel of death 14 because they were many had rabbit at earlier times Esau was great had rabbit and great is small as it is written behold I will make you small among the nations Obadiah 12 Israel became
was found the foreskin was first that is Esau found externally therefore he exited first the circumcision that is most dear meaning Jacob is revealed later therefore Esau's prior appearance is not considered as the birthright since the clippa and the foreskin have no value in comparison to the brain and circumcision not only that he was first to exit for that same reason since the shell comes before the real fruit section 3 and he showed me Joshua the high priest. Rabbi Shia tells us that a person is tried many times during his lifetime and after death and he says that God is always filled with compassion and does not want to judge people according to their deeds. Rabbi Shimon talks about three levels of compassion and he tells us about the members of the yeshiva above that gather to consider a person sentence 16 and Moab said to the elders of Midian now shall this company look up. Imid bar 224 Rabbi Shia opened the discussion with the verse. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of Hashem Zechariah 31 how much is a human being required to watch his ways in this world and walk in a true path since all the actions of a person are recorded before the king and are inscribed before him and all are accounted for the guards at the gate stand and give evidence and request true justice and the judge is ready to receive the evidence those who have claims for their justification murmur and do not know if they should go from the right or turn to the left side 17 when the spirits of humans exit from this world many accusers stand up about them and proclamations go out both for their benefit and for their detriment in accordance with their trial sentencing we are taught that a person gets tried many times in this world both during his lifetime and also afterwards since all his words are through judgment the holy one blessed be he is always filled with compassion and his mercy is over all and he does not wish to judge human beings according to their deeds this is what david said if you yah should mark iniquities adonai who could stand tehillim 1303 here we must observe since he said yah hey why did he say in addition adonai it would have been sufficient to say if you yah should mark iniquities who could stand 18 he responds it is only because there are three levels of compassion that david mentions here which are why you hey adonai and who if you yah should mark iniquities that is Abba and I am a referred to by Yudh as explained if the iniquities are so many that they have ascended above to Abba and I am a then Adonai pertains which is compassion although this name Adonai is merciful it will be aroused in judgment and all the levels will conceal through judgment yet there is still one level that we can turn to as all the remedies emanate from her that one should have mercy on us that one is M I and who that is Bina who could stand for you as assuredly as it says who can heal you each of 213 therefore if these two names Yudh Adonai were sealed and hidden from him who could stand because all the roads to repentance are open from it 19 come and see Joshua son of Yehotadek was entirely righteous a person that used to enter to the innermost sanctum they raised him up to the yeshiva up in the heavens and all the members of that yeshiva were gathered to consider his sentence such are the ways of that yeshiva of the firmament when they bring in a Person spirit to be judged the proclamation is declared all the members of the yeshiva enter into a concealed chamber and the court is gathered into session section 4 gather all members of the yeshiva to study the trial this section tells us about the trial after death and we learn that the angel Metatron who is the head of the yeshiva of heaven pronounces the sentence over everything 20 the spirit of the person is raised up by two appointees as it enters it approaches to stand next to a pillar of glowing flame that stands there and gets covered in the air of the wind that blows in that pillar and now many that are raised up there missing here since all those who study Torah and have new insights within her those items immediately get written and recorded for those members of that yeshiva then all the members of the yeshiva come to see him and those two appointed mentioned above exit and raise him up above to the yeshiva of the firmament he Immediately approaches next to that pillar mentioned above where he gets dressed in that garment mentioned above 21 after dressing in those garments he enters into the yeshiva and the members of the yeshiva observe him if the matters of new insight are appropriate he will be blessed since all the members of the session will adorn him with many laurels if it is something else meaning to say that it does not follow the path and matters of sanctity woe to him for that embarrassment and shame they give him a push and he stands next to the pillar mentioned above until they bring him in for trial and judgment may the merciful one save us 22 there are others that get raised up there when the holy one blessed be he is in a disputation with the members of the session whether the item is permissible or prohibited they say who shall decide the law here is so and so the wise man of this world let him come and decide this matter and how to carry out the law and they raise that Wise man up above there and he proves decisively by evidence that legal dispute between the Holy One blessed be he and the members of the yeshiva there are others that get raised up there for trial and they get judged there to refine and purify them. 23 Rabbi Yossi said to him if so it would seem that a person leaves and departs this world without trial judgment if he does depart by trial that is he already was judged above why then is he on trial a second time in the yeshiva of heaven he replied to him that is the way I was taught and heard it is definite that a person who departs from this world gets judged however prior to entering to be among the righteous he gets raised up for a second trial for a decision in that yeshiva of the firmament 24 at the yeshiva of the firmament stands the appointee of Gehenom to prosecute praise is the one who was found guiltless in that trial if not that appointee of Gehenom takes him when they hand him over to him and slings him. Downward like someone who hurdles a stone with a sling as is written and the souls of your enemies them shall he sling out as out of the hollow of a sling. I Shmuel 2529 the appointee throws him into Gehenom and he receives his punishment corresponding to his sentence 25 come and see and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of Hashem. Zechariah 31 means that they have raised him up above for trial within the yeshiva of the firmament after he was gone from the world standing before the angel of Hashem that is the same youth meaning the angel Metatron that is called youth who is the head of the yeshiva in the yeshiva of heaven and he pronounces the sentence over everything section 6 the child Yenik Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Yehuda encounter the small son of Rabbi Hamdan and find that he is preternaturally wise the child rebukes them for not having read the cry at SH and for having started to say grace while their hands were still dirty he talks about the five fingers on the hand of five bars of acacia wood and the five hundred years and he concludes from this that all the blessings of the priest are dependent on the fingers the boy discusses the grace before the meal and the grace after the meal when his mother begs the rabbis to look at her son with a benevolent eye the child says he is not afraid of an evil eye because he is the son of a great and worthy fish and a fish has no harm from it evil eye is the water acts as a protection for it he talks about the fact that malchut is called angel when she is an emissary from abba and i am a but when she is at rest over the two cherubim she is called adonai we read that malchut appeared to moses as an angel but to abraham as adonai and that jacob called to malchut in the name of angel when he died moses joined with malchut during his lifetime while still in his body but jacob joined with her only in spirit after he died we read about Metatron and Sandalphone who are from the great ocean Malchut and that they are fruitful and multiply in the land when the wise boy says a blessing over the cup of blessing he speaks of Rabbi Yitzhak's nearness to death and says that he should find a guarantor down below meaning Rabbi Shimon the rabbis leave the boy's house and Rabbi Shimon when encountered says that the boy will not live long next the rabbis wonder why Moses' merit did not protect the Midianites from destruction even though Ruth and Nama protected Moab from destruction Rabbi Shimon explained that Moab had not yet produced Ruth and her offspring so it had to be protected three of the rabbis return to see the boy who welcomes them and who knows without being told that they have been talking about Amon and Moab he discusses the secret of the wave offering and why barley is offered they talk about wheat saying that it is the tree of knowledge of good and evil we hear that the other side has a part the chaff in all the five kinds of grain and the chaff is exempt from tithe because it has no share in holiness. The boy says that even if the snake had not tempted Eve, Adam would still have produced offspring immediately due to God's commandment to be fruitful and multiply. The boy talks about the grapevine known as sanctity and the grapevine of the other side. He tells why water must be added to wine for the blessing after the meal to add compassion to mercy. We hear about the bad advice that the elders of Midian gave to Moab and how they were punished. The boy informs the rabbis that Moab was punished later by David after Ruth had come out of that country. Generations later, the Midianites were still longing to attack Israel. We learned that King David summoned the hosts of heaven and included his soul with them to bless God, and that later Israel took over the
marriage there was no one to take up their cause and we did our best for them therefore we could not read the cry at sh mod at its appropriate time and whoever performs a precept is exempt from a precept they said to him how did you know he said to them by the fragrance of your garments i knew when i approached you they marveled sat down washed their hands and ate bread 31 rabbi yehuda's hands were dirty he washed his hands but said the grace before he washed his hands the child told them if you are the disciples of Rabshmei the pious, you should not have started your grace when your hands were still filthy. Whoever says a benediction with unclean hands is worthy of death. 32. The child opened the discussion with the verse. When they go into the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water that they die not. Shema 3020. We learn from this verse that whoever is not careful of this and appears before the king with soiled hands deserves to die. What is the reason? It is because a person's hands dwell at the top of the world. There is one finger on the hand of a person, and that is the finger that Moses raised, meaning the middle finger that corresponds to Moses, who is the central column, as will be explained. 33. It is written, and you shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and the middle bar in the midst of the boards shall reach from end to end. Shema 2626 to 28. If you say that middle bar is another one and is not included in the five bars, it is not so rather that middle bar is one of the five bars, two bars are from this side, two are from this side, and one is in the middle that was the middle bar, the pillar of Jacob, the secret of Moses, meaning Tiferet, because the two bars in front of him are Shisa and Bura, and the two bars after him are Netzach and Hot. Corresponding to this, there are five fingers on a person's hand, and the middle bar, meaning the middle finger, is at the center above and longer than the rest. All other fingers are supported by it, since Tiferet is inclusive of all the six ends. 34. These five bars are referred to as the five hundred years, meaning Shisa, Bura, Tiferet, Netzach, and Hot of Zeir and which is the secret of the five hundred years, since the tree of life that is Zeir and goes according to them. The holy covenant is aroused by the five fingers of the hand, since yes, it comprises within it Shisa, Bura. Tiferet net sash and hot and that is a concealed matter about which I spoke therefore all the blessings of the priest are dependent on the fingers and the spreading of hands of Moses meaning where it says and spread out his hands to Hashem Shemot 933 was because of this 35 if all this is inherent in the fingers it is redundant to say that they must be clean when giving grace to the Holy One blessed be he through them and their corresponding comparisons meaning the upper cheese Bura. Tiferet net sash and hot that are indicated through them the Holy Name gets blessed therefore you who are so wise why did you not pay attention to this and you did not pay service to Rabbi Shemay the pious who declared any filth or stain rises to the other side since the other side gets sustenance from that filth and dirt consequently final water washings are obligatory and required 36 they marveled and could not speak Rabbi Yehuda said my son what is your father's name the boy was quiet. For a moment he rose and went to his mother and kissed her. He said to her mother, These wise men asked me about my father, should I tell them? His mother said to him, My son, have you examined them? If they are worthy, he said, Here I checked them and did not find them to be proper. His mother whispered into his ears and he returned to them. He said to them, You have asked me about my father and he has already departed from the world. Every day that devout holy ones walk the roads, he travels after them on. A donkey, if you are holy and elevated, why did you not notice him walking along and traveling after you on a donkey? 37. At first I noticed that you did not read the SHMA and now I notice that you are not holy and elevated. Since my father did not see a holy one riding on an ass, he should not bring after him an ass to carry the burden of Torah. Since you were not meritorious enough that my father should follow after you on an ass, I will not tell you who my father is. Rabbi Yehuda said to Rabbi. It's hot. It seems to us that this boy is not human. They ate the boy with speaking words of the Torah and giving new insights in the Torah. They said, Let us say grace. He said to them, You spoke well since the holy name does not get blessed through this grace except by summons. 38. He opened the discussion with the verse, I will bless Hashem at all times. Tehillim 342. He inquires, Why did you see fit to say, I will bless Hashem? He replies, It is because David realized that a summoning is required. And he therefore said, I will bless since when a person sits at his table, the Shechinah prevails there and the other side stands there. When a person summons to give grace to the Holy One, blessed be he, the Shechinah is restored to the supernal levels to Zeir and to receive blessings, and the other side is subdued. If a person does not summon others to say grace to the Holy One, blessed be he, the other side listens and is happy because it will have a part in that grace. 39. You might ask why. There is no requirement for summoning others in the rest of the graces he replies it is because these words of blessings about which the graces to be given are in themselves the summons come and see that it is so because when one says a blessing over a fruit that fruit is the summons for grace the other side has no part in it however prior to that when that fruit is in the domain of the other side no grace is to be recited over it as is written itb is uncircumcised unto you they shall not be eaten vi 1923 because it is in the domain of the other side on that fruit no grace is given so that the other side should not get blessed as soon as it is out of its domain of the other side after the required forbidden years of orla he may eat and give grace for it the fruit becomes the summons for grace and similarly all things in the world over which a blessing is set are an invitation for blessings they have no part for the other side 40 you might say that the grace after the Meal is also similar to it since the one cup of grace is considered the summons. Why do they say let us say the blessing for the purpose of invitation? He responds it is only because at the beginning when he drank he said who creates the fruit of the vine here the wine already served its purpose for an invitation and now at the grace after the meal we require something else for a different summons since the cup is for the holy one blessed be he and not for the meal therefore the summoning must be by mouth 41 you might say that let us bless him of whose bounty we have eaten is the invitation and blessed is he of whose bounty we have eaten is the blessing and if so why is it necessary to say before these let us say the blessing he responds that is certainly so however let us bless him of whose bounty we have eaten which is another invitation it is an invitation for he who creates the fruit of the vine at first when he said let us say the blessing that is a general invitation. For the cup of grace which is the secret of Malchut as soon as this cup is taken there is another additional invitation in the phrase let us say the blessing that is for the supernal world which is Zeir and from whence all the sustenance and blessings emanate as a result of this it is in a concealed matter that the name is not mentioned in it but rather simply let us bless him of whose bounty we have eaten the higher realm is concealed and no open invitation is to be given except through this level only but with the cup of grace there is an open invitation Rabbi Yehuda said praised is our lot that from this day that I am in this world until now I have not heard these things certainly it is like I said that this one is not human 42 he said to him son angel of Hashem is beloved that which you said and you shall make bars of acacia wood five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle clean five bars and five bars for the side westward Shema 2626 to 28 we find here a great number of bars and the hands are only two as they contain only two times five fingers the boy said to him that is what they say from a person's mouth the person's identity is recognizable however since you have not paid enough attention to be able to understand I will speak 43 he opened the discussion with the verse the wise man's eyes are in his head Kahila 214 he inquires it says only in his head are the eyes of a man in any other place are they in his body or in his arm that the wisest man of all is letting us know but the meaning in the scripture is surely this that we were taught a person should not walk more than four cubits with an uncovered head why is this it is because the Shechinah dwells upon his head and any wise man's eyes and thoughts are in his head that is upon that which dwells and remains on his head which is the Shechinah 44 when his eyes are there on the head which is the Shechinah he should be aware that the light that is lit over his head needs oil since the Person's body is a wick and the light is lit on the top in the wick Solomon the king cried out and said let your head lack no oil Kahilat 98 since the light in his head requires oil and that is good deeds about this he says the wise man's eyes are in the head and in no other place 45 you are certainly wise men and the Sheshanah dwells upon your heads how is it that you have not noticed what is written and you shall make bars of acacia wood five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle the first and second side of the tabernacle are mentioned in
See that the water acts as a cover for them and no evil eye has an effect on them therefore it is multitude assuredly in the midst of the earth means within the people that are dwelling on the land meaning that the evil eye will not harm them even though they are not covered as our fish they said to him son angel of Hashem we do not have an evil eye and neither do we come from the side of the evil eye the holy one blessed be he covers you with his wings 48 he opened the discussion with the verse the angel who redeemed me from all evil blessed but Jacob said this verse in the holy spirit and if he said it to him in the holy spirit it must contain the secret of wisdom the angel he asks he calls Malchut an angel and calls it also other names why has he here called her Malchut an angel he replies it is only when Malchut is a messenger from above and receives splendor from the mirror above that Abba and I am a blesser say to her my daughter go and watch your residence meaning it. World visit your household that is what you should do to your household go and sustain them go since the world below waits for you and the members of your household are waiting for food from you you have all you need to give to them then Malchut is called an angel also messenger 49 you may wonder that we find that Malchut is called angel in several places and yet is not sent to sustain the worlds furthermore with this name angel she does not sustain the worlds but rather by the name of Yudhe Bapa he responds it definitely is so when she is an emissary from Abba and Ima she is called angel and when she is at rest in her own place over the two cherubs Adonai is her name 50 when the Shechinah first appeared to Moses she is called an angel as it says and the angel of Hashem appeared to him in the flame of fire Shema 32 to Jacob it did not appear like that except in the likeness meaning by Rachel below who is the likeness of Rachel above which is Malchut it is. Written Rachel came Bershi 299 which is the form of another Rachel above which is Malchut as is written thus says Hashem a voice is heard in Ram Rachel weeping for her children Yermea 3114 this Rachel is the secret of Malchut here too Rachel came generally indicates Malchut which she Bershi 299 these are the levels of Malchut her fathers if it surely since Abba that is Chakma is the foundation of the daughter which is Malchut and all that is all the worlds were appointed and assigned to her hands for she kept them she also leads them and has been assigned over them 51 so it was written pertaining to Moses and the angel of Hashem appeared to him in a flame of fire since the first time Malchut appeared to him in the aspect of an angel as mentioned above and that is more important than the vision of Jacob that was only a likeness you might think to say that Abraham's praise is greater than his since no angel is written pertaining to him but rather and Hashem appeared to him by the oaks of Mamre Bereshit 181 he responds the name of Adonai appeared to Abraham which is in Allah Dalit as I has written my master Adonai pass not away I pray you from your servant Ibit 3 it is because during this period he received the covenant and what was concealed from him up to then was presently visible to him the master and ruler which is Adonai he was worthy of that since he was then connected in that level Malchut but nothing more therefore Hashem was revealed to him by the name of master and ruler that is by the name of Adonai 52 however there was no division in Moses as is written Moses Moses Shema 34 without any dividing mark as it is written pertaining to Abraham 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 Bereshit 2211 where a mark punctuation exists to make a division the division mark alludes to a second Abraham who is now perfected which was not the case with the earlier Abraham there is a mark difference between Abraham at present to Abraham of the past however at the instant Moses was born the shining mirror was already with him which is the light of Zeir and as is written and when she saw that he was goodly Shema 22 it is also written and Elohim saw the light that it was good Bershi 14 which alludes to Zeir and here too goodly alludes to Zeir and because Moses was immediately connected to his own level that is Zeir and therefore it says Moses Moses without a separating dividing mark between Moses and Moses 53 therefore Malchut reduced itself towards Moses who was on a constant level of Zeir and as is written the angel of Hashem and not in its own name since Malchut receives from Zeir and Jacob called Malchut at the time he departed from the world by the name of angel like Moses what is the reason at that time he was inheriting her to rule over him as Moses did since Moses joined with Malchut during his lifetime but Jacob was joined with her only after departing from the world Moses was with Malchut while still in his body Jacob only in spirit after it left the body praise is a lot of Moses 54 who redeemed me from all evil Bereshit 48 16 meaning that he never came close to the side of evil and evil had no domination over him bless the lads of it prior to his departure Jacob established his household meaning Malchut like a person who moves to a new house who makes his own little arrangements and adds decorations bless the lads that means the no lads who were appointed over the world so as to draw blessings from them these are the two cherubs Metatron and Sandalphone and let my name be named on them Ibit meaning Typhoret the measure of Jacob now he constructed his abode which is Malchut and he rose to his own level which is Typhoret since the connection of Malchut is with Jacob who is Typhoret the body which is Typhoret gets joined where it should meaning in Malchut and two arms are with him that is the names of my fathers Ibit which are Chesed and Vera 55 after these lads Metatron and Sandalphone get blessed as required then let grow into a multitude like fish in the midst of the earth since it is a matter of fish to multiply and be fruitful inside the water if they leave the water for dry land they soon die these are not like that they are however from that great ocean meaning from Malchut their increases by being fruitful and multiplying within the land meaning in the lower worlds that are drawn down from Malchut which is not the case for all the fish in the world 56 it is written and he blessed Joseph and said Ibit 15 yet we don't find any blessings here it is only later that he blessed him as it says Joseph is a fruitful bow Bereshi 4922 he responds it is because by blessing these lads he also was giving a blessing to Joseph they could only be blessed through Joseph since Malchut has nothing of its own except what Joseph who is Yezid of Zeir and gives her therefore he gave his blessing to Joseph who bestowed it on Malchut and Malchut to the lads which are Metatron and Sandalphone because Yezid is hidden and it is improper to uncover it for fear that the foreskin should come near and suckle from it it is written in a hidden form because and let my name be named on them and the name of my fathers they are blessed from the fathers who are Chesed Bura and Typhoret and not from any other place in the midst of the earth that is the cover to cover that which needs to be covered which is Yes, that Malchut that is called earth covers therefore Joseph is also alluded to in the scripture however in a hidden way that is a different explanation than the one mentioned nearby 57 they approached and kissed as before they said let us bless the child said I will give the grace since everything that you heard up until now you heard from me and I shall fulfill in me he that has a generous I shall be blessed Mishlei 229 pronounce it shall bless what is the reason for he gives of his bread to the poor of it and you ate and received my bread and vittles of the Torah Rabbi Yehuda said beloved son of the holy one blessed be he were we not taught that the master of the household cuts the bread and the guest gives the grace he replied to them I am not the master of the household and you are not guest however I shall fulfill the scriptural verse that I have found since I certainly have a generous I without your request I spoke of new insights in the Torah until now and you ate my bread and food 58 he took the cup of blessing and said the blessing his hands could not carry the cup and were shaking when he reached for the earth and its food sustenance he said I will raise the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Hashem Tehillim 11613 he placed the cup on its spot and settled to the right and continued the blessings at the end he said may it be your will that to one of these meaning Rabbi Yitzhak should be drawn life from the tree of life upon which all life is dependent the holy one blessed be he should be assured he and he should find a guarantor down below meaning Rabbi Shimon who would agree to be a guarantor together with the holy king as it is written that Rabbi Yitzhak was close to death yet Rabbi Shimon held on to him and was his surety and he remained among the living 59 when he completed giving his grace he closed his eyes for a moment and opened them afterward he said friends you have a message of peace from the good Master to whom the entire universe belongs they marveled and wept and blessed him they slept over that night in the morning they rose early and left when they reached Rabbi Shimon they related the episode to him Rabbi Shimon wondered and said he is a son of a strong rock and he is deserving of it even more than a person could imagine he is the son of Rabham Nanasaba the elder Rabbi Lazar was shaken he said it is incumbent upon me to go and see this candle that is lit Rabbi Shimon said this one will not rise in
Therefore there is an inappropriate bias in this matter since Midian appeared worthier to be saved than Moab 61 Rabbi Shimon said there is no comparison to the one who is going to gather the fix to the one who already gathered them since Ruth and Nama had not yet emerged from Ammon and Moab which is not the case with Sipporah who had already emerged from Midian Rabbi Lazar said to him although they already gathered the fix it is still a merit and they should have been saved in there. Merit he said to him like whoever has not collected the fix yet constantly guards that fig tree so that it should not get any harm for the sake of the fix that are still to grow in the future he abandons the tree and does not watch it after collecting the fix 62 so with Moab that was to produce in the future these fix Ruth and her offspring the Holy One blessed be he guarded them as it says do not harass Moab Midian had already produced the fix and they were collected as it is. Written Vex of Midianites, Bimid bar 2517 since from here on this fig tree will no longer produce fruit therefore it deserves to be burned by fire he opened the discussion saying and Moab said to the elders of Midian Bimid bar 224 Moabites are the ones who started to distress Israel for the sake of the fix Ruth and her offspring that Moab is destined to produce in the future they were saved from punishment 63 Rabbi Lazar wished to see Rabbi Yossi son of Rabbi Shimon son of Lekunya his father-in-law Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Yossi accompanied him they went along the road and were speaking of Torah matters all along the journey 64 Rabbi Abba said that it is written and Hashem said to me do not harass Moab nor contend with them in battle it is also written and when you come near opposite the children of Ammon harass them not nor contend with them Devarim 219 the injunction about Ammon's children was similar to this one with Moab what difference was there between the one and the other they seem of equal weight we were taught that when Israel approached the inhabitants of Moab Israel displayed themselves to them in all their battle gear as if they wished to provoke them as for the Ammonites Israel were covered in their clothing and the battle gear was not visible at all yet the scriptures seem to indicate that they were equal 65 Rabbi Lazar said certainly it is so we were also taught that this one was impudent as is written and called his name Moab. Bear sheet 1937 meaning I have the son from my father had me a however the younger one who said Ben Ami of the 38 son of my nation was discreet in her manners Israel too were discreet in their manners to her that they were enveloped in the cover of a talent and appeared to them as real brothers we have already explained the 66 while walking along Rabbi Lazar was reminded about the child they went out of their way three leagues and reached there they visited that house entered and found. The child who was sitting at the table being prepared for him as soon as he noticed them he approached them and said to them enter holy pious ones enter plants of the world those above and below exalt you those for whom even the fish of the great ocean leave for dry land he now saw in them that his father Rabbi Hamana appeared to them Rabbi Lazar approached and kissed him on the head he then returned again as at first and kissed him on the lips Rabbi Lazar said the first kiss was about the fish that left the water and went to dry land meaning about Rabbi Hamana who appeared to them and the second kiss was about the eggs of the fish that produced good offspring in the world meaning for the sake of the child himself who was the son of Rabbi Hamana 67 the child said in the fragrance of your clothes I see that Ammon and Moab were provoking you how did you save yourselves from them you had no battle gear in your hands without it how did you travel securely without fear Rabbi Elazer and Rabbi Abba and the friends marveled Rabbi Abba said praise is this road and praise is our lot that we were worthy and managed to see this they prepared the table as before 68 the child said holy sages do you wish dainty dishes without battle or a table of war utensils and dishes of war or do you wish to praise the king in complete battle gear since the table does not rise without battle Rabbi Elazer said beloved and lovable and holy son this is the way we wish we strive with all. These battle gear we know how to do battle by sword by bow by lance by sling stones and you are a child you have not seen yet how the mighty men of the world wage battle 69 that child was glad and said certainly I have not observed how the mighty of the world wage battle however it is written let not him that curds on his harness boast himself as he that takes it off I may lodge him 2011 first year something and then you can congratulate yourselves they prepared the table with bread and all. That is necessary Rabbi Lazar said how much gladness there is in my heart with this child and how many new insights will be remarked at this table therefore I know that bells are peeling out applause of the Holy Spirit that is moving within that child 70 the child said whoever wishes to eat bread let him eat it by the sword Rabbi Lazar was glad and again brought the child close to him he said to him since you exalted yourself you have to begin the battle at first I said that the battle will begin after the meal however whoever wishes for fine flour sifted out of husks that are the clipot shall bring the gear of battle in his hands Rabbi Lazar said it is appropriate for you to show us what battle gear you possess 71 the child opened the discussion with the verse then it shall be that when you eat of the bread of the land you shall offer up the gift to Hashem Bimidbar 1519 this verse although it pertains to dough was said of the Omer of the wave offering what is the Omer? Of the wave offering because the priest waved it up high it is called wave offering what does it concern us if that offering of the Omer was waved or lowered 72 he responds assuredly one has to raise it up high hence it is a gift for this it should have been called truma and gift of the language of Aram and raising up and not nyfa and waving although we explained that truma contains letters also implying try my made for two of one hundred and that is correct indeed. Nonetheless the primary meaning of truma is due to Arama, raise up wherefore I as it called wave then if it means you're raising up above it should have been called truma then he responds here lies the secret of wisdom O pious holy ones masters of the lances that you have not served Rabbi Shmei the pious had it not been for that you would have known what a wave offering is what is wheat and what is barley 73 nyfa and wave offering that we mentioned means pay and give. Mouth which are the letters of Nyfa the secret meaning of it is give glory to Hashem your Elohim your Mayah 1316 since mouth is glory which is Malchut called glory that should be given to the Holy One blessed be he meaning to raise and unite Malchut with Zeir and that is why we are required to raise it up above towards Zeir and to indicate that we are giving to him to Zeir and this mouth which is Malchut since the king of high Zeir and has no praise except when Yisrael restore this glory which is Malchut and give it to the king of glory Zeir and that is give mouth give glory and that is definitely raising meaning to raise up Malchut to Zeir and 74 let us return to the verse we began with then it shall be that when you eat of the bread of the land he asks was the bread of the land just barley and nothing else this verse even though it is mentioned to be the precept of do contribution alludes to the Omer of the wave offering and that Omer of the wave Offering was offered with barley he responds it is not so since there are five kinds of grains and we offer barley because it is the first of the other kinds of bread in the world sir and barley is the letters of sheer hay and measure of hay which occupies a known measure in the hay which is malchut cheetah and wheat is the central point where the other side of the scale of guilt has no place on it cheetah is a daughter that asks petulantly have michetah before her father and he does. Her will what is cheetah that is the numerical value of the 22 letter 75 rabbi laser said although we should listen to your speech we have something to say here and draw our bow had catch it our bow of language and alluding to difficulty had kushi the child said behold a shield against that arrow meaning to say that he would be ready to explain away that difficulty rabbi laser said certainly we call it cheetah however we notice that of all the tribes there are no letters chet and tedin. Their names because they are indicative of sin have chet chet alaf and a hold for the external forces yet in cheetah there are chet and tet because we call her cheetah if so there is something that gives a hold for the outer forces and not like the child said that the other side of debt has no part there that child replied it is definitely so the chet and tet that indicate the hold of the other side prevail close by that is near to malchute within them among the tribes those letters did not exist because they emanated through the side of holiness that is above since the twelve tribes are drawn from the twelve aspects that are in malchute that result from the twelve permutations of yud he bab all of which are holiness however near or near malchute that is called cheetah the letters chet and tet do exist which indicate the hold of the outer forces 76 you might wish to draw the sword and wonder why the daughter holds onto these letters chet and tet if there is a hold for the outer forces however if you know the sin of Adam which they said was that the tree of knowledge of good
Anything that rots on earth what is its part the chaff which the wind drives away as is written not so the wicked but they are like the chaff which the wind Hebrash drives away Tehillim 14 that is the Holy Spirit Hebrash which is Malchut as is written for the wind passes over it and it is gone Tehillim 10316 the Holy Spirit that is Malchut scatters it to all directions in the world so it should no longer exist chaff is the female of the clip of the male of the clip what is that it is Straw 79 chaff and straw which are the male and female of the clip go together therefore they are exempt from tithe because they do not contain any part in holiness hay of cheetah is the clean grain without the straw and chaff chet and ted of cheetah are male and female chaff and straw of hay 2i is included with chet and ted it indicates refined grain and the perfection of the tree that is malchut is the wheat grain which is indicative of refined grain without clip the tree by which Adam sinned was wheat since all is in the secret and in the word cheetah rabbi laser wondered and the friends marveled rabbi laser said it definitely is so eighty that child said this is definitely the meaning of the verse with which we began because barley appeared first in the world because it is from the illumination of the left without right which is chakma without chesedim that is in malchut because it is the beginning of establishing malchut it is only good for animal food meaning Malchut that is called beast have behemoth that equals in numerical value 52 yud hay bob hayfully spelled with hayes and barley is the secret of thousand mountains which is the secret of chakma that is called thousand that is grown every day and she malchut eats them it is called loaves offering which is the food of that offering which is malchut that is offered at night since chakma without chesedim is the secret of darkness since chakma cannot shine without chesedim therefore the time when it is revealed is at night which is the secret of darkness without chesedim that are the light of day it is written and when the sun is down he shall be clean and shall afterwards eat of the holy things because it is his food bayakra 227 of the holy things indicates offering of the holy things and not just the holy things since just any holy thing is not considered an offering we have studied the ritual restrictions of holiness over truma 81 the holy land that is Malchut is under the authority of the Holy One, blessed be he, and no other authority enters there. How is the land tested if it keeps her faith, meaning to say if she is faithful to her husband, who is the central column, who fixes it so that Chakma should not illuminate on the left except from below upwards, she was not joined to another authority that is the other side, whose manner is to draw the Chakma from above downwards in reverse to the manner set up by the central column that is Zeir. And then the test is by this offering of barley, similar to the secret meaning of the test of the Sotalid wife suspected of idolatry. Rabbi Abba spoke definitely the edge of the sword is before you. That child replied, I certainly was strengthened with a shield and protective breastplate to be protected from it. Rabbi Abba said, Isn't the Holy Land clear of any other dominion which is the other side that does not enter therein? And if so, where did chaff and straw which are come from 82 the Child opened the discussion with the verse so Elohim created man in his own image and Elohim said to them be fruitful and multiply. Beersheed 127 to 28 he asks if the snake would not have tempted he there would have been no births in the world or if Israel would not have sinned by the golden calf they would not have produced any offspring yet here the verse in the scripture says and Elohim said to them be fruitful and multiply it is therefore certain that even if the snake would not have come upon you Adam would have produced offspring immediately since that was the pronounced decree as soon as he was created as is written be fruitful and multiply replenish the earth however these offspring would all have been entirely clean without any filth there is an analogy with the holy land where no other dominion enters into it but it contains chaff and straw that do not result from the other side and outside of the country that chaff and straw is of the other side that follows it. Holiness like a monkey after men 83 Rabbi Lazar and the friends approached and kissed him the child said to them it seems to me that I have burned with my battle here the bread on the table Rabbi Lazar said it is definitely so since all the weapons are in your hand and are successful in your hands they again approached and kissed him 84 the child opened the discussion with the verse and on the vine were three tendrils bear she 4010 up until here is the subject of the vision of his dream which is the grapevine and three tendrils and the grapes from here on it is his own vision as is written and Pharaoh's cup was in my hand Ibit 11 meaning what he performed himself however the vision subject that was in his dream was for the sake of Joseph to inform him so that Joseph would hear it and no 85 we were taught that there exist seven firmaments they are of seven chambers and they are six and they are five and all emanate from the supernal ancient one Jacob draws that wine from a distance and squeezes them from the grapes of that grapevine and Jacob draws that wine that is proper for Isaac and he joyously drinks it this is what it says and he brought him wine and he drank Beersheet 2725 here the upper and the lower were included together therefore one stretches the word and draws it out by a lengthy tune over two vowel motions that are the double merchant lit cantillation marks and that is the word him of and he brought him wine that it has a double sound mark under it him below and him above 86 Enoch who is Metatron the one that is the head of the Yeshiva of the firmament said that and he brought him wine means that he blended that wine with water and if he would not have put water into it he would not have been able to stand it Enoch Metatron spoke well that is the reason that the word him gets drawn out longer with a double cantillation mark when pronouncing it meaning the double merchant mark as mentioned above since he is connected to both directions to the right and to the left that wine flows from level to level all having a taste of it until Joseph the just who is yet of Zeir and been taste of it who is a faithful beloved this is what is written like the best wine that goes down sweetly for my beloved Sher Hasherim 710 what is the best wine it means that Jacob blended water into it and that is a good wine and this is so as Enoch Metatron has said Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Abba marveled they said to him with your good wine you triumphed over a holy angel by the holy spirit meaning that you revealed the concealed words of the angel Metatron 87 the child told him up until now that great wine is waiting to produce fruits meaning that the illumination of Chakma its fruits should be revealed in it as mentioned and on the vine refers to the great wine known for its sanctity which is Malchut there exists another great wine which is a foreign great wine whose grapes are not proper grapes but are only hard and sour to the heart and bite the palate like a dog these grapes are considered the degenerate plant of a strange vine your maya 221 which is the other side however it is written about this grapevine malchute and on the vine meaning that known one the one from which all the holy ones get to taste the ancient wine the good wine the wine into which jacob added water as mentioned previously above until all those who know how to taste wine get to taste it and it is pleasant to the palate 88 when that grapevine which is malchute is reached it sends out three tendrils which are the forms of the three patriarchs which are the three columns by which it is sanctified since there is no sanctification except through wine and there is no grace except by wine at the location where joy exists meaning wine that makes mary as explained above and it was as though it buddied bear 4010 meaning like an adorned bride that approaches with love and gladness of wine that is it Illumination of Chakma that is blended with water which are Shesedim and its blossoms shot forth of it meaning that her love reaches to her beloved Zeir and she begins to play music and enter with love and it brought forth ripe grapes of it as these young grapes have become full and ripened and are full of that fine old wine the wine which Jacob has blended with water 89 therefore whoever says the blessing after the meal over wine and reaches for the land needs to add water to it since he should not say the grace of have mercy Hashem or Elohim upon Israel your people unless there is water added to that wine meaning to say as long as the illumination of Chakma in the left which is the secret of wine is not blended with Shesedim that are on the right which is the secret of water there is no compassion in Malchut and it is exclusively judgment without mercy if he does not pour water into it who could stand the judgments of Malchut that was what he the chief one steward had to inform Joseph who is Yezid of Zeir and since it was dependent on him meaning to say that he was the one bestowing everything on Malchut 90 Enoch Metatron said three tendrils definitely correspond to the three patriarchs that are three columns, which are Michael Uriel Raphael he asks does she not have four angels Michael Gabriel Uriel and Raphael and why does it say three he replies it must be in accordance with what is written and it was as though it buddied because during the time when she rises and soars with her wings so as to rise up meaning when she shines from below upwards then its blossoms shot forth that is the fourth one that remained meaning Gabriel who rises with her and does not abandon her since Gabriel is from the left column and
matter you are obliged to do her wish I beg of you since she invited you to do her bidding they replied definitely they sat and ate and rejoiced with him after they completed the meal they remained at the table he began the discussion 93 he opened by saying and Moab said to the elders of Midian Bimidbar 224 he asked it does not say the elders of Moab said to the elders of Midian but Moab said that means that the young of Moab took counsel of the elders of Midian and the older ones followed after the wishes of the younger ones and gave them advice what was the advice with which they counseled them they took for themselves bad advice the elders of Midian said to Moab we have grown a bad crop among us and who is it, it is their master Moses there was among us a priest who took care of him and supported him in his house and gave him his daughter for a wife furthermore he gave him money and sent him to Egypt to destroy the whole country and he the priest and his entire household got carried away after him if we could root out from the world that master of theirs all his people would be uprooted from the world the entire disastrous advice in the matters of PE or stemmed from Midian 94 come and see that everything stemmed from Midian the thrust of their counsel was about Moses and with the advice of Midian they hired Bilam when they realized that Bilam was incapable they followed another bad idea and they freely loosened their women and daughters even more than Moab about the women of Midian it is written behold these caused the children of Israel Bimidbar 3116 everything stemmed from Midian they took counsel with their chief that he should loosen his daughter since they were plotting to ensnare Moses in their net they adorned her with how many spells so she should successfully catch the head of Israel and the Holy One blessed be he turns wise men back Yeshayah 4425 95 they envisioned that the head would be caught in their net yet they did not know who it was they saw yet saw not they had a vision that the chief of the people would fall for her for Kashbi and several thousand others they thought it would be Moses so they let her loose and gave her orders about Moses so that she should not couple with another but only with him she asked them how will I be able to tell him apart they said to her the one that you'll notice that everyone stands up before you will engage yourself with him and with nobody else once Simri son of Saul came 24,000 people from the tribe of Shimon stood up in his honor since he was their chief she assumed that he was Moses and she united with him when all those 24,000 saw this they carried on with whatever they saw fit and that was the cause of everything that happened after that 96 everything originated in Midian in several ways therefore Midian was punished and the Holy One blessed be he said to Moses execute the vengeance of the children of Israel on the Midianites Bimidbar 312. For you it is appropriate and becoming as for Moab I leave them alone until the two jewels will come out from among them here's David son of Yishai who will take revenge on Moab and will rinse the loaded pot of filth from P.E. or this is what it says Moab is my washpot Tehillim 6010 assuredly as long as these two jewels did not come out of there they were not punished as soon as they came out David came and washed clean the pot from their filth and all received their punishment Midian during the time of Moses and Moab during the time of David 97 come and see that in spite of all this the wicked of Midian did not rest from all their evil generations later when they saw that Joshua had died together with all the elders who were worthy to have miracles caused through them they figured that the time was now opportune what did they do they approached Amalek and told them it is worth it for you to remember what the children of Israel and their master Moses and his disciple Joshua have brought upon you that will destroy you from the world now is the opportune time for they have no one to shield them we will go and accompany you as is written Midian and Amalek and the children of the east choked him 633 and because of Midian the children of Israel made for themselves the tunnels Ibitu there was no one in the world who wished to harm the children of Israel like Midian you might say Amalek because of jealousy of the covenant they approached the covenant to harm IT therefore the Holy One blessed be he took everlasting vengeance which was not to be forgotten they agreed that it was certainly so and there was no doubt in the world 98 he opened the discussion with the verse and Hashem said to me do not harass Moab Devarim 29 he inquires until now didn't we know that the Holy One blessed be he talked to Moses and not with anyone else so why would he need to inform us and Hashem said to me why to me he responds it is only to Moses that the Holy One blessed he gave the command not to lay siege to Moab to anyone else he did not give such a command he did not give this command to David therefore it is written and Hashem said to me do not harass Moab not even a small part of their boundary because from them will come out the one who will provide vindication for the children of Israel and provide them with revenge on Moab that is David who is a descendant of Ruth the Moabite 99 nor content with them in battle but all this was a command to Moses however someone else was permitted if you would venture to say that Joshua and the elders who lived long after him were also permitted it is not so all were from the original courthouse of Moses and whatever was forbidden to Moses was also forbidden to them furthermore the goodly jewels have not yet come out from among them since Ruth emerged in the days of the judges and she was the daughter of Eglon king of Moab Eglon died because Ehud killed him and another king was appointed this daughter of Eglon remained and was in the hands of a nurse in the fields of Moab as soon as Elimelech arrived there he took her for his son 100 if you say that Elimelech converted her there it is not so however she was taught all the household customs including permissible food and drink when did she get converted later on when Naomi left and she said your people shall be my people and your Elohim my Elohim wrote 116 Naomi who emerged from the offspring of Ammon came out at the time of David 101 at that time the Holy Spirit prevailed on David the Holy Spirit that is Malchut said to him David when I measured the entire universe and through lots and Israel was the lot Hebshebel of his inheritance Devarim 329 I remember what Moab did to the lot of his inheritance it is written and measured them with the line Hebshebel 2 small 82 meaning with the very measuring line of Hashem's inheritance that is Israel that line was hanging on to all those who issued from that seed of Moab that did harm Israel in the days of Moses 102 it is written one full line of it what is the meaning of one full line this is what is written the whole earth is full of his glory Yeshayah 63 that is Malchut which decreed this one to life and this one to death that line was attached to those who deserve to get killed therefore he held that rope and extended the line due to what he caused to that line of Hashem's inheritance 103 Gideon was destroying all that seed of Midian so that he left none of those who planned to harm Israel by counsel or in any other way to all those that caused harm to Israel the Holy One blessed be he will reserve hate for them and be vindictive to them however if good is destined to emerge from them he will be long suffering and extend the period of his anger to them until that good has emerged into the world and he will carry out their sentence of vengeance Rabbi Lazar said that is definitely the meaning and that is the clarification of it that child said from here on friends prepare your weapon to do battle 104 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse bless Hashem you angels of his mighty ones Tehillim 10320 David the king summoned for the blessing of the Holy One blessed be he he summoned the hosts of heaven which are the stars and constellations and other armies and included his soul with them to bless the Holy One blessed be he this is what is written bless Hashem all his works in all Places of his dominion, bless Hashem, all my soul. Ibid 22, he concluded all the blessings with his soul. 105, he invited the lofty angels to bless him as it is written, bless Hashem, you angels of his. Before Israel arrived on the scene, the lofty angels in heaven used to prepare and complete this work as soon as Israel arrived and stood at Mount Sinai and said, Will we do and obey? Listen, Shema 247, they took over this task from the serving angels and became part of his service since then. That task on earth was exclusively Israel's. The sanctified angels were on their own and Israel would complete and perfect this work. Therefore, at first, prior to the arrival of Israel, were mighty ones who performed his bidding. Tehillim 10,320, and after that, the angels were only here kenning to the voice of his word. Ibid, but those who performed his bidding were Israel, praised are Israel who took over the service from them. It was kept up through them. 106, that boy said, Watch yourself now. And be successful with your battle here is this the only praise that Israel gained and no other praise he said this praise I discovered and no other that child said since your sword is not accomplishing anything or you are not brandishing it effectively leave the sword to someone who is capable of waging war with it 107 what is the highest praise that is not passed on to the angels exclusively except in conjunction with Israel it is sanctification blessings were given to them alone as they were given to Israel however sanctification was not handed to them alone but only accomplished together with Israel since they do not sanctify the holiness except
109 Rabbi Lazer said it is definitely so and these matters I have already explained I further explained that the three sanctities were given to the children of Israel below as is apparent from these verses you shall therefore sanctify yourselves and you shall be holy for I am holy Vayikra 207 you shall therefore sanctify yourselves is one and you shall be holy is two and for I am holy is the third year the sanctification was granted to us the child said to him that is lovely but you did not remind yourself of the lance until I took it off your back and handed it to you from here on remember that the lance is in your hand return to where you left off meaning to the interpretation which he began 110 Rabbi Lazer said the discussion we are in deals with blessings had bracha what is the meaning of bless that I drawing down blessings from where all blessings emanate meaning from Bina until they form a pool from that abundant drawing and the massing of water in that Pool had meaning that from that great abundance that water increased a great number of fish that is many levels of several varieties and what is that drawing it is the hay which is malchut that draws forth the light that shines from that mirror that illuminates that is zeir and that is flowing from above from bina downward to malchut 111 that flowing tide is to the lofty angels up higher that are at the top of the upper chamber to them it is said bless Hashem we who dwell below why do we say bless et Hashem it is because we need to draw and bring forth upon us the particle et which is malchut and with her we can approach the king zeir and to see his face therefore David said I will behold your face in righteousness Tehillim 1715 which is malchut that is called righteousness assuredly meaning to say through righteousness that is malchut I will behold your face therefore the beginning of the prayer is bless et Hashem in order to bring upon our heads. This ET that is Malchut after drawing that ET upon us we may say that prayer and praise 112 therefore it is not appropriate to greet a person before a person says his prayers and draws upon his head the ET which is Malchut if he hurries and greets a person before that it is as if that person draws upon his head a high place instead of the ET that is required to be over him therefore it seems as if he has constructed an altar for himself 113 therefore it is written for the high. Angels bless Hashem and for us ET Hashem in addition because we have to draw upon US Malchut first the child said I definitely knew that your weapons were fine remember them and do not forget them certainly the strength of a man of war is by the lance and sword but what is the meaning of mighty ones who perform his bidding here getting to the voice of his word Rabbi Lazer replied I have already spoken of the explanation the child said I already realized that the strength of your arm is. We can since he said this I found and no other also he forgot three sanctifications now is no time to delay but strike with the sling stone after stone as it says with the sling and with the stone I shmuel 1750 rapidly without interruption one after the other Rabbi Lazer rejoiced and Rabbi Abba and the friends also rejoiced 114 the child opened the discussion with the verse I am black but come Leo daughters of Jerusalem do not gaze upon me because I am black sure hashering 15 to 6 these things were already explained however during the period when Malchut is full of great love for her beloved Zeir and through the pressure of her love because she is unable to stand being apart she diminishes herself significantly until she is reduced to the smallness of one point what is that that is a letter yet at that point she is concealed from all her legions and camps and says I am black for there is no internal whiteness in this letter yud as there is in the rest of the letters that is what she means when she says I am black and I have no room to bring them under my wings the tents of Ketar Ibid we are taught are yud which has no whiteness in it while the curtains of Solomon Ibid are Bob 115 due to that do not gaze upon me you cannot see me at all since I am but a tiny point what do her heroic and mighty legions do they roar like powerful lions as it says the young lions roar after their prey Tehillim 10421 from the sounds and roars that they emit like powerful and mighty lions her beloved listens above and knows that his beloved is in love with him as he is she lowered herself due to his love until none of her form and beauty was apparent 116 then from the sounds and roars that stream out from these mighty ones of hers her beloved lovers eir and goes out of his chamber with many gifts and presents and with spices and fragrances he comes to her and finds her black and small without form and beauty at all he approaches her hugs and Kisses her until she slowly and continuously gets aroused from these fragrances and spices and from the happiness of her lover's eir and that is with her she is transformed and regains her shape and beautiful form and becomes hey of yud hey bav hey as before 117 this was done for her by the mighty ones who have returned her to her stature and beauty their strength and might cause this therefore it is written you mighty ones who perform his bidding tehillim 10320 assuredly they perform his bidding because they restore this bid word which is malchut called word they bring her back to her original form and as soon as she is restored to her original beautiful form they and all the rest of the hosts stand ready to hearken to whatever she says meaning hearkening to the voice of his word and she stands like a king amidst his legions which is specifically the meaning of who perform his bidding because they make malchut 118 similarly here below at a time when there are Evil ones in a generation that one Malchut gets covered and reduces herself until nothing is visible from her entire form except the point when the mighty powerful and truly just so to speak arrive they perform this word which is Malchut called word and she starts shining slowly then she returns to her former stature and beauty and becomes hey of yud hey bab hey as before 119 the friends approached and kissed him Rabbi Lazer said if Ezekiel the prophet would have said this it would have been a great marvel in the world Rabbi Lazer took him and kissed him as before the child said I will say grace they said you say the blessing and it behooves you to say grace he said how holy you are and how many blessings are destined for you from the sanctified I am a that is bina because you have not restrained me from giving grace 120 he opened the discussion with the verse he who holds back corn the people shall curse him but blessing shall be upon the head of him who sells freely. Mishlei 1126 this verse means simply what it says but we were taught that every person is required and obligated to give grace after meals if he is not versed in how his wife and children give grace in his stead may a curse come upon that person who needs his wife and children to give grace in his stead because he does not know how to make that blessing 121 if he does know he is required to teach his son and give him the cup to make the blessing whoever prevents his son from getting an education the people shall curse him he who holds back corn head bar meaning that he prevents his son Aram bar from blessing the holy one blessed be he and being trained in the precepts the people shall curse him he asks either shall curse blur should have been in the singular form or it should have said the people shall curse blur him since people is one nation as it says and the one people shall be stronger than the other people bear she 2523 why is it the people sing shall Curse blur him he replies it is written L-E-O-M because it refers to Holy Mother Hebla and that is Malchut who will curse that person that prevented that son from giving blessings to the Holy One blessed be he meaning he was cursed to Malchut so that she will not provide him blessings 122 I am an only son to my mother hand me a cup so that I can give blessings to the Holy King who presented the mighty ones at my mother's residence I have spoken in their presence of difficult matters and was successful over them because of that I will say grace and prior to that I will interpret in its proper setting that scripture with which we began 123 he who holds back corn the people shall curse him Hebla Yakebo who that is whoever prevents his son from giving grace as we were taught the people shall curse him this is as is written and that son of the Irelite woman blasphemed Hebaikop the name Vayakra 2411 Vayakop means he pronounces here too they will specify him to the Mother meaning they will tell his sins in detail to the holy IMA which is Malchut but blessing shall be upon the head of him who sells freely this applies to that person that will educate his son to give blessings to the holy one blessed be he and teach him the precepts of the Torah 124 the secret of this matter is written in the secret above what is his name and what is the name of his son if you can tell Mishlei 304 that name is known Hashem Seviat is his name which is by is all. The legions had Seviat are hers the name of his son that is Yisrael is his name which is Zeir and been called Yisrael as is written Yisrael is my son my firstborn Shema 422 here we have Yisrael with all the keys of the faith meaning all the levels of Malchut considered faith hanging upon him Zeir and been called Yisrael he praises himself and says Hashem has said to me you are my son Tehillim 27 that is why Yudhi Bob that is said to Zeir and you are my son and it is definitely. So since Abba and Iama which is right and left of Bina that are
Be upon the head of him who sells freely that is the one who gives the grace and invites with the cup of grace whoever it is proper meaning the holy one blessed be he through this the other side is broken by its breaking it is subdued and the side of sanctity gets raised this is what is written but blessing shall be upon the head of him who sells freely headmishpur as he uplifts and blesses the holy one blessed be he and causes the other side to break down headmishpur in accordance the holy. One blessed be he draws blessings upon him from above and the one who is called grace which is Malchut prevails upon his head 126 from here on friends given we will say grace they handed him the cup of grace and he made the blessings all the friends were rejoicing that they had not been so happy since the wedding feast celebration of Rabbi Lazar they were first to greet him with happiness and willingness of heart that child told them you should not part from me except by words of Torah for that is the way we were taught 127 he opened the discussion with the verse and Hashem went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud Shemot 1321 at Vav Yod Hey Vav Hey Hashem that alludes to Malchut has above it a tuning sound meaning that cantillation mark of Pazar is written above it which is erect why he responds it is only because at that period how lovely and beautiful it was for this bride which is Malchut who was subdued until now in the exile now she walks joyfully. With an upright raised head within her multitudes 128 by Anyot Hey the sound mark is erect above it and after this is written went before them by day up to this point it is not known if the bride which is Malchut that is alluded to in the name of Anyot Hey Vav Hey goes before them or not since there is a separating musical mark in Anyot Hey Vav Hey when singing this Pazar cantillation mark that separates Anyot Hey Vav Hey which is Malchut from went before them. By day he responds it is only that she Malchut indicated by the name Anyot Hey Vav Hey was there but goes in front of them that is the elder of the household the owner to whom the Holy One blessed be he swore and who is that that is Abraham meaning the Chesed of Zeir and as it says yet Hashem will command his steadfast love had Chesed in the daytime Tehillim 429 similarly if my covenant be not day and night your Mayah 3325 of which Chesed is considered day because it is a day in which all the days meaning all the Sfirat of Zeir and Ben are included in Chesed a day of the other days which is definitely all the other days therefore it is called Yom alluding plural form and not the accustomed Yom because of this it is written went before them by day he Chesed of Zeir and Ben walks by day and the bride indicated by Anyot Hey Vav Hey walks by night as is written and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light Shemot 1321 that is the bride which is Malchut everyone in his place since Zeir and Ben is the dominion of the day and Malchut is the dominion of the night friends day and night may they be ever before you they kissed him and greeted him as before and left 129 they came before Rabbi Shimon and related the episode to him he marveled and said how proper that is but he will not rise in fame when a delicate tree grows its light rises temporarily and soon it dims and sinks in addition I already said where that light came from that it was the son of Rabbi. Hamna 130 he opened the discussion with the verse his seed shall be mighty upon earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed Tehillim 1122 when a man is mighty upon earth and strong in Torah mighty over his evil inclination he is then certainly mighty upon earth since his light rises continuously and abundantly then the generation of the upright shall be blessed spelled will bless he said that about Rabbi Hamna that because he was mighty upon earth therefore the generation of the upright shall bless him that he merited to have such a son 131 Rabbi Abba said but we see children speaking eloquently of lofty matters and then they become world leaders he said to them children that speak of one or two things temporarily without specific intention a person can be secure that he will deserve to teach Torah in Israel but this child whose light has reached a mature stature with perfect logic is not so furthermore the holy one blessed be he desires to smell. This apple therefore it is imperative that he will depart praise is his lot 132 praise are you the righteous that it is written about you and the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruit upward to Melashim 1930 root downward he is like his father Rabbi Hamana who departed from the world and he is a root downward in the yeshiva of the firmament which is the yeshiva of Metatron and bear fruit upward in the higher yeshiva which is the yeshiva of the holy one blessed be he how find this root and fruit are if I would not have felt that the holy one blessed be he has a desire to smell him I would have arranged it that no one would have any effective rule over him meaning that he would live long however let it be his wish that his mother shall not see any pain because of him so it was that he departed section 7 so he sent messengers to Bilam Rabbi Shimon tells how Balak sent a message to Bilam to ask him to curse the children of Israel since Balak knew about Bilam's high level of sorcery we hear about the table that was prepared by the sorcerer for the defiled spirits to draw them near and then about the table of acacia wood in the tabernacle that was made to draw the holy spirit from above 133 so he sent messengers to Bilam the son of Beer, but 5 to 6 there are 28 words here corresponding to the 28 levels of witches and magic sorcerers using a bird we need to Wonder why whoever wished to speak to Bilam and join with him sent clear instructions immediately before approaching him by saying Behold there is a people come out from Egypt come now therefore I pray you curse me be midbar 226 he should first have joined with him ingratiated himself bribed him and then informed him of what he wished to do 134 he responds yet Rabbi Yussi said that from here it is recognizable that Balak was already aware of the desires of that evildoer and that he wished to be apportioned great projects his only ambition is to do evil deeds therefore he was exalting him as if the reins are in his hands and to whom he wishes he can send blessings or curses and it will be accomplished also he informed him of his own desire to curse Israel since he knew that his entire wish was only to do evil and harm 135 Balak performed sorcery and witchcraft and prepared a bird he was aware that Moses levels were lofty and dear he crafted with his witchery and performed Magical sorcery and was aware that Bilam's levels were correspondingly opposite diametrically opposed to the levels of Moses immediately he sent messengers to Bilam the son of Beer 136 Peter is a name of a place as is written from Peter of Aram Naharim to curse you to Barim 235 why was it called that way because it is written that set out a table for fortune Yeshayah 6511 he prepared a feast table there every day since that is the custom of the evil sides they set up for the May. Table with food and drink performed sorcery and smoked incense before that table then all the defiled spirits gathered there and informed them of whatever they wished and all the magic and sorcery in the world were on that table which is why the name of the place was called Petora since a table is called Petora in Aram Naharim Mesopotamia 137 he opened the discussion with the verse you shall also make a table of acacia wood Shema 2523 and it is written and you shall set upon it. Table show bread of 30 the Holy One blessed be he wished to have all these holy utensils made for him in order to continually draw the Holy Spirit from above downward the wicked Bilam prepared similarly for the other side and he prepared a table and bread that is called disgusting bread Malachi 17 as we were taught the other side follows the holiness like a monkey after people and Solomon the king cried and said for what can the man do who comes after the king even that which has already been done Kahila 212 wishing to imitate him and be like him and we were already taught this verse section 8 and rose up from Seir to them we are told that God first offered the Torah to the children of Esau and then to the children of Ishmael all of whom refused it before he offered it to the children of Israel Rabbi Shimon clarifies a point by saying that the refusal of the inhabitants of Seir and Paran enabled God to add their light and love to the children of Israel we hear a dialogue between God and Samael wherein God offers the Torah to Samael who of course refuses it because of its stricture against killing Samael suggests that God give the Torah to the children of Israel because he thinks that would ensure that Israel would never be capable of surviving or ruling, in effect that the Torah would make them weak Samael removes his own light and gives it to God to add to the light of Israel the same thing happens with Rashab the higher minister of Ishmael who refuses the Torah because of its prohibition against adultery and who also gives his light to God for Israel eventually we learn that from the other nations of the world God also took gifts on behalf of the children of Israel thus Israel inherited the Torah with no disagreement from anyone above or below when Israel sinned and went into exile all their gifts were removed from them but in the future these gifts will be returned to them 
You say that he revealed himself to the whole nation. We find that it happened only to Israel alone and through Moses. Furthermore, we were taught that this is what the scripture should have said. Hashem came to Sinai and rose up to Seir to them. He shone forth to Mount Paran. What is meant by from Seir to them from Mount Paran? All this must be known and be observed. Though I asked, I have not yet heard 140. When Rabbi Shimon came, he approached and asked this again. Rabbi Shimon said to him this. Inquiry has been settled as Hashem came from Sinai. As it says, Lo, I come to you in a thick cloud. Shemot 199 and came from Sinai. He appeared over them and rose up from Seir to them, which means that because the inhabitants of Seir said that they do not wish to accept the Torah, he shone upon Israel and added light and great love to them. Similarly, he shone forth and brightened the light from the mountain of Paran. Additional love and bright light was available from the inhabitants of Paran's refusal to accept the Torah and that was given to Israel as well as his proper 141. You asked through whom he was revealed to them. That is a high secret and it will be uncovered through you. That is through your inquiry. The Torah came out from the highest mystery from the concealed head of the king, which is Bina, when it reached the left arm, which is Isaac, meaning viewer the Holy One. Blessed be he saw in that arm bad blood that was increasing from there, which is Esau, meaning Samael. And the other side he said, I need to refine and clarify this arm and if I do not take off that defective blood it will injure everything indeed it is necessary to refine every defect from here. 142 What did he do? He called Samael Esau's minister above who came before him. He said to him, Do you want my Torah? And he said what is written in it. He said, You shall not murder Shema 2013 Since the Holy One blessed be he skipped to show him the necessary place, he skipped to the commandment. That he knew he would not be able to keep Samael said, Heaven forbid this Torah is yours and yours it shall remain. I do not desire such a Torah. He again beseeched of him saying, Master of the world, if you give me this Torah my entire government will cease since my entire domination is based on killing and if I accept the Torah there will no longer be wars. My rule is over the planet Ma'ad Mars that indicates spilling of blood if so all becomes void from the world. 143 Master of the world take. For yourself that Torah of yours I do not want any part or portion in it however if it suits you here are the people the children of Jacob for whom this Torah is suitable he thought that he said about them some derogatory accusation which is the meaning of and rose up from Seir to them actually from Seir light went out for Yisrael meaning from Samael the chief minister of Seir Samael said to himself certainly if Jacob's children will accept the Torah they will cease to exist in the world and will never be capable of ruling the Holy One blessed be he responded several times and said the following you are the firstborn because Esau was the firstborn and the Torah befits you he said to him my birthright belongs to him since it was sold to him and I gave my consent the Holy One blessed be he then said since you don't wish to have any part in the Torah remove yourself from it altogether he said fine 144 the Holy One blessed be he said to him since it is so give me advice on what I should do so that the children of Jacob would accept it as you say Samael said to him master of the world there is a need to bribe them take light from the light of the legions in heaven and impart it to them by this they will accept her and here is some of my light which I will give first he removed from himself the light that enveloped him and gave it to the holy one blessed be he to present it to Israel this is what is meant by and rose up from seer to them from seer actually is Samael it is written about him and the goat hepsir shall bear upon it Vayikra 1622 to them means to the children of Israel 145 as soon as he removed that one Samael and cleaned out the bad blood from the left arm that is Isaac which is pure he turned to the right arm which is Abraham and he is Jesus he noticed in it also defective blood that is Ishmael he said this arm too needs to have the bad blood cleaned out of it the holy one blessed be he called to Rahab the minister. Up high of Ishmael he said to him do you want my Torah Rahab said to him what is written in it he skipped everything else and said to him you shall not commit adultery Shema 2013 he said to him woe for me if that is a legacy the Holy One blessed be he wishes me to inherit that would be an evil legacy for me since it would remove my entire dominion which is based on adultery since I took the blessings of the water the blessing reserved for the fish of the sea as is written be fruitful. Hepru and multiply Vershid 122 and is written and will make him fruitful and will multiply him Ibid 1720 it is further written and he will be a wild head pure man Ibid 1612 146 he began to beseech his master and said to him master of the world two children came out of Abraham here are the children of Isaac give it to them for she is suitable for them the Holy One blessed be he said to him I can't since you are the firstborn and the Torah is suitable for you he began to plead. Before him and said, Master of the world, let the rights of the firstborn be as that light which I inherited as a legacy thereby due to that rights of the firstborn take and give to them. And so the Holy One blessed be he did this is what is written. He shone forth from Mount Paran, Devarim 332, 147. What changed in that by Samael it says rose up and by Rahab it is written, shown forth. He responds, it is only that he took with that light which he removed from Samael the sword and the killing. To kill with sentencing by judgment and to do the killing properly as is written, and one that is the sword of your excellency, Devarim 3329. Though it is not belonging to you from that blessing which he removed from Rahab, he took only a little like someone that only shone a little of their blessing, meaning just enough to be able to produce and multiply. Therefore, it is written, he shone forth from Mount Paran, and it is not written, rose up, which means increase like by Samael 148 as soon. As the Holy One blessed be he took these gifts to Israel from these chief ministers that rule over Esau and Ishmael he approached and called all the holy multitudes of the two that are appointed over the rest of the nations they also replied to him similarly Ishmael and Rahab from all of them he took and accepted gifts on behalf of Israel this is like a doctor who had one vial full of life-giving spices and kept it for his son he wished to give his son those life-giving spices but the doctor was wise and thought about the evil servants in his household if they noticed that I give this gift to my son they will be jealous and will want to kill him 149 what did he do he took a little bit of poison spices and put it at the opening of that vessel and called his servants and said to them you faithful of mine would you like to have some of this spice they said let's see what it consists of they took a bit of it to taste and even before that when they only smelled it they felt like they were going to die they figured to themselves if he gives that spice ointment to his son he would certainly die and we will inherit our lord's goods they said to him our lord this spice ointment is only proper and suitable for your son here are some of our wages give it as a bribe to your son so that he will accept this spice 150 so to the holy one blessed be he is a wise healer and knew if he gave the torah to the children of israel before he informed the chief ministers they would pursue israel for her sake on a daily basis and kill them but instead he invited them and they refused and they gave him offerings and gifts so that israel should accept her moses accepted all of them to give to israel this is what is written you have ascended on high you have led captivity captive you have received gifts tell him 6819 therefore israel inherited the torah without any disagreement and without any accusation at all praised is he and praised is his name forever and ever 151 come and see the offerings and gifts that Israel received from the chiefs of these nations they received their ornaments because of which neither death nor the other side could dominate them and not only that they received the Torah without any protest they also received gifts and presents from all when they sinned it is written and the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments Shema 336 which are gifts from men which they received what was left of them just that captivity which is written you have ascended on high you have led captivity captive you have received gifts from also with man 152 when they repeated and sinned again it is written and when the Canaanite the king of Arad heard then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners be midbar 211 meaning that he took from them their remaining captivity as long as the children of Israel will return to their father in heaven these gifts will be returned to them and they will Shelter them in the future to come everything will be returned as is written and then Hashem your Elohim will return your captivity to Barum 303 from here on speak your word section 9 the earth feared and was still Rabbi Yossi opens by saying that God told the earth that if Israel accepted the Torah all would be well but if not he would return the earth to its formless condition because of this the earth trembled in fear that Israel would not accept but when Israel said they would obey the Torah the earth became still after Israel accepted they were no longer afraid of witchcraft or sorcery because God
Holy One blessed be he invited all the nations to accept the Torah but they didn't accept and from all the nations only Israel was left the earth thought that Israel too would refuse to accept the Torah as the others did due to this the earth trembled as soon as Israel said will we do and obey Shema 247 immediately it quieted down this is what is written the earth feared and was still first it feared and was still Tehillim 769 154 come and see because Israel said will we do. They were neither afraid of any deeds that the practitioners of witchcraft of the world were capable of doing nor of any sorcerers in the world what is the reason one is that they said will we do and one is because the Holy One blessed be he broke all the witchcraft and sorcery before the children of Israel when he took them out of Egypt so that they should have no effect on them when Balak came he was aware of it immediately he sent messengers to Bilam the son of Beer to Peter which is by the river Bimid bar 225 what is Peter it is that he prepared a table Aram from which to ask for counsel as to what to do by the river he asks it should have said two rivers had not arrived since he was from Aram Naharim Mesopotamia he replies he certainly dwells at all times on one river meaning to say the table of the Klippa which is Malchut of Klippa stands above one river of that Klippa which is the Yezid of the Klippa 155 Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Abba went to see Rabbi Yossi son of Rabbi Shimon son of Lakunya father-in-law of Rabbi Lazar they rose at midnight to study the Torah they sat Rabbi Lazar said now is the time that the Holy One blessed be he enters the garden of Eden to be married with the righteous that are there Rabbi Abba said what is the story and how does he rejoice Rabbi Lazar said this matter is a secret sealed with me that is not known to all and he did not want to divulge it Rabbi Abba said to him were then the great pillars in the world before us empty. That you say that they did not know of the secret it would be improper to reveal it only if they had not pursued the knowledge of the reason of their existence in this world and what they can expect in the world to come and most definitely they too were aware of the secret therefore you are required to divulge it section 10 Hashem you are my Elohim I will exalt you Rabbi Lazar explains the secret of the high point that is concealed and unknown and the level where inquiry may first be made he talks about the word of Melchizedek the high priest that corresponds to Chesed of Zer infant standing over Melchizedek we hear the three meanings of you in the title verse and Rabbi Lazar goes on to give two explanations of for you have done wonderful things he says that the actual form of the Aleph is the beginning of the higher secret of primordial man and he tells us why it has a numerical value of one we learned that the prophets received from Netzach and how that are called counsels Rabbi Lazar says that the title verse is a concise vehicle for the entire concealed secret meaning of the faith in that Hashem is Chakma my Elohim is Bani is Chesed wonder is the three columns Chesed Bura and Tiferet counsel from afar is Netzach and hot faithfulness is Malchut and truth is Yezid 156 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse Hashem you are my Elohim I will exalt you I will praise your name for you have done. Yeshaya 251 this verse in the scripture is the secret of the faith Yadhei Bavhe is the top secret and is the beginning of the higher point that is concealed and not known that is Abba and I am Ayyapai who are the secret of Chakma in whom the Yud does not leave the air and they are concealed from Chakma entirely unknown my Elohim is the secret meaning of a still small voice I Melashim 1912 that I as Yisrael Sab and Tebuna which is the secret meaning of Bana that is the beginning of that which may be inquired into since in it the Yud goes out from the air into greatness however it becomes concealed and unknown and there is no one that responds to it although it is available for inquiry available to be revealed since the Yud has left the air in it and returned to the light of Chakma there is no one to respond to the inquiry since Chakma does not get disclosed in its place but rather in the place of Zeir Anpin and Malchut because it is concealed covered and hidden. 157 After explaining that Yudhe Bab is the secret of Abba and Ima that stand above any questioning and Mayelohim that secret of Israel Saba and Tebuna that are available for inquiry but there is no one to respond to it he explains now you that is right meaning Chesed of Zeir Anpin is the start of what is available for inquiry and for a response to it however that is merely the beginning of this revelation but is not yet revealed in it only when it is in Malchut that is called it. High priest as it says you shall be a priest forever after the manner of Melchizedek Tehillim 1104 he inquires what is the meaning of after the manner lit word of Melchizedek he responds this is only the priest forever Chesed of Zeir Anpin that is standing over the word which is Malchut because this word does not endure except through the right which is Chesed what is that word that is Melchizedek the name of Malchut the reason it says the broadly lit word of also my word instead of Dabar is because it was connected with David since David was the chariot to Malchut all the words of David's praise came through that word and therefore it says my word meaning my Malchut as a result of this he was a priest which is Chesed we have already explained that there are three areas and each one is called you because Chakma is called you and Chesed is called you as is written here and Malchut is called you 158 now he explains the words I will exalt you that is in the verse mentioned above he says I will exalt you meaning in all three names why you dehave hey my Elohim and you and together I will praise your name as proper that name is known to be Malchut called name for you have done wonderful things Yeshaya 251 wonderful is a language of concealment that means that you have made a cover and attire to the concealed light of the Atika which is by the beginning of the top level which is the Chakma contained within is referred to as Concealed primordial man so that he will be attired in the aspect of another light that is chested in 159 another explanation of for you have done wonderful things had Pele namely you have made Aleph since Pele is spelled with the same letters of Aleph what is the meaning of Aleph we learned Aleph which is the meaning of Aleph Bina teach to understand yet the form of the Aleph is three sides right left and center that is the start of the higher secret of the primordial man that is the three columns in Bina the source of the image of man who is Mokin of Zeir and for in the form of the Aleph there are two arms one from each side that are the two columns of Chesed and Bura that are the upper Yud and her lower Yud and the body in the center that is the Bob between the two Yuds all has one secret meaning that it is in one meaning with the explanation that Pele is Chakma being clothed in Chesedim since this clothing does not happen except through the three columns. That is the secret of unification of this Aleph and that is also why Aleph has a numerical value of one that is the meaning of for you have done wonderful things Hepele which is the secret of Aleph and Rabham Manasaba the elder said this for you have done wonderful things this wonder is one level from these hidden wonders of Chakma which one is it there is a path which no bird of prey knows Eo 287 which is the 50th gate and that is a wonderful thing 160 counsels from afar. Yeshaya 251 he asks first he calls it wonderful and does not say there counsels of old yet here he says wonderful things counsels of old also from afar what is the difference he responds it is because there he had to count the six ends of the higher levels therefore he says wonderful Hepele counselor mighty El the everlasting father prince of peace Yeshaya 95 L is Jesus mighty is Bure the father is Typhra everlasting is Netzash prince is hot and peace is Yezid and here he does not come to count the levels he asks however what are councils from afar he replies there are the two willow branches which are Netzach and Hot and are called councils since all the councils of the prophets stem from there and are called councils from afar since the prophets receive from Netzach and Hot in faithfulness and truth Yeshaya 251 these are two that are one since they are the river and the garden that are Yezid and Malchut this river Yezid comes out from Eden and this garden which is Malchut gets watered from it we find here in the scriptural verse Hashem you are my Elohim the entire concealed secret meaning of the faith is defined since Hashem is Chakma my Elohim I bina you I Jesus wonder I the three columns Jesus Bura and Tifer at council from afar I Netzach and Hot faithfulness I as Malchut and truth I Yezid section 11 Bilam also of the son of Bia did slay with the sword Rabbi Lazar asks how Bilam was killed and he receives a superficial explanation from Rabbi Yitzhak that says he was killed by Pinchas and his people Rabbi Lazar is not satisfied with this and Rabbi Shimon says that Bailam was as powerful and wise in the aspect of the left as Moses was in the higher levels the question is then how were they able to kill him as Bailam had praised himself so much Rabbi Shimon speaks about the
Moses Devarim 3410 They said that one such did arise but not in Israel rather among the nations of the world who was he that was Balaam we have already explained this matter that just as there is no one like Moses in the higher crowns there is no one like Balaam in the lower crowns this one in the aspect of holiness and that one in the aspect of the left since he had all this in his power and he was so strong in wisdom a person who praised himself with great power as is written while I go to the meeting under Hebkobi Midbar 2315 the meaning is that he meant to say I will apriko which is Malchut from here how were they able then to kill him 163 he responds however in the book of wisdom of King Solomon it says as follows that there are three indications an indication of transgression is jaundice an indication of nonsense is too much talk and an indication that he knows nothing is one who keeps praising himself this one who praises himself has outdone the rest since he is a fool he is suspected in all sinful transgressions and has all of that 164 he asks yet it is written let another man praise you and not your own mouth Mishlei 272 which means that if there is no stranger to praise you then let your own mouth he responds it is not so however the explanation is if there is no one who recognizes you open your mouth to speak in matters of Torah inform the true things that are in the Torah and then by opening your mouth in the Torah matters they will praise your words and they will know who you are there is nothing in the world that tells as much about a person as when he opens his mouth and his mouth informs people who he is section 12 who hears the words of El Rabbi Shimon explains the great power that Balaam had to influence people by his speech in which he included a good deal of truth people thought he was the greatest prophet in the world and in fact he was able to speak with the highest L but it was a strange L from the other side not the L we hear about the higher ones who rule over the levels of defilement to whom Balaam was connected when Balaam was giving speeches about levels of defilement people thought he was speaking about the highest sanctity Rabbi Shimon shows how the parts of the names Balak and Balaam were included in each other and in the name Amalek 165 the evil Balaam used to venerate himself in everything with all these he used to deceive people's minds and reach the high level with his rhetorical speeches he used to make mountains out of molehills whatever he said about these levels of filthy speech he spoke the truth however that wicked one used to speak and he praise upon himself in a disguised manner and give the impression of his greatness through the use of his words until whoever listened to him would think that he had exceeded above all the prophets of the world as it says the saying of him who hears the words of El and knows the knowledge of the most Habibid bar 2416 which is the person in the world who hears such talk and couldn't imagine any other prophet in the world as trustworthy 166 it was indeed true and that is the way it was the saying of him who hears the words of El that was correct and he was versed in higher knowledge that was correctly so this evil one was speaking of the levels to which he was attached who hears the words of El he heard matters that are of the highest level and there is nothing else like them 167 So he said, Who hears the words of El? It is not written the El since as for the El his way is perfect. Tehillim 1831 However simply El which is another El as is written for you shall worship no other El. Shema 3414 Therefore who hears the words of El is merely a minor thing yet to whoever is unaware and does not recognize it it seems that it is a great and high achievement. Who hears the words of El means that El who is a strange El is as written for you shall worship no other El. 168 And knows the knowledge of the Most High. Bar 2416 The explanation is that the higher ones over all the levels of defilement are the ones that steer and lead the ship of the sea and the storm winds. They are 40 minus 1. The captain of the ship who leads them all is the highest over all and that highest one this wicked one was connected and about him he said that he knows the knowledge of the Most High meaning the highest level of all those who steer the ships of defilement who could hear his talk and would not become afraid in his mind and say that there was no one like him however that wicked one used to acclaim himself in a big manner and speak truthful words except that he used to deceive the minds of the people because he used to speak about levels of defilement and the ones who listened thought that he was speaking about the highest sanctity 169 who sees the vision of Shaytay whoever hears this thinks that he actually used to see what no other visionary saw however the vision of Shaytay is one branch of the branches that emerge from the name Shaytay why is it so because among this wisdom of theirs there are seen three branches corresponding to the shin of Shaytay that correspond to the three branches of the shin of Shaytay which are Shisat, Bura, and Tiferet there are seen branches corresponding to the two prophets meaning the two twigs of the willows which are Netzash and Hod that support Tiferet and corresponding to the 72 branches of it. Evil eye which corresponds to the name of 72 of sanctity that is the secret of the benevolent eye to block them and all this exists in Chakma of the Klippot when Balak came he said to himself I will be successful against them since Amalek came to them with this wisdom and was successful against them 170 he sent to Balaam and said to him I have within my name the two letters of Amalek which are lamed Kof the ending of the name Amalek I have for myself lamed Kof and Amalek's ending is lamed Kof similar to mine and you have the beginning Betlamed Rabbi Shimon said to him here is how I say it the beginning of the name Balak is Betlamed and the beginning of the name of Balaam is Betlamed hence the beginning of Balak was with Balaam the ending of the name of Amalek meaning lamed Kof was in Balak and the ending of Balaam which is Am is in the beginning of Amalek so we find that the name ending of Balaam which is Am and the name ending of Balak that is Lamed Kof are the letters. Amalek 171 you might say that we cannot succeed against them because of the witchcraft of their master Moses when he extends his hand meaning Moses stretched out his hand over the sea Shemot 1427 and other instances here this hand exists among these chiefs who are more powerful with witchcraft this is what is written divination in their hand Bimidbar 227 it is not written in their hands but rather in their hand meaning hand against the hand of Moses which is how Balak sent for Bilaam 172 some missing here therefore who sees the vision had Mechiza of Shaytay is as we explained therefore they were punished and they were punished above and they were called visionaries as is written and light had Mechiza was against light I may 75 which is the branch that emerges from there who is that visionary that is Uz and Azel who are the falling down but having his eyes open Bimidbar 244 and that is the vision of Shaytay which he saw when falling down and with open eyes some missing here section 13 Sliha who threw down Bilaam Rabbi Shimon informs his son that Bilaam and his sons flew into the air when they saw Pinches a member of the tribe of Dan named Sliha flew into the air after him and having found the correct secret path due to some shouted advice from Pinches was able to bring Bilaam to earth the advice from Pinches had to do with the serpent and in the end Sliha was only able to kill Bilaam with a sword that had a snake engraved on either side thus Bilaam died by means of the same force by which he had lived Rabbi Shimon says that Bilaam's bones rotted and turned into harmful snakes and even the worms that ate his flesh turned into snakes the book of Esmedu says that people can still perform powerful witchcraft with those snakes that are found near the rock where Bilaam died Rabbi Shimon says that the only thing that has the power to catch one of those snakes is hot semen this is a secret that Solomon told to the Queen of Sheba 173 he inquires where was Bilaam at that time if you say in Midian why is it written and now behold I go to my people Bimidbar 2414 if he already left who placed him in Midian he responds as soon as that wicked one saw that 24,000 fell from Israel due to his advice to allow freedom for the women to be immoral with Israel he wished to collect from them his recompense while he was still there Pinches and the chiefs of the army arrived there 174. As soon as Bilaam noticed Pinches he flew into the air and his two sons with him Yunus and Yumbers you might say that they died during the episode of the calf since they are the ones who created and formed that calf it was surely so and it is written and there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men Shema 3,228 didn't they know how to figure and account for such a small number haven't we found that accounting for other higher and much greater censuses the scripture there knew how to count. And here it is written about 3,000 men, meaning that they did not know precisely it is only because these were the sons of Bilaam, Yunus, and Yumbers who were equal to 3,000 men, 175. He responds, it is only because that wicked one knew all the magic in the world, and he even took the sorcery of his sons in which they were accustomed with those he flew in the air and ascended pinches saw him a person flying in the air and vanishing in the air. He raised his voice to the members of his army and said, Is there anyone who is capable of flying and chasing
male and female and through this he was able to overpower him because he took over the charge that was dominating them and they were subjugated to him this was an Adarheb Shephi in the path Bershi 4917 which is on the same path that this wicked one went as is written Dan shall be a serpent by the way Ibid which refers to Samson and Adar in the path refers to Tzliha 179 that bites the horse's heels Ibid this refers to Ira who was with David whose descent was from the tribe of Dan through his merit David's might balanced in his favor as is written and David lamed all the chariot horses to Shmuel 84 so that his rider shall fall backwards Bershi 4917 refers to Sreya who is destined to come with Messiah son of Ephraim he will be a descendant of Dan's tribe and he is destined to take revenge and do wars with the rest of the nations when this one rises you will wait for the redemption of Israel as is written I wait for your salvation Hashem Ibid although this verse has already been explained the definition of it is as we mentioned and as was explained the verse in the scripture is proof of this 180 when the wicked one landed in front of Pinchas he said to him you evil one how many evils have you inflicted on this holy nation he told Sliha get up and kill him but not by the name since he is not worthy to have the high holy mentioned upon him in order that his soul should not emerge and be included in words of holy levels because then it would become fulfilled as he wished and said let me die the death of the righteous 181 at that moment he tried to kill him in a variety of ways but he didn't die until he took the sword that had a snake engraved on either side Pinchas told him kill him with his own and by his own cause he will die he then killed him and prevailed over him since that is a matter of that side whoever follows it dies through it through it his soul will leave and with it his soul will be gathered that is Precisely how Bilam died he gets judged in the sentences of that world and never gets buried and all his bones get rotten and turn into many filthy snakes that are harmful to other creatures even the worms that eat his flesh turn into snakes 182 I found in the book of Esmetus which he gave to King Solomon that whoever wants to perform powerful magic that is unobservable by the eye if he knows the rock where Bilam had his downfall he will locate there some of these snakes that resulted from the bones of that evil one if he kills one of those snakes he could perform high level sorcery with its head other magic with its body and different witchcraft with its tail each one contains three types of witchcraft 183 when the queen of Sheba came to Solomon one of the things that she asked Solomon was how do you catch a bone of a snake that contains three sorceries instantly there was not anything hid from the king which he told her not I may lodge him 103 she asked about this end. She required these snakes but she could not capture one of them what did he respond to her about these items that were at her heart as it says she spoke to him of all that was in her heart Ibid 2 this is what he informed her as it says and Solomon answered her all her questions Ibid 3 he said none of the world's inhabitants have power against those snakes except for one secret thing what is it it is boiling hot semen 184 if you wonder who has the power it is only when a man is full of desire and he issues that semen that gets expelled willfully and with desire for the purpose of defeating that snake when it spurts out in boiling heat they take it immediately in a wrapping and that wrapping gets thrown onto the snake instantly it goes down its head and they catch it similar to the way they grab the domesticated rooster even if they would prepare all their battle gear against one of them they would not be successful but when you do this there is no need for any person in the world to use weapons or any other thing and he does not need to be constantly on watch against them because they all become subservient to him and these words touched the heart of the queen of Sheba and she desired it 185 from here on my son a laser the holy one blessed be he did what he did with that wicked one by long there is no need to reveal these hidden secrets however in order that the friends here should know things that are concealed in the world I revealed them to you since there are so many concealed laws in the world of which people are unaware and they are highly concealed great wonders about Bilam and about those comparable to him we say but the name of the wicked shall rot Mishlei 107 praise are the truly just for the scripture says about them surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name Tehillim 14,014 section 14 a prayer to Moses a prayer to David a prayer to the poor Rabbi Abba talks about the prayer of Moses a prayer of David and the prayer of the poor that is the most important of the three the prayer of the poor is heard above all others because God is always close to the broken hearted and destitute people are always broken hearted God delays all other prayers until he has heard their supplications and because he knew this David referred to himself as poor when he was praying Rabbi Lazar says that all people should do this in order to be heard 186 come now therefore I pray you curse me this people. The midbar 226 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion with the verse of prayer of the afflicted poor when he faints Tehillim 1021 there are three for whom the expression prayer is written and the subject was already explained one is Moses one is David and one is the poor man that was included with them and was together with them you may say that we also find it written a prayer of the prophet Habakkuk Shabakkuk 31 for a total of four he responds that of Habakkuk is not said for the reason of prayer. Even though the word prayer is written about it, it is rather praise and thanks for the Holy One. Blessed be he for having revived him and performed with him miracles and mighty deeds since he was the son of Shunammit whom Elisha brought back to life. 187. However, there are three that are considered a prayer. A prayer of Moses, the man of Elohim. Tehillim 901. This prayer has no comparable equal by any other person. A prayer of David. Ibid 861. This prayer has no comparable equal by any other king. A prayer of the poor. Ibid 1021 is one prayer of the three mentioned, which is the most important one. Says a prayer of the poor. This prayer takes priority over Moses' prayer is before David's prayer and preempts all other prayers of the world. 188. He inquires what is the reason he replies because the poor man is broken hearted and it is written Hashem is near to them who are of a broken heart. Ibid 3419. The destitute has constant complaints with the Holy One. Blessed be he and the Holy One. Blessed be he listens and pays attention to his words as soon as the poor man says his prayer he opens all the windows of the firmament and all the rest of the prayers rising above get pushed away by that destitute broken hearted man as is written a prayer of the afflicted when he faints Hebyatov also delays it should have said when he is covered Hebyatov why when he faints it can only be explained that he causes a delay because all other prayers do not enter in until his prayer enters 189 the holy one blessed be he said let all the prayers get delayed and this prayer should rise to me I do not require a court session to intervene between us let all his complaints come directly to me and I and he shall settle it on our own exclusively and the holy one blessed be he is left alone with these complaints in that prayer as is written and pours out his complaint before Hashem Tehillim 1021 assuredly before Hashem 190 all the hosts of heaven inquire one of the other what is the Holy One blessed be he dealing with what is he striving with they reply to them he is concentrating on his vessels meaning the broken hearted desiring to be alone with them everyone is not aware of what is accomplished from the destitute's prayer and all his complaints since there is no other desire for the poor except when he spills his tears in displeasure in front of the Holy King there is no desire for the Holy One blessed be he except when he accepts them and they are poured before him that is a prayer that causes delay to all the prayers of the world 191 Moses poured forth his prayer and was held up for several days due to this prayer because of the beseeching of the poor man David saw that all the windows and gates of heaven were ready to open to the prayer of the poor there exists no other prayer in the world to which the Holy One blessed be he will give his immediate attention as to the poor man's prayer as soon as he noticed this he made Himself poor and destitute removed his royal attire sat on the ground like the destitute and said the prayer as it is written a prayer of David incline your ear Hashem hear me Tehillim 861 if you say why it is for I am poor and needy but the Holy One blessed be he replied to him David aren't you king and ruler over mighty kings and you make yourself out to be poor and needy immediately he returned to pray in another manner and left out the words poor and needy and said preserve my soul for I am pious but too despite all this that was in David both poor and about 192 Rabbi Lazar said to him you spoke well therefore the person who puts forth his prayers must make himself poor so that his prayers will be worthy to enter among the prayers of all the poor all the guardians of the gates do not allow them that is all the other prayers in the world to just simply enter as they allow the poor one's prayer since they enter without permission if a person makes himself poor and Desires constantly to be poor his prayer sense and meets up with the poor's prayers it joins up with them and rises together with them and enters in combination with theirs and it is received with willingness before the
Rabbis talks further about the meaning of servant and what the effect of prayer is. They describe the times each day when the other side wanders around the world and during which people should pray. The other side brings darkness, but the windows of the upper lights are opened above those who are praying, and these lights are dispersed over their heads. Anyone who has not come to the synagogue at this time of prayer walks in darkness since he is under the dominion of the other side. 193 King. David has placed himself in four ways. He placed himself with the poor, he placed himself with the devout, he placed himself with the servants, and he placed himself with those who are willing to sacrifice themselves and their souls for the sanctification of the name of Hashem. He placed himself with the poor as is written, for I am poor and needy. Tehillim 861. He placed himself with the devout as is written, preserve my soul for I am pious. If it too, since a person must not place himself as a wicked. One, if you contemplate that he will never confess and repent his sins, since by doing so he will set himself up as an evil one, it is just not so. Rather, if he confesses about his sins, then he is devout, since he approaches to do repentance and removes himself from the evil side where he was in its filth until now. Now he adhered to the uppermost right, which is Chesed, and is extended to receive him, and because he adhered to Chesed, he is considered pious. Have Chesed 194. Do not say that the holy. One blessed be he will not accept him until he specifies all his sins since the day he came to this world or even those that have been hidden from him and that he can't even remember it is not so rather he is only required to enumerate those sins that he remembers and if he directs his desire to be regretful about them during his confession all the other sins follow after them it is in the same way that we were taught that it is not necessary to check out when getting rid of love and bread. Either the household crevices above nor the house crevices down below as soon as he checked out in accordance with his eyesight as much as he could see all the rest follows and is voided within 195 we were similarly taught concerning plagues that there are 24 principal organs that do not cause uncleanness due to light healing where the priest does not bother himself to observe them this is what is written as far as the priest can see vi 1312 that is the area where the priest can. See the plague at once in one glance and does not need to bend himself and raise his eyes up or down or either way here too he has no need to enumerate his sins from the day he was born because it is like the lower crevices of the house that require no examination neither does he need to enumerate those sins that he has already forgotten and can't remember that are like the upper house crevices above only as far as the priest can see what he could observe with one glance all the rest follow. After them in this way David placed himself among the pious he confessed his sins and adhered to the right as defined 196 from where do we take it that he placed himself with the servants it is written behold as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters tail 1232 and it is written O you my Elohim save your servant of 862 from where do we take it that he offered his soul for the sanctity of Hashem's name that refers to what is written rejoice the soul of your Servant for to you Hashem do I lift up my soul and before King David made himself before his master into all these four which are the destitute the pious the servants and the members who are willing to offer themselves for the sanctification of his name 197 Rabbi Lazar said I have raised my hands in prayer before the Holy King since we were taught that a person is not permitted to raise his hands upward except at prayer at blessings and at supplications to his master it is written I have raised my hand to Hashem the most high Al Bershi 1423 which was translated into Aramaic as I have raised my hands in prayer since the fingers of the hand contain higher things now I practice that raising my hands at prayer and I say that whoever conforms to these four mentioned above the destitute the pious the servants and the offering of himself for his name sanctification before his master and accomplishes himself with a willing heart in this appropriate preparation here with this Matter his prayers will not return unanswered 198 at first one must place himself as a servant that is to prepare praises for his master and sing for him that refers to the praises before the prayer service following this he must consider himself a servant after he finished saying his standing prayer he is a servant who arranges prayer to his master following this he must consider himself a servant after he completed his entire prayer and went to leave that is why David considered himself a servant three times in this prayer as is written O you my Elohim save your servant and rejoice the soul of your servant it is also written give your strength to your servant Tehillim 8616 we have here three occasions that there is a need to consider oneself a servant that is before the prayer after the amid of prayer and after the whole prayer service as mentioned 199 then one needs to place oneself among those who have given their souls for the sake of sanctifying the holy Name that is accomplished at the unification of A.S.H. Yisrael for whoever places such willingness of self at this verse it is considered as if he gave up his soul for the sanctification of Hashem's name 200. Then he must place himself in the place of the poor since during the time when he enters and knocks at the doors of the Most High up when he finished saying true and certain and he has brought clothes whoever deemed to the amid of prayer he shall reach the amid of prayer broken. At heart poor and destitute and he shall place his will to be included among the poverty stricken in a broken heart and humility of soul 201 following this there is a need to place himself among the devout before he who hears prayer to elucidate his sins because that is the individual's required initiative before who hears prayer to achieve adherence to the right that is Jesus this is extended to receive those who repent and then he is considered pious had chased here we have the four as is appropriate 202 he inquires whoever combines all those mentioned above he responds the one who should include them is the servant that combines all the rest which are sanctifying the holy name for and devout servant is found three times at three places and all are one about them it is written behold as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters between each servant's service are found all these others from the first servant that is before the prayer service to the last servant after the arrangement of the standing prayer one needs to allow the offering of his soul for the sake of sanctifying Hashem's name one also needs to feel himself as the poor and destitute at the standing prayer and place himself among the pious at who hears prayer the third servant follows after he completed and conducted the entire prayer meaning after the completion of the whole prayer 203 we were taught at that moment when a person has put in sequence all these four Arrangements with a willing heart he is willingly acceptable to the Holy One blessed be he and he spreads his right hand over him at that third servant which is after the entire prayer service and calls upon him he says to him you are my servant as it is written and said to me you are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified Yeshua 493 it is certain that the prayer of this man will not ever be returned empty Rabbi Abba approached and kissed him 204 Rabbi Lazar said come and see the two servants out of those three combine within them all the rest of these sanctifying the name poor pious because the third servant is there to stamp him with the seal of the above to place on him the right hand of the king because he is acclaimed by him however these two servants the first that is prior to the prayer service and the second that is after the standing prayer arrangement are inclusive of all king David glorified himself with them as is written Hashem truly I am your Servant I am the servant Tehillim 11616 since these are inclusive of all the rest the third servant following the entire prayer service is there to redeem me as is written help your servant you are my Elohim Tehillim 862 whoever prepares in this arrangement let him know that the Holy One blessed be he is glorified through him and declares about him you are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified Rabbi Abba approached and kissed him 205 Rabbi Abba said about this it is written more to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold Tehillim 1911 how sweet are the ancient teachings that the earlier generations have arranged when we taste them we are unable to eat them meaning we don't understand them it is definitely so the scripture indicates three servants here they are one in one place the second is as you mentioned and the third is for the Holy One blessed be he to be adorned with as is written for to me the children of Israel are servants they are my servants they I cross 2555 there are two servants before the prayer and after the amid of prayer arrangement it is written they shall not be sold as bondsmen of 42 which is the third the holy one blessed be he needs to be adorned with this third servant therefore they must not be sold for the purpose of slavery since he belongs to the holy one blessed be he 206 rabbi laser opened the discussion saying who is there among you that fears Hashem that obeys the voice of his servant that walks in darkness and has no light let him trust in the name of Hashem and rely upon his Elohim Yeshua 5010 he asks what is the meaning of that obeys the voice of his servant this verse has been explained and set by the friends as applicable to the prayers it is as follows meaning whoever is accustomed to come to the synagogue to pray one day that it happens he doesn't come the holy one blessed be he
with which the Holy One blessed be he calls to him and he takes praise in him saying that he definitely is his servant that is the meaning of that obeys also listens the voice in which voice and that voice of him that is considered his servant that is the highest praise that a voice was proclaiming about him that he is his servant furthermore a voice is heard in all these heavens and he is the servant in the service of the Holy King this is the meaning of that obeys the voice of his servant 208 that walks in darkness and has no light he asks because he did not come to pray he walks in darkness he responds it was however explained only that before Israel gather into the synagogues to pray the other side stands around and closes all the upper lights so that they should not escape and be distributed over the world three times a day this other side which is male and female goes and wanders around the world that time was appropriated for prayers because then no Accusations prevail 209 and is the opportune period for prayer because they the other side go to loiter in the dark mountains and Mount Nish at that moment the windows of the upper lights are opened and leave to dwell upon the houses of worship on the heads of those who say prayers and the lights are dispersed over their heads the Holy One blessed be he inquires about the one who isn't there and declares it is a pity about this one who used to come here now he walks in darkness is removed from the lights and has gone to wander in the mountains in the world because he finds himself under the dominion of the other side that is in the dark mountains he left that brightness which is the lamp that gives light in the house of worship and he has no part in it this is what is written and has no light as it was spread and laid upon the others that are there in the synagogue how much benefit was lost to him if he were there let him trust in the name of Hashem meaning he would be included in the first servant that is before the prayer service and rely upon his Elohim in the secret meaning of the second servant that is after the prayers in the standing prayer arrangement 210 Rabbi Shimon said my son Elazar it is certain that the spirit of prophecy prevails on you Rabbi Abba said to Rabbi Elazar a lion the son of a lion who would rise in front of them when they roared to kill for their prey all the lions of the world are powerful and Rabbi Shimon and his son more then all of them it is difficult to take the prey out of the mouths of all the lions in the world but it is easy to take out the prey meaning the Torah insights from the lips of these lions they pray for the meal and provide to everyone 211 that walks in darkness lit darkness as he asks it should have said that walk plural Rabbi Elazar said that is because the other side dwell together male and female and immediately separate that is what is written walks meaning together and they are one darkness is refers to when they are separated already they begin together and immediately separate similar to this verse a storm wind came out Yeshiskel 14 that is a combined action of male and female of the other side that are called storm and wind following that it says came out in singular and feminine form because the female leaves the male since they immediately go apart section 16 even the sparrow has found a home Rabbi Shimon says that the souls of the just are God's beloved and he makes dwellings below and above for them we hear a description of the three outer walls of the garden of Eden and Rabbi Shimon tells his son that some spirits are allowed to see a hidden chamber in the palace where the crowns are stored for Messiah in the time to come the importance of having holy sons who study the oral and written Torahs is emphasized finally we hear that Balak saw a vision and knew that he would fall into the hands of Israel. After they had first fallen into his hands 212 and Balak saw Bimidbar 221 Rabbi Lazar said certainly what Rabbi Shia said about this verse Balak the son of Zipper lit bird is a concealed matter however it is written even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself Tehillim 844 he asked did King David and say this about a simple physical bird 213 he responds it is only as we were taught how beloved are the souls to the Holy One blessed be he if you say all the souls in the world it is not so it is only the souls of the righteous whose dwellings are with him their dwellings are above and their dwellings are below as we were taught even the sparrow has found a home refers to the spirits of the just 214 we were taught that there are three outer walls to the Garden of Eden between each one of the many spirits and souls walk leisurely there and derive pleasure from the fragrance enjoyed by the righteous that are inside the Garden of Eden although they themselves did not earn the merits to enter within however it is written of the enjoyable pleasure of the just that are inside neither has the eye seen that Elohim beside you Yeshayah 643 215 there are designated days during the year which are the days of Nisan and Tishrei when these spirits wander and visit the place they should even though there are lots of occasions when they wander these days are marked and are visible on the outer walls of the garden each one individually in a depiction of chirping birds regularly each morning 216 that chirping is praised to the Holy One blessed be he and a prayer about the lives of the human beings in this world because in these days the children of Israel are busily involved in the precepts and commandments of the master of the world and these birds appear to be chirping happily and they chirp and whisper praises and gratitudes and pray for the living of this world on the walls at the garden of Eden 217 Rabbi Shimon said Elazar you certainly spoke well since these spirits are definitely there but what would you say in the explanation of the verse and the swallow had drawer nest for herself he said this is what I was taught that refers to the holy soul which is called drawer she being the broad light of Bino which is freedom had drawer that rises above and ascends to a hidden and stored area where neither has the eye seen that Elohim beside you 218 Rabbi Shimon said Elazar you certainly spoke well and that is lovely however all this is in the garden of Eden below and it is as you said and most definitely so even the sparrow has found a home refers to the holy spirits that deserve afterwards to enter and leave following their wanderings without any place to settle they are depicted as birds and these spirits have now found a dwelling place each individual definitely has a specified residence within 219 in spite of all this all these spirits get burned from the adjoining canopies of their neighbors from these that have freedom and liberty of all and the Holy One blessed be he allows them to see one hidden chamber in the palace that is stored away which neither has the eye seen that Elohim beside you that palace chamber is called bird's nest and from there come crowns that are adorned for Messiah in the future to come because on designated days three times a year the Holy One blessed be he wishes to enjoy merrily with these righteous and show them that palace that is hidden and stored away it is not recognized by all the righteous that are there 220 where she may lay her younger altars Tehillim 844 these are the righteous who laid their foundations with holy sons that earned the merit of the written and oral Torah in this world the written law and oral law are considered the two altars and these righteous get adorned before the Holy King because the earned merits of their sons in this world protect them and they get decorated there with spirit earns the benefits of all this the one that lays her young to teach them your altars which are the two Torah laws as mentioned from here on speak your words so I will appear there without shame because of the merit of a son like you who studies both Torahs 221 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion saying even the sparrow has found a home and that refers to Jethro and the swallow had drawer nest for herself that is his sons who were in the temple treasury for congregational sacrifices studying Torah and decree Torah laws with their lips find a home what is the meaning of that he responds it is because they journeyed and camped in the desert at first and traveled from the pleasures of Midian and from their sweet life there and camped in the desert when the Holy One blessed be he noticed their desire for Torah he drew them from there and gave them a place in the temple's chambers and the swallow nest for herself is all one and the same because a sparrow and swallow are both one and the same bird and nest have is like Heber the Kenite showed him 417 their tribal name as well as and Saul said to the Kenites Ishmael 156 222 come and see what is written and Balak the son of Zippor saw why the difference that his father's name is mentioned rather than the rest of the other kings of Midian who did not have their father's names mentioned he responds it is only because Jethro drew himself away and was removed from idol worship and he together with his children approached Israel to join with them the whole world excommunicated him and persecuted him 223 Balak was from the descendants of Jethro and deviated from the ways of his father when the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian who were brotherly friends in their idol worship saw that Jethro and his children adhered to the Shechinah this one distanced himself from them they came together and crowned him king over them at that time as is written and Balak the son of Zippor was king of Moab at that time at that period of time he was a king something that he was not before then therefore it is written the son of Sipper that alludes to Jethro who was called Sipper to indicate that it was not proper to do so because he was from the descendants of Jethro called Sipper he inquires it says and Balak saw but it should have said heard what is the meaning here of saw he responds he saw a vision and he was aware that he was
Water of Chesedim at a time when judgment prevails. Rabbi Shimon says that Zer Enpin tells her to gain strength for herself by listening to the children who study the Torah. Another explanation of the verse under discussion is that the Shechinah behaves kindly to her children in great secrecy. The rabbis talk about Yisrael, the son acting rebelliously toward the father in heaven. Finally, we hear that Balak and the Amorites wanted to destroy Israel because Israel took their land and made it into pasture for their herds. 224 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion with the verse. If you know not, O you fairest among women, go your way forth by the footsteps of the flock. Sher Hashari Matin, the assembled congregation of Israel, spoke in this manner in the presence of the king of high the congregation of Israel. What is the meaning of this congregation? He responds, That is the assembly, meaning the gathering, as it says, which was the rearward gatherer of all the camps, Bibid Bar 1025, since it assembles to her all the higher camps, meaning Malchud, which receives from all the first nine Sfirah 225. Sometimes the female, which is Malchud, is called by the name congregation, and it says about her assembly that is derived from withholding, as it says, For Hashem has fast closed, Bereshit 2018, which means she receives and does not provide, so it is certain that due to the great faith and trust within her, no fault exists in her, she Malchud is granted without any delay, and when it abundance reaches her, she holds in all that she gathered in and slows down and delays it, so it should not fall and shine, but rather only as do drop by drop, bit by bit. What is the reason? Because she finds no faith below, except as it says here a little and there a little, Yeshayah 2813, meaning a little merit and a little illumination, just like do measure for measure 226. If there would have been faith in the world as it prevails in her in Malchud, it would have flowed in every direction. Both Chakma on the left side and Shisa on the right side without any delay at all she would have been glad and then she would have received many presents and gifts on top of this meaning one gift following another gift and nothing would be held back from her however the lower ones if they lack faith delay these gifts which should be supplied in abundance to Malchut as a result they hold back Malchut from providing for the lower ones at that point they are referred to as Hatzar Redlet. Assembly and for Hashem has fast closed Hatzar so that Hashem so to speak is giving the essence and nothing more 227 notwithstanding all this as a mother who provides for her children in secret so no one should notice her so Malchut acts to her children to Israel I learned from the holy luminary that when Malchut ascends to receive the pleasures and delights fault exists in Israel below that a tiny drop of blood as a mustard seed reaches her and immediately her domination is Removed she dwells over it for several days then they are aware above that there is some fault with Israel 228 the left is awakened instantly pulls a string below and his eyes were dim so that he could not see Bereshit 271 whatever he observed previously with a favorable eye in the sense of Abraham that is Jesus without any judgment at all now his eyes were dim so that he could not see see from seeing definitely which means from looking at it with a sense of compassion then there is an awakening of some male in a strong voice to stir accusations on the world as is said he called Esau his eldest bigger son but he is bigger towards the camps of the other side he is great and steers all the ships in the ocean that meet the evil wind to sink them into the depth of his ocean 229 when the holy one blessed be he is in a state of compassion he hands him over all the sins and iniquities of Israel he throws them into the depths of the sea meaning to his camp since all his Camps are considered the depths of the sea, they take them and wander with them to all the rest of the nations. He inquires, Do the sins of Israel and their iniquities get thrown and divided to their nations? And why should they do this? He responds, It is only because they wait in anticipation for the gifts from above, like dogs at the table. When the Holy One blessed be, he takes all the sins of Israel and throws them to them. They all immediately think that the gifts and presents that were meant to be given to Israel were removed from Israel and were granted to them immediately. They simultaneously all together throw them to all other nations. 230 Come and see the assembly of Israel. She said, At first, I am black, but come, Lisher Hasherim 15. Then she degraded herself before the king of high and asked of him, saying, Tell me, O you whom my soul loves, where have you feed, where you make your flock rest at noon of it? 7. He inquires, Why twice each a lit how he responds, It is only. That they are alluding to the two destructions of the two temples when everybody reads the scriptural verses of each each, where you feed at the destruction of the first temple house and where you make your flock rest at the destruction of the second temple house, therefore it is written twice, each each 231 he inquires you feed and you make rest one is not like the other what is the difference between them he replies the Babylonian exile was for a short period and he calls it you feed about the Edomite exile which is for a prolonged period he calls it you make rest therefore two times each each another reason you also she will feed and you make rest should have read he feeds and he makes rest since it refers to Israel he responds only that she the Shechinah said it about herself each how will your bride that is the Shechinah feed her children in exile when they will be among the other nations how will she make rest trip upon them too? And water meaning Shesedim in the heat of high noon meaning at a time when judgmental forces are dominant 232 why should I be like one who cloaks himself meaning at the time when Israel calls upon the Holy One blessed be he from their distress and sorrow the rest of the nations curse and insult them when will you leave this exile why does your Elohim not perform any miracles for you and take revenge on your enemies he's eir and replies to her if you know not live for yourself O you fairest among women of what is the meaning of for yourself if you know not for yourself how to gain the strength for yourselves in this exile and be strengthened with power to guard over your children get out and be strengthened by the footsteps of the flock this refers to the children in their master's schools who learn and study Torah from them you will take the strength to shield your children 233 and feed your kids of it these are the ones who were taken away from it Suckling breasts who departed from the world and were drawn to the upper yeshiva that is besides lit over the shepherd's tents over is precisely above it does not say by the shepherd's tents but above the shepherd's tents that refers to the yeshiva of Metatron that is above higher than the shepherd's tents in this world since the shepherds who are the leaders in this world ascend up above after their departure there are all the powerful and children of the world and the leaders of the Torah who guide in matters of the forbidden and permitted of this world and all the matters necessary for the inhabitants of this world therefore they are referred to as shepherds since the footsteps of the flock refers to the children as we explain the shepherds refer to the leaders of the world 234 Rabbi Lazar said the footsteps of the flock are the students in the seminary house who come afterward to the world and find the Torah in a straightforward open manner therefore they renew ancient insights every day and the Shechinah prevails on them and listens to what they have to say it is written and Hashem here can and heard it Malachi 316 Rabbi Abba said that definitely is the case and it all amounts to the same thing 235 another explanation of if you know not for yourself why for yourself it is that anywhere the children of Israel are in exile the Shechinah is with them in exile it is also written in all their afflictions he is affected Yeshua 639 therefore it says for yourself meaning for your sake since she too is in exile you fairest among women fairest she said she was black as it says I am black and he says to her you are comely you fairest among women meaning she is prettier than all the levels it is written you are fair my love sure Hashirim 115 236 another explanation of you fairest among women means that she is generous with kindness and that she behaves in a kind manner to her children in a secret end Hidden matter the Holy One blessed be he is generous with his benefits to her concerning all she does for her children in a veiled and hidden way although not all her activities are fit and proper 237 Rabbi Abba said I wonder about what it says if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and that when they have chastened him will not hearken to them then shall his father and his mother lay hold of him Devarim 2118 we were taught that when the Holy One blessed be he said this to Moses that he write meaning record the episode of the stubborn and the rebellious Moses said to him leave this alone is there then a father who could do this to his son Moses saw in advance with his wisdom everything that the Holy One blessed be he was destined to do to Israel meaning to say that he observed this from a distance he noticed that this episode of the stubborn and rebellious alludes to the matter that the Holy One Blessed be he will deal with Israel therefore he said master of the world leave this and the holy one blessed be he replied to Moses I see what you are saying but write it down and receive your wages you know but I know more whatever you not
against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers who may lodge him 1713 will not hearken to them as is written yet they would not hear and then shall his father and his mother lay hold of him meaning with the same mind and agreement 239 and bring him out to the elders of his city and to the gate of his place to Barum 2119 he asks it should have said to the elders of their city why to the elders of his city and to the gate of his place why is his in singular form he responds to the elders of his city refers to the Holy One blessed be he and to the gate of his place refers to the assembled congregation of Israel Malchut he explains the elders of his city refers to the ancient times the most ancient days of all which is the secret of the first three Sfirat of Zeir and before which judgment is put the gates of his place that is the muse of additional prayer of Shabbat the first three Sfirat of Malchut that are added to her in the Shabbat 240. Notwithstanding all this although all are knowledgeable above in judgment he removed the judgment from the gate of his place because the mother's court that is Malchut are related to Israel and are attached to them any close relative cannot sit in trial judgment for relatives and is disqualified to pass sentence therefore it is first written to the elders of his city and then to the gate of his place as soon as the Holy One blessed be he noticed that they were related he immediately. Remove the trial from the gate of his place that is the first three of Malchud which are relatives and it is written following that and they shall say to the elders of his city it is not written to the gate of his place but rather only to the elders of his city alone 241 they say about Israel this our son to Barum 2120 specifically and no other nation is stubborn and rebellious he will not obey our voice of it he inquires what is the change that at first it is not written a glutton and drunkard and later it is written he is a glutton and a drunkard but he responds what is the cause for Israel to be wayward and rebellious toward their father in heaven it is because he is a glutton and a drunkard among the rest of the nations as it says but mingled among the nations and learned their works Tehillim 10635 it is further written and the people ate and bowed down Bimidbar 252 since the essence and foundation is the eating and drinking as they did when they were among the rest of the nations that caused them to be stubborn and rebellious toward their father in heaven 242 that is why it is written and all the men of the city shall stone him with stones to barum 2121 this refers to the rest of the nations who were aiming and hurling stones at them they knocked down the walls and smashed the towers all this does not benefit them at all because they could not prevail against Israel when Moses heard this he wrote this passage 243 notwithstanding all this you fairest among women which is Malchut the best and dearest among all the women in the world go your way forth by the footsteps of the flock we already explained that these are the synagogues and houses of study and feed your kids these are the children of their master's school who have never tasted any taste of sin in the world besides the shepherd's tents these are the teachers of the children and the heads of the yeshivas 244 another explanation of besides the Shepherds had Roim tents the Bob is missing in the word ROIM and it is as if it says RAIM let evil ones this indicates that they are evil meaning the Amorite kings from whom Israel have taken the land to give pasture to their herds and Israel have turned that land to pasture land and Balak heard that Israel turned the land that was so important into grazing land the land over which Israel made battle and so demolished it as to make it into pasture he then strove in whatever means was at his disposal and joined by along with him section 18 thus says Hashem we hear about the three gates or orders of justice Baba Kama Baba Metzia and Baba Butra Rabbi Shimon says that God treats the sins of the children of Israel as though they were errors not intentional acts he talks about Balak's request to Balaam to curse Israel Balak knew that many of the people of Israel would fall dead because of his own army so he felt the time was opportune for the Curse lastly Rabbi Shimon says that neither Balak nor Balaam were aware that they themselves would be destroyed afterward 245 and Balak's are Rabbi Shizkiah opened the discussion saying thus says Hashem keep judgment and do justice for my salvation is near Yeshayah 561 how beloved are Israel before the Holy One blessed be he although they have sinned and are sinning constantly he turns their intentional acts into mistakes 246 this is how Rabbi Hamanasab of the elder said they prepare three gates of justice in the orders of the mission the first one is the four sources of harm are the ox which is Baba Kama first order the second gate is a garment that was found which is Baba Metzi the middle order the third gate is partnerships and the meanings of the lost and found which is Baba Batra the last order what is the reason he responds it is only that the Holy One blessed be he at any time accounts Israel's intentional sins as errors those who set up the orders of the Mishnah who set it up this way in three gates of Baba Kama Baba Metzi Baba Batra followed the manner as it was written in the scriptures manner of trespass Shema 228 that refers to an offense that is not intentional since the Holy One blessed be he turns the intentional crime into errors the Baba Kama is what are they whether it be for ox for ass for sheep but that is where it discusses these matters for a garment is Baba Metzi that discusses about a garment that was found or for any matter of lost thing refers to the third order which is Baba Batra 247 since they picked the order of the scriptures when Rabham Hamanasab the elder reached the Baba Metzi middle order he used to say why did they start this order with the garment because Baba Metzi begins with the situation where two are holding on to the garment that was found the verse for a garment he said most definitely is the law given to Moses on Mount Sinai which all the sages discussions were explaining. 248 Thus says Hashem he inquires what is the difference that at all the items relating to the prophets it is written thus Hebko says Hashem yet of the items relating to Moses this language is not used but rather this Hebze is the word he responds it is only because Moses prophecy was from a shining mirror that is light from above that is Zeir and so it is not written of him Ko which is Malchut that is referred to by Coh however the rest of the prophets who used to prophecy from the dim mirror which is Malchut referred to by Coh prophesied from Ko 249 come now therefore I pray you curse me this people Bimidbar 226 he says Rabbi Lazar says that wicked man said most definitely the time is right for me to do anything I wish he saw but did not see completely he saw that several thousand of Israel would fall dead through him in a short time he figured most definitely I have the opportune moment therefore he said now and not at any other time 250 he Inquires come now have lecha, but he should have said like what is lecha lame kaf hey he responds he thought let us hurry up and do battle with the one who flutters his wings on them the one that is referred to by the name ko kaf hey meaning malchut and now is the opportune time to do battle with that ko 251 he thought there was nobody in the world who would succeed against them until now because of the protector who stands over them now that the moment is opportune for us let us do battle with ko have lecha, the entire council of that wicked one was for ko as is written while I go to the meeting under ko bar 2315 meaning I will uproot that ko from its place both of them participated in that wicked council against ko as it is said against Hashem and against his anointed tail 22 they were not aware that this ko would uproot them from the world following that section 19 come now therefore I pray you curse me this. People the question is asked how Balak knew that Israel were too mighty for him to conquer since they had never encountered each other in battle before Rabbi Shimon says that he had seen into the future and discovered that King David a descendant of Ruth the Moabite would be victorious over Moab Balak hoped that by joining with Balaam they could destroy Israel before King David even came into the world Rabbi Shimon talks about the cauldron of sorcery that Balak buried and that David exposed and cleansed with water he explains the difference between righteousness and faithfulness the former being judgment for the other nations and the latter being compassion for the children of Israel these also correspond to war and peace we learned that Balak knew that Balaam had power to bestow blessings on a very high level and thought he would be able to uproot Israel from her union with Malchut 252 for they are too mighty for me Bimidbar 226 he inquires until that time where had Israel Done battle with him and beaten them at which location had they met up with the sword of Israel and showed their strength like mighty men to display their power so that he already knew that Israel was too mighty for him what is the meaning of for they are too mighty for me he responds it is only that this wicked one was wise and foresaw in the distant future that King David who stemmed from Ruth the Moabite had the valor and strength of a lion he will conduct and wage difficult wars and be victorious over Moab and place him under his feet therefore he said let he is mighty in a singular form meaning the one who inherited that power one of their kings stems from us from Ruth the Moabite to destroy Moab 
inquires what is curse me Rabbi Abba said that wicked one said to Bilam in two forms of language curse Hebera me Bimidbar 226 and he also said curse Hebkava me Ibit 17 what is the difference between these he responds it is only that he first said to him curse Hebera me meaning gather up for me grass weeds and sorcery of the heads of snakes to place in the cauldron of magic when he observed that his strength was greater by the power of his speech he returned and said come therefore I pray you curse Hebkava me 255 in spite of all this the wicked Balak did not abandon his design of sorcery but rather he gathered up and picked all types of grass weeds and magic of snake heads and took a cauldron of magic Balak stuck in 1500 cubits underground and stored it for the end of days as soon as David came he dug to the depth of 1500 cubits exposed the water from the depths and poured libations over the altar at that moment when the water libations were poured he said I will Cleanse with these waters that cauldron of sorcery of Balak as is written Moab is my wash hot Tehillim 6010 assuredly my wash hot 256 over Edom will I cast my shoe but he inquires what is the meaning of will I cast my shoe he responds it also refers to the one who had distant vision as it is written and he saw said to Jacob give me to swallow I pray you of that red pottage for I am faint Bereshi 2530 give me to swallow means actually stuffing down the throat which is a wide opening up of the mouth and throat to swallow David said to that swallower who stuffs himself with stuffed swallowings I will dump on him that is on his mouth opening my shoe to shut his throat therefore over Edom will I cast my shoe 257 over Pleshit I will cry in triumph Tehillim 10810 as to David saw with distant vision he said Canaan is the bad side of the other side and the Philistines stem from there from Canaan Yahashua 13 what is there to be done for the other side it is the Blowing of the horn blast as it says if you go to war in your land and you shall blow an alarm Ebitbar 109 Truah means a heartbreaking blast in order to break down his power and strength therefore over Pleshit I will cry blow in triumph meaning he will break them because that is what they deserve 258 Come now therefore curse me this people for they are too mighty for me Rabbi Shizkiah opened the discussion with the verse and righteousness shall be the girdle of his hips and faithfulness the girdle of his loins Yeshaya 115 this verse is all the same what new insight does it come to teach us seeing that righteousness is faithfulness and faithfulness is righteousness they are merely two names of Malchut the girdle of his loins is also the girdle of his reins and we do not find a scriptural verse in the same manner 259 he responds it is that righteousness is not the same as faithfulness even though they are all tied to one and the same and are of one level Meaning Malchut it is considered righteousness which is the actual judgment during a period when Malchut is of harsh judgment and receives from the left side that is for when your judgments are on the earth the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness if a 269 this level that is called judgment is of compassion which is Zeir and when that judgment is approaching righteousness which is judgment then that righteousness which is Malchut gets perfumed and the world's inhabitants can withstand the judgment of righteousness 260 Malchut is called faith at the time that it is joined with truth which is Zeir and for happiness all the faces are bright and Malchut is called faith and there is absolution for all meaning of forgiveness for iniquities she returns to all the souls of the wicked which are encumbered with many debts with compassion and has mercy on them when they ascend and rise through committing meaning when they say before their sleep into your hand I Commit my spirit Tehillim 316 then she is considered faith and there is no faith without truth meaning to say that Malchut is not considered faith except when joined with Zeir and that is called truth 261 now what two girdles are here when it says the girdle of his loins and the girdle of his hips he responds even though hips and loins are similar they are two levels one is above and one is below above at the top of the hips it is called hips at the lower end of the hips they are called loins as it says and gird sackcloth upon your loins Yeshayah 3211 which means to cover the genitals therefore he calls them loins because they are at the end of the hips and at the top of the thighs when a woman is in the pain of labor these loins get disconnected from the tops of her thighs and she places her hands on them because of that pain 262 because of that for strength and war it is said and righteousness shall be the girdle of his hips that is how it should be because that is where the virility of a man is for compassion and goodness it is said and faithfulness the girdle of his loins in one level Messiah will judge the world meaning with Malchut and it dominates both sides one which is faith the girdle of his loins is compassion for the children of Israel and one which is righteousness the girdle of his hips is judgment for the rest of the nations 263 you may wonder why righteousness is harsh judgment since we find written but in righteousness shall you judge your neighbor Vayikra 1915 and justice only justice shall you pursue to bar 1620 there are many such verses he responds it is definite that there is no compromise in righteousness only accordance with the law anyone who judges his neighbor must not compromise any laws for him but judge according to righteousness that love should not be a consideration the scales of justice means without compromise to one side or the other neither to the one who will have to pay nor to the one who will receive because of this it is one level that is divided into two directions and these two directions that we mentioned which are two girdles are one for the rest of the nations and one for Israel at the time Israel made their exodus from Egypt they were supported with these two girdles one of war which is righteousness the girdle of his hips and one of peace which is faith the girdle of his loins 264 when Balak took counsel he said that I may drive them out of the land. In Midbar 226 he figured that the level into which Israel was connected was definitely of the land which is Malchut referred to as earth that is the meaning of for they are too mighty for me the level of whoever could wage battle and stand up to Israel is stronger than mine therefore that I may drive them out of the land which is from their level Malchut if I drive them from that land and drive them from her meaning I will manage to have them commit sins I will be capable of doing with them as I please their power is through what through word and deed here is your mouth and my action and we will overcome him 265 for I know that he whom you bless is blessed but he asks from where did he know that he responds it was already explained and it is written who had fought against the former king of Moab and taken all his land out of his hand be midbar 2126 since he hired Bilam to curse him however for I know means that he had this knowledge through his wisdom furthermore because it is written he whom you bless is blessed what was the need to mention blessing here since his aim was to curse if his prior knowledge of Bilam was in relation to the curse what is the intention of he whom you bless is blessed 266 he responds however there is something implied here I was not aware of it and I did not deserve to gain any knowledge of it until Rabbi Lazar arrived and interpreted the verse I will bless E.T. Hashem at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth Tehillim 342 it is further written I bless E.T. Hashem who gives me counsel Ibn 167 who is it that needs blessings from the lower ones that is the particle E.T. which is Malchut that is jointly connected to them in Israel as a flame to the wicked David who knew of it said I will bless E.T. the wicked one said to Bilam that level of theirs which is Malchut is connected to them because of their blessings that they bestow on her daily if so you have the power to bestow blessings on that level and you will uproot her from them that is why it says for I know that E.T. whom you bless is blessed that is he too could bestow blessings on Malchut referred to by E.T. that way we will succeed against them bless that higher level and curse the wick that is Israel in which Malchut is attached like a flame to the wick about this he said while I go to the meeting under Hebko Bimidbar 2315 that is I will uproot Malchut that is referred to by COH from them so that she should not unite with them 267 furthermore go to the meeting have carry under have call means I will lead to pull that level down with transgressions defilement nightly uncleanness have carry and the defilement that will be caused by his children and she will destroy them he defines a carry as carry immediately and the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divinations in their hand Bimidbar 227 in order to avoid the excuses of the wicked one who says that he does not possess the particular magic which he may need and who will thereby be able to restrain himself from joining them section 20 therefore fear you not O my servant Jacob Rabbi Shimon explains the meaning of you in the title verse we hear from Rabbi Hamna that the hardships that Israel underwent gave them a great many benefits over the other nations who did not undergo them Israel will inherit the tabernacle of peace the Sheshana while the other nations will be Destroyed Rabbi Shimon says that this is because Israel is being punished for
called you that is Malchut since she has no separation from you. Her hey, meaning Ahay of Adelaide you was attached with the children of Israel if you destroy them from the world and Ahay of this name Ath which is connected to Israel gets removed from the name Ath and at his left that is the meaning of what is written if you have a deal thus with me meaning if you destroy Israel the Ahay that is the primary essence of this name Ath gets uprooted and only at his left from Ath the result is that you will make me an Ahay from Ath and that is what he said you at deal thus 270 therefore Joshua later said and what will you do for your great name Yahashua 79 meaning to the name Ath since this name is most definitely the essence and foundation of everything as it is written you are Hashem even though the Holy One blessed be he did not tell Moses that the Ahay will be reduced from the name Ath he understood that one depends on the other that the Ahay of Ath depends. On Yisrael and the sin causes the hay to get uprooted from Ath. He returns to the verse that he started with. Therefore, fear you not, O my servant Jacob. Yisrael 4628. Jacob and Yisrael are all one. For I am with you. If it was already defined, it does not say for you are with me, but rather for I am with you, indicating that the name Ath is connected to Yisrael as mentioned above. Therefore, for I will make a full end of all the nations. If it among all the nations, I will create destruction. Yet, will I not make a full end of you? If it that is because of the hay of Ath, which is tied to Yisrael as mentioned 271. The ancient Rav Hamnon has said the pressure and distress to Yisrael caused them a great many benefits and advantages. The laxity of the other nations, meaning that they have no pressure and pain in this world, caused them many evils. He explains the strain and worry that was upon Yisrael caused them advantages and benefits. What do they consist of? Kalalit destruction as. Everything is strained, meaning to say that all the letters that are sounded in it are stressed with a ditch, indicating that through stress he succeeds in gaining the higher Kala and bride, which is the Shechinah, the laxness of the rest of the nations who have no distress or difficulties yielded them slackness and evil that is Kalalit destruction without ditch stress, and that is proper for them because all the easiness without any difficulties that they had in this world caused them slackness without any pressure or stress afterwards that is Kalalit destruction with unstressed Kaf and Lamed as is written, for I have heard from Adonai Elohim Sevit that destruction had Kala is decreed, Yeshayah 2822, for I will make a full end had Kala without a stress Kaf and Lamed being unstressed, however, for Israel who passed through strain and pressure they will get the yielding benefit of the bride with Kaf and Lamed stressed with ditch as it says, and as a bride had Kala. Adorns herself with her jewels had Kila Hagabit 6110 Kala being the Sheshana 272 he inquires who are her jewels as it says and as a bride had Kala adorns herself with her jewels he responds these refer to Israel who are the adornments of this bride the Sheshana the children of Israel who went through this distress and pressure merit the verse I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen Amos 911 that is the tabernacle of peace meaning the Sheshana and the rest of it. Nations who had respite from trouble and anguish later deserve destruction through laxity with Kaf and Lamed not stress with ditch as they previously enjoyed respite from trouble the result is for I will make a full end of all the nations I yet will I not make a full end of you since you do not deserve it you already were many times earlier in distress and under the constant pressure of the exile therefore you will have a bride that is the Sheshana 273 but I will correct you and do. Measure live for judgment. Your Maya 3011 this verse should read, but I will correct you in judgment since when does one have torment when he is sentenced on trial? So what is the meaning of but I will correct you for judgment? His response, yes, it is only because it is written Hashem will come with trial with the elders of his nation. Yeshayah 314 on that day the Holy One blessed be he initiates the remedy for Israel prior to their being put on trial in order that they should be capable of withstanding it. What is that remedy at each time the Holy One blessed be he provides them with a slight amount of suffering at each and every time period and in each generation in order that when they rise to the date of the great trial at the time when the dead will be resurrected judgment will not affect them 274 and will not leave you altogether unpunished. Lit cleansing I will not cleanse you. Your Maya 3011 he asks what is it? He responds it is only when Israel are solitary and do. Not come up for judgment together with the rest of the nations, meaning before the end of correction, the Holy One blessed be He does not apply the strict law to them and forgives them when they come up for judgment at the same period as the rest of the nations together with them at the end of correction, as mentioned above. What does He do? The Holy One blessed be He is aware that Samael, who is the patron of Esau, will come to remind him of the sins of Israel and will have accumulated all their iniquities to have them available for the day of judgment. And the Holy One blessed be He will give them a remedy beforehand, so that for each and every iniquity He smote and cleansed them with sufferings little by little. That is the meaning of cleansing beforehand through sufferings. As a result of this, at the true trial in the future, I will not cleanse you from the world through judgment, since you have already suffered affliction at each given time little by little. Two hundred and seventy-five. I will not. Cleanse you means that even though you are my children, I will not discard your wrongdoings, but rather I will make you pay me little by little so that you will be free of guilt at the day of the great judgment when they come for trial. Samael will come with many writs of accusation about them and to counter them. The Holy One blessed be he will provide many writs of sufferings that Israel endured for each and every iniquity. All the sins were erased and he is not being charitable at all because they have already received their share of punishment. Then the power and strength of Samael is weakened and he is powerless against them and then he will vanish from the world. He and all of his side and all his nations. That is what it says. Therefore fear you not, O my servant Jacob. Hence, but I will correct you for judgment and will not leave you altogether unpunished. Section 21 Balak, Balak, Balam, Bala, and we learn about the evil partnership of Balak and Balam. With Samael and his friends, Rabbi Lazar dissects the names Amalek, Balak, and Bilam to show their deeper meanings of destruction and confusion. And her Rabbi Shimon says that Samael did the action when Bilam did the speech, so that whoever Bilam blessed was blessed, and whoever he cursed was damned. But Balak and Bilam did not know that God would take away their power of speech and also their understanding. Finally, we hear that Bilam was impaired in his hearing and in his sight and in his leg. 276 King David said, For lo, the wicked bend about, they make ready their arrow. Tehillim 112. Although we already explained that this verse is about Shebna and Yoik, the chief ministers of Hezekiah, it is also said, referring to Samael and his friends, that all his counsels and advice were against Israel. Balak and Bilam tread exactly the same path that of Samael and his friends, and we learned that they formed an evil partnership. They said, Amalek, is the letters AM lack meaning a nation have them that. Her head like them like a snake that strikes with his tail. They figured that we are more than they are because Balak is the letters B A L A meaning came. B A he who strikes head like and hurts them as he wishes. By long consists of the letters B A L A M meaning there are no head B A L people have them and no shepherd. Our name will cause their destruction and uprooting from the world. Two hundred and seventy seven. The Holy One blessed be he has figured their names in a different manner since there is B A L and Balak and in Balam and when they get together they are Babel or confusion. What are the letters that are left when you deduct from them the letters Babel? They are all of M E M Kaf that is I and M E M from Balam and K O F from Balak. This combination will cause their deep head omic thinking and ideas to become confused so that they should have no domination over the world and so that they should not remain in the world. Two hundred and seventy eight. Rabbi Shimon said Elazar you spoke well. However let the spirit of Balak burn. In Gehenom and let the bones and spirit of Bilam be ground there because they made a bad decision to go against the shield of Israel, meaning that Ko, which is the Sheshan, are referred to as Coh, and because they thought about uprooting that Ko and bringing evil through speech and action. 279 The wicked one said throughout history, people tried but were unable to do that. The generation of separation strove and did not succeed because they performed the deed but lacked the speech because their languages became confused and they lacked the capability. However, Bilam, your mouth is sharp and your tongue is equipped with these two aspects. He whom you bless is blessed from one aspect and he whom you curse is cursed from the second aspect. The midbar 226 The aspect that you wish to raise gets uplifted through your mouth and tongue and that aspect whom you wish to damn you can curse with the strength of your mouth. Everything depends on you because the action was already done through
whose language was confused and who could not have any control of their speech as is written that they may not understand one another's speech. Beersheet 117 and takes away the understanding of the aged refers to Balaam and Balak who were of one council as is written and Balak and Balaam offered sing on every altar of Bullock and Aram. Bimidbar 232 281 come and see that wicked one Balaam all his activities were designed for evil with haughtiness of heart both sacrificed the offerings. As it says and Balak and Balaam offered all the altars were prepared by Balak but the wicked one Balaam took praise and credit for himself saying I have prepared the seven altars and have offered upon every altar the bullock and the ram before and he didn't include Balak with him the holy one blessed be he said wicked one I know everything however return to Balak and you won't have to speak rather and say thus have Kobibar 2316 meaning the Shechinah that is referred to as COH will speak instead that is what is meant by and takes away the understanding of the aged 282 another explanation of and takes away the understanding of the aged is as is written and the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand Bimidbar 227 he took away their reasoning power so they could not control their witchcraft at all and spoke to him the words of Balak loudly and openly and not quietly because his hearing was impaired he was impaired in his ear, impaired in his eye, and impaired in his leg. In these three areas, he had a blemish and disability because he was equipped for the other side that was necessary for the other side because that was the location where defilement locates each type follows its type. Section 22. Lodge here this night. Rabbi Shimon continues with the story of Balaam and tells us that the Midianites would have acted appropriately if they had separated from Moab and not taken Balaam's advice to send their women to confuse Israel. The Moabites who remained to hear what God had to say were not killed, and yet the Midianites who left were later killed because they didn't care. We are told that in the night Balaam whispered and performed witchcraft and brought on himself a higher spirit from the other side, the Elohim that was his own level 283, and he said to them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you back. Bimidbar 228 about them it says and spoke to. Him of it seven meaning speech that refers to strong language because he was impaired in his ear about him it says and he said to them which is saying softly the usual sort of language lost here this night that is because the night is the opportune period of the other side and of the witches because it is the time during which evil aspects are prevalent and are in control spreading about in the world as Hashem shall speak to me of it eight he was priding himself with the name of Hashem 284. And the princes of Moab abode but however the ministers of Midian left them and did not want to remain there although the ministers of Moab did stay as is written and the princes of Moab abode on their own Midian would have acted appropriately if they would have separated from them altogether if in the end they would have caused no harm and not eventually been in the council of Bilam that sent their wives and women to Israel at Shittim to confuse them the scripture points out their sin as is written for they vex you with their wiles with which they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Kashbi the daughter of the prince of Midian their sister Bimidbar 2518 with these two things they sinned with Peor and Kashbi and their iniquity was great and with their tail that is eventually they struck later therefore they remained with him and the Midianites left on their own 285 another explanation of and the princes of Moab abode with Balaam it was fine for Midian to leave if that was their wish however the staying over of those from Moab who remained caused them to have a good reward due to their remaining there while the Midianites leaving caused them harm why is this it is because those who stayed were concerned about what the Holy One blessed be he was going to say while those who left did not care at all 286 he explains himself at the time that wicked one said and I will bring you backward as Hashem shall speak to me Bimidbar 228 Instantly those of Moab were shook up to hear this and stayed there and those of Midian did not care at all and left therefore they were punished afterward which is why the ministers of Moab remained with Bilaam that night this wicked one was whispering whispers and performed witchcraft and brought upon himself a higher spirit from above instantly Elohim came to Bilaam simply Elohim meaning his own deity not Hashem that was his own level of the other side that is in the left. Section 23 What men are these with you here the Zohar tells us that God tested three men, Hezekiah, Ezekiel and Bilaam, by asking them can these bones live and only Ezekiel passed the test someone said to Rabbi Lazar that Bilaam was greater than Moses because God called Moses to come to him but it seemed that God went to Bilaam Rabbi Lazar explains that God went out to warn Bilaam rather than have him come into his holy place and defile it we hear how arrogant Bilaam was and how unworthy Balak was to be king of Moab 287 and said what men are these with you Bimidbar 229 that was his own level of the left side that needed to ask because IT didn't know although the friends remarked on this in another matter they indicated that the Holy One blessed be he was testing him with his words because there were three who Elohim put to a test one was Ezekiel one was Ezekiel and one was Bilaam two of them did not stand up to the test properly and one did who was it that was Ezekiel as is written that the Holy One blessed be he asked him can these bones live Yashiskel 373 and he answered and I answered Hashem Elohim you know it but Hezekiel said they are come from a far country from Babylon to Melashim 2014 Bilaam said Balak the son of Ksipper king of Moab has sent to me Bimidbar 2210 to show that he is important in the eyes of rulers and kings however the Holy One blessed be he simply asked him in order to confuse him and allow him to hear as is written. He makes nations great and destroys them. Eoph 1223 and this has been explained 288. A man from Kuth asked Rabbi Lazar saying to him I see a greater power in Bilaam than in Moses about Moses it is written and Hashem called to Moses Vayikra 11 meaning he called him to come over to him about Bilaam it says and Elohim met Bilaam Bimidbar 2316 and later it says and Elohim came to Bilaam Bimidbar 229 indicating that Elohim came to him 289 he replied to him that is comparable to a king that was sitting in a room of his palace on the throne some leper called at the door the king responded who is it that knocks on my door they replied some unknown leper he said let him not enter this area and let him not soil the palace with filth I understand that if I inform him through my emissary he will have no fear of me and if my son will approach him he will get defiled rather I will go myself and threaten him to distance him from my son so that he won't be contaminated the king came first and approached him and warned him leper leper keep your foot away from the road where my son lives if not I promise you that my servant's sons will cut you into pieces 291 the beloved friend of the king calls at the gate the king inquires who is it they say to him that is so and so your friend he replies my most beloved soul friend no other voice should call him but myself the king shouts enter so and so my dear friend and my soul's beloved prepare and make ready the palace chamber so that I can have my conversation with him 291 so too by long that leper who is the outcast of human beings calls at the king's gate the king heard and said this contaminated leper should not enter in here and he shall not soil my palace I need to go and warn him that he should not get close to the gate of my son and he should not taint him therefore and Elohim came to Bilaam saying leper leper you shall not go with them you shall not curse the people for they are blessed Bimidbar 2212 Do not get near my son either for good or for bad you are outright polluted however about Moses it is written and he called to Moses Vayikra 11 meaning the voice of the king and not through an emissary out of the tent of meeting Shema 3020 means from the sanctified palace chamber that has been made up from the precious palace for this the upper and lower grades have a deep craving but they are unable to approach it 292 and Bilaam said to the Elohim Balak the son of Sipper king of Moab Bimidbar 2210 he mentioned the king of Moab to show that an important king sent for him king of Moab indeed look at the arrogance of that wicked man because it is written that he said king of Moab instead of a king over Moab which should have indicated a person who is not worthy to be a king but became a king over Moab for some reason of the first king it is written who had fought against the former king of Moab Bimidbar 2126 it does not refer to the first king as a King over Moab as it is written and Balak the son of Sipper was king over Moab Bimidbar 224 due to the fact that the earlier king was a king the son of a king royalty descended from royalty however about this one it is written Balak the son of Sipper was king over Moab the scripture testifies king over Moab that he was not distinguished but Balaam said to Elohim Balak the son of Sipper king of Moab here I remarked that he intended to give pride to his arrogant heart
Mood the song to all who came out to welcome the Ark 293 Rabbi Pinches was going on a visit to see his daughter the wife of Rabbi Shimon who was ill the friends joined along with him and he was riding on his donkey while still walking along on their journey they met up with two Arabs he asked them if any sound stirred in this field from ancient days they said from times past we do not know from our times we do know because one day robbers spread out over the roads in that field and snared Jews and intended to destroy them from a distance the voice of this donkey on which he ride was heard in this field it prayed twice a flame of fire came along with that sound and burned them and these Jews were saved he said to the Arabs Arabs in the merit of this episode that you related to me you will be saved today from the other robbers that are awaiting you along the road 294 Rabbi Pinches wept and said master of the world this miraculous occurrence you performed for my sake peace. Jews were saved and I was not even aware he opened the discussion with the verse to him who alone does great wonders for his steadfast love endures forever. Tehillim 1364 How much good does the Holy One blessed be he do for people and how many miracles does he perform for them on a daily basis no one knows except he alone a person gets up in the morning and a snake comes to kill him the person places his foot on his head without intention and kills him no one is aware of that except the Holy. One blessed be he alone to him who alone does great wonders a person walks along the road and robbers lie in wait to kill him another one comes along and pays ransom instead for him and he gets saved he is not aware of the Jesus that the Holy One blessed be he did with him and the miracle that just occurred to him except the Holy One blessed be he himself to him who alone does great wonders he by himself made and is aware and no one else is even aware of it. 295 he said to his friends. Friends what I inquired of these Arabs who are always present in the field was if they heard the voices of the friends who study and deal with the Torah Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Lazar his son and the rest of the friends are traveling in front of us and are not aware of us and I inquired of those Arabs about them since I know that Rabbi Shimon's voice shakes up the fields and the mountains they told me something I was not aware of meaning that miracle 296 while still traveling these Arabs returned and approached them again saying to them old men you asked us if a sound of voices was stirred in the field from days gone by but you have not asked us about this day we noticed today a wonderful marvel we saw five people sitting together and an old man was with them we noticed birds gathering and extending their wings covering over their heads some going and some returning so the shadow did not pass away from over their heads this old man raised his voice to them and they listened 297 he said it is about this that I inquired Arabs Arabs leave and this road should be ready for you with whatever you wish you have told me two things that make me glad they left the friend said how are we going to find that location at which Rabbi Shimon is present he said to them leave that to the one who has dominion over the footsteps of the beast he will direct their steps towards that location he did not lead his donkey yet his donkey on its own took a deeper from the road about two miles and went there 298 the donkey began to bray three times Rabbi Pinches dismounted and said to his friends let's prepare to receive the welcome of Atticum meaning the Sheshana because now a great face and a small face are coming towards us meaning Rabbi Shimon and his disciples Rabbi Shimon heard the braying of the donkey and said to his friends let us rise because the voice of the holy elders donkey has risen towards us Rabbi Shimon rose and the friends rose 299 Rabbi Shimon Open the discussion with the verse Asamo sing to Hashem a new song for he has done marvelous things. Tehillim 981 on top of the word Asam there is a vertical musical note which is the cantillation mark called Bazaar. He asks why he replies this note is indicative of a great reason because the song comes and gets adorned in the higher crown above its head therefore it receives above it a vertical note that is a musical note Bazaar who chanted the song the cows who sing to. Hashem a new song he asks to whom did they say this sing he replies for the many chariots many appointees for a variety of levels that came by there and went out to welcome the ark to them they used to say sing section 25 masculine song feminine song Rabbi Shimon explains that the word sure song is in the masculine form and sing to Hashem a new song because it refers to the ark malchut along with what is stored in it Zer and Ben and Zer and Ben is masculine. We learned that God originally had his right hand on the chest of his son Yisrael to protect him, but when Yisrael sinned, he put his hand on his back to throw him to his enemies. 300 O sing to Hashem a new song, Habshir. Tehillim 981. That song is masculine. He asks, What is the difference that Yisrael is in masculine form? Moses said, Shira is feminine, as it says, then sang the song, Habshir. Shema 151. He replies, It is only because there with Moses was only the ark by itself since Zadan. This Malchut that is called Zot and also ark left the exile. She and her multitudes, the Shechina in Yisrael, and nothing else. Therefore, it says, This Habzot song, Habshir, which is feminine, because it refers to the Shechina, which is feminine. However, here the ark came out that is Malchut with what is stored in it, that is Zir and that is masculine. So it says, Anushir, which is masculine. 301. For he has done marvelous things. That is what he did with the Philistines and what he did to their deities his right hand gained him the victory Tehillim 981 who meaning itself who is itself it is that psalm itself which is the Shechina that is referred to as a psalm because a high sanctified spirit Zeir Anpin was stored in it his right what is it it is that quality that the old man inherited Abraham that is Jesus that right holds onto that psalm and does not abandon it to the hands of another 302 here we should reveal one thing during the entire period when that right Jesus had wished to accomplish a miracle it held onto that psalm and it placed Israel in whom the Shechina is attired before him to hold onto it as a father whose right is held to the chest of his son in front of him and says who dares get close to my son as soon as he sins against his father his father places his hands on his shoulders from the back and throws him to his enemies 303 he explains himself at first it says so to speak your right Hashem is glorious in power of it six who is in power that is with that known power that is Israel in Arabia they call the chest of man power and the scripture says that right which is Jesus is glorious and holds to power meaning in the chest area of Israel that is called power he says who is there that there get close to my son afterward it is written he has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy Egypt 23 because he placed his right on the shoulders of Israel and pushed them into the hands of those who hate him at the beginning his right hand was at the front of Israel at his chest area to hold onto him following that his right was on his back over his shoulders to push him here it says his right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory Tehillim 981 that means with two arms to keep him section 26 the braying of the donkey who sang Rabbi Shimon says that the cow sang with their moon and they were not even accustomed to miracles therefore Rabbi Pinch's donkey was much more likely to be able to sing we learned that God created a grade over the mouth of the ass and at the correct time God opened the abyss in which that grade was kept and the grade emerged to rule over the ass thus the ass was able to talk similar things are said about the mouth of the earth and the mouth of the well and we are told that all of them were created on the eve of Shabbat at twilight when the Shabbat is sanctified the mouth of Hashem ascends to dominate all the powers next week. Here how Rabbi Pinchas sends away all the birds who are circling over the rabbis to provide shade Rabbi Shimon tells the birds that he will call for them again on a hot day the rabbis sit under three shady trees near a spring 304 if those cows which had not been accustomed to miracles used to sing with their moon how much more likely it is that the donkey of Rabbi Pinchas son of Yadir who was accustomed to miracles would sing friends if you say that this is not a custom of a donkey since it First appeared on the face of the earth to chant any song go take a look at the ass of the wicked Bilam that has defeated her master outright the donkey of Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yadir can most certainly sing furthermore when the ass of Bilam spoke there was a supernal angel above her that scared her however nobody could scare the donkey of Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yadir 305 there is something that needs to be revealed friends listen the mouth of the ass that was created on the eve of Shabbat at Twilight could you ever think that it was open from that period on or rather the meaning is that the Holy One blessed be he made a condition from that time on it is not so and there is a secret reason here that was passed on to the wise who do not pay attention to the foolish at heart the mouth of the ass is a level of asses that higher power of the female aspect the one that prevailed over that ass because there is nothing below that does not have an angel over it that is appointed from above. He talked over her and is considered the mouth of that ass when the
rules and dominates over all the powers which is the mouth of Hashem. 307 During this they noticed Rabbi Pinches arriving they went to him. Rabbi Pinches approached and kissed Rabbi Shimon. He declared I have kissed the mouth of Hashem and I was perfumed with the fragrances of his garden. They rejoiced together and rested as soon as they sat down. All those birds that created the shadow flew away and scattered. Rabbi Shimon turned back his head raised his voice to them and said heavenly birds. You are not carefully attending to the honor of your master who stays here. The birds stopped in their flight and traveled no further from their location but did not get closer to him. Rabbi Pinches declared, Tell them that they may continue on their way because no permission is granted for them to return. 308 Rabbi Shimon said, I am aware that the Holy One blessed be he wishes to do a miracle for us to give you a shade from another place. Birds of flight go on your way and say to the one who is appointed over you that at first you were under his authority and it was up to him to send you to give me shade. You are no longer under his authority because Rabbi Pinches banned your rules now and he has no desire for you. However, I will bring you on the day that is as harsh as a rock when a cloud will rise between the mighty teeth of the hot rays of the sun and they won't be able to join and create a shade. The birds dispersed and left 309. Meanwhile, there were three trees spreading out there. Branches to the three directions over their head which covered them with shade a spring of water flowed before them all the friends rejoiced and Rabbi Pinches and Rabbi Shimon were glad Rabbi Pinches said those birds earlier had to work hard to create a shade and the toil of living creatures I do not desire because it says and his mercies are over all his works Tehillim 1459 Rabbi Shimon replied I have not bothered them however if the Holy One blessed be he had mercy on us and dispatched these birds to create a shade over us we have no right to refuse his gifts they reposed underneath the shade of that tree drank from the water and took pleasure there section 27 of fountain of gardens Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Pinches that a spring in a garden is better than a spring in the desert because the former benefits grasses and fruits flowers and plants it is a well of life giving water the congregation of Israel when gathered together are referred to as a Spring of Gardens and Rabbi Shimon says that the five gardens in which God takes pleasure are Shesed, Burei, Tiferet, Netzach, and Hot of Zir, and when they receive water from the spring above them by the garden below them, Malchut benefits from the five gardens. We hear that there are other gardens, the three worlds, underneath this garden, and they produce a variety of fruits. Rabbi Shimon says that sometimes Malchut is a spring and sometimes a well. 310 Rabbi Pinches open the discussion, saying a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. Sure, Hashirim 415 a fountain of gardens. He inquires, does he not have a spring except from gardens? There are so many good and valuable springs in the world. He responds, all pleasures are not equal. There is a spring that emerges in the desert in a dry place, and there is enjoyment in it for whoever reposes and drinks. However, how much better and more valuable is that spring in a fountain of gardens? It benefits it. Grasses and the fruits whoever gets close to it enjoys everything he has pleasure from the water enjoys the grass and benefits from the fruits that spring is adored by everything. Many roses a variety of fragrant plants and grasses surrounding it how much nicer and better is the spring from the rest of the springs it is a well of life giving water. 311 this is how we establish its meaning about the assembled congregation of Israel which is Malchut which is referred to as a spring of gardens who are the gardens he responds the holy one blessed be he has five gardens which are Shesed, Burei, Tiferet, Netzach and Hot of Zeir and in which he takes pleasure one spring above them that is by is hidden and stored away it waters and saturates them and all produce fruits and growing plants there exists a garden lower than them which is Malchut that benefits from the five gardens that garden is preserved and surrounded from all directions around the world underneath this garden. There are other gardens in Bria Yitzra and Asiya that produce a variety of fruits. 312. That garden which is Malchut turns around and becomes a watering spring to all the gardens in Bria Yitzra. AMD Asiya, well of living water. When it is necessary, it is a spring, and when it is necessary, it is a well. What is the difference between this and this? He replies, water that flows by itself, like in a well, is not like water that is drawn up to give drink, as in the garden and streams from Lebanon. What is the meaning of streams? He responds, these waters return to become a spring during the time when water sprays up and flows down, continually dripping from above sweet waters for which the souls have longing. So these are the five sources which are Shesed, Burei, Tiferet, Netzach, and Hot of Zeir, and that emerge from Lebanon, which is by they become streams in the spring, which is Malchut, where do they flow drop by drop? So to the Holy One, blessed be He has produced a miracle. For us at this place that is why I read this verse about this spring section 28 when you shall besiege a city many days Rabbi Shimon opens by talking about the great value of the Torah like the spreading branches of a tree the words of Torah include the literal meaning of the text homiletic discourses hints that allude to wisdom numerical values hidden and concealed secrets one on top of the other forbidden and permissible and the person who studies Torah is therefore like a great tree God protects this tree from destruction even in a period of judgment Rabbi Shimon says that ever since the destruction of the temple God has only what is offered up for him in the way of Torah studies and the insights that are constantly renewed by the scholars we are also informed that these scholars give advice to the people who have their sins forgiven due to their acceptance of that advice Rabbi Shimon changes the topic to the evil eye and says that Joseph moved in front of his mother so the wicked one he saw could not look at her and that Joseph inflated his own size to accomplish this when Balaam lifted up his eyes he could not give the evil eye to the tribe of Joseph because the evil eye has no effect on them when Balaam's eye sharpened Rachel who is Malchut spread her wings over the children of Israel to protect them thus Joseph first protected his mother and then his mother protected him and his tribe 313 again he opened the discussion saying when you shall besiege a city many days in making war against it to take it to Barum 2019 how wonderful are the ways and paths of the Torah since in every single word there are a variety of ideas and so many benefits to human beings so many gems that sparkle in every direction there is no detail in the Torah that does not contain many lamps giving light to all directions the scriptural verse is in accord with its simple meaning it contains much in accordance with discourses and it has higher Wisdom to admonish whoever requires it happy is a lot of you regularly strives in the Torah 314 it is written about whoever strives in the Torah but his delight is in the Torah of Hashem and in his Torah he meditates day and night and he shall be like a tree. Tehillim 12 he inquires why is and he shall be like a tree mentioned close by to this it is only because whoever toils in the Torah day and night will not be like dry wood but rather he shall be like a tree planted by streams of water but just like a tree contains roots has outer bark has a core and branches and leaves grows flowers and produces fruit these seven types amount to seven times ten totaling seventy that is the secret of the seven Sfarat Shesed Burei Tiferet Netzach Hadyazet and Malchut of which each one is comprised of ten Torah words include also the literal meaning of the text homiletic discourses hints that allude to wisdom numerical values hidden secrets and concealed secrets one on top of it. Other faulty and approved, unclean and clean and forbidden and permissible from here on the branches extend to every direction and he shall be like a tree assuredly but if not if he does not possess all these branches he is not a man of wisdom. 315 Come and see how beloved are those who study the Torah before the Holy One blessed be he even at a period of time when judgment impends upon the world and the permission is allowed for the destroyer to destroy the Holy One blessed be he commands. The saboteur and destroyer concerning those occupied with Torah thus speaks the Holy One blessed be he to the destroyer when you shall besiege a city to Barum 2019 because of their many sins and iniquities to me and because they were found guilty in judgment many days what is many it is three consecutive days when the plague is known throughout the city how do we know that many days are three days because it is written and if a woman have an issue of her blood many days Vayikra 1525. Are they then many only if she sees blood three days in a row is it called many days here too when you shall besiege a city many days means three consecutive days by which the plague is established to exist in the city the holy one blessed be he says to the destroyer come and I will give instructions regarding the members of my household you shall not destroy a tree Devarim 2019 that is the scholarly student of Torah that resides in the city who is the tree of life a
Come with my honey, eat, oh dear one. Sure, Hashirim 51 from the day the temple house was destroyed and the sacrifices ceased, the holy one, blessed be he, has only what is offered up for him in the way of Torah studies and the Torah insights that are constantly renewed by the Torah scholar due to this IT is written for you may eat of it since she has no other sustenance except for that since she will eat from it and he sustains her therefore you shall not cut it down be careful that you do not. Come close to him 318 for is the tree of the field of man Devarim 2019 meaning that the scholar who is famous above and below is called man the tree of the field is a mighty great tree of a field which Hashem has blessed Bereshit 2727 which is Malchut that is considered field it depends on it for support because the Torah scholar sustains her since he is the tree that is constantly available to the field that it should be besieged by you Devarim 2019 refers to what is written at the beginning of the verse you shall not destroy its tree habetsa meaning the person who gives them advice habetsa and corrects the city inhabitants giving them counsel that it should be besieged by you means to be corrected and do repentance and to prepare for themselves weapons trumpets and horns what is the meaning of that it should let come be besieged by you that is to come before and enter by you with the eye and fear of you besieged refers to a place where the higher and lower ones are unable to enter what is it that is a level into which the ones who repent return what is that that is repentance which is by a fortified area and a strong rock 319 because they accept that advice from the sage I forgive their iniquities and they will be received pleasantly into my presence all this the holy one blessed be he instructs for those who strive in Torah and because of this happy and praiseworthy are those who study Torah those who are occupied and study Torah are great trees in this world 320 look what the holy one blessed be he accomplished by planting these trees praise is this path one tree would not have been sufficient but rather three huge trees spreading their branches to every direction is what the holy one blessed be he produced for us let it be the will of heaven that these trees and this fountain shall never be missing in this area until this day these trees and water fountain are still present there and the people call them the pillar of Rabbi Pinchas Banyah year 321 Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion with the verse and he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said who are those with you and he said the children which Elohim has graciously given your servant Bereshit 335 come and see that the wicked one allowed his eyes to gaze at the women due to him Jacob had to make some arrangements Jacob placed the housemaids in front and their sons who were a little more important behind them Leah followed behind them and her sons were behind her following behind them was Joseph and behind him Rachel and he himself went in front of all of them 322 that is another matter explaining differently after they all bowed down it is written then the handmaidens came near they and their children and they bowed themselves Bereshit 336 afterward it says and Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves and after came Joseph near and Rachel and they bowed themselves Ibit 7. He asks but Joseph was last behind Rachel and Rachel was in front of him and not Joseph in front of Rachel he replies it is just that when this good son beloved son the righteous in the world Joseph noticed that the eyes of the wicked were staring at the women he was fearful for his mother then he came out from behind her and spread his arms and his body and covered her so that wicked one would not place his eyes on his mother how much did he inflate his size six cubits to each direction so he covered her up so that the eyes of the wicked one shall have no effect against her consequently at the start Joseph was indeed behind her as is written earlier however he later came out from behind her and went in front of her 323 similar to this Bilam lifted up his eyes Bimid bar 242 it is written I that refers to the evil eye that wished to stare at the meaning that he roused against them that evil emission called evil eye and he saw Israel abiding according to their tribes Ibid what is the meaning of according to their tribes he replies it only refers to the tribes of Joseph and Benjamin that were there upon the tribe of Joseph no evil I can have any effect as is written Joseph is a fruitful bow Bereshit 4922 what does a fruitful bow mean it means that he increased and spread about to cover his mother from the evil eye of Esau as mentioned earlier a fruitful bow by well means that no evil I can affect him it is written about the tribe of Benjamin and he shall dwell between his shoulders to 3312 and it is further written he shall dwell in safety Ibid what does in safety indicate it means that he has no fear of the evil eye and is not afraid of any other harmful effects 324 the wicked one said I will remove and make void this line of the tribes of Joseph and Benjamin so that they will not last in the world and I will gaze at them with my evil eye as is required Rachel was present there and noticed that the eye of the wicked one was focused to do harm. What did she do? She emerged and spread her wings over them, which covered over her children. This is what it says. And Bilam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Yisrael. Once the Holy Spirit, which is Malchut, called Rachel, noticed the focused eye of Bilam. Instantly, the spirit of Elohim came upon him. Upon whom was the spirit of Elohim? That means upon Yisrael. That the spirit of Elohim spread its wings and covered over them. Immediately, the wicked one retreated. Three hundred and twenty-five. At first, the son was covering for his mother, and now the mother covered for her son. At that time, when Joseph covered for his mother, Rachel, the evil eye of the wicked one would not harm her. The Holy One, blessed be He, said to Joseph, Upon your life, when an evil eye approaches to gaze at your children and mine, your mother will cover over for them. You covered over your mother, and your mother will cover you. Section twenty-nine. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and. The children Rabbi Shimon gives an explanation of the title verse wherein he says that the accuser sees Israel anguished from fasting and believes that they are fasting because they are afraid of him. We read how and why God protects innocent children during Yom Kippur so that they are not punished for the sins of Israel. The innocent children are the Torah scholars to whom God has told his secrets. No evil I can have any power over them. Next we hear that the three trees that are sheltering. The rabbis bent down individually over their heads immediately after Rabbi Shimon says that the three trees are the secret of the patriarchs. 326 and he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children. Bereshit 335 this verse was said in the secret of the light of wisdom on Yom Kippur day of atonement when the world's denizens stand for trial. The children of Israel repent in the presence of the Holy One. Blessed be he to be forgiven for their iniquities and the accuser standing over. Them is thinking to destroy them due to their iniquities they sent him and that gift meaning the scapegoat then it is written for he said I will appease him with the present that goes before me bear she 3221 after the accuser receives this gift he reverses himself and becomes his advocate 327 the accuser raises his eyes and sees Israel are anguished by fasting and are barefooted he sees women and he sees children all are fasting all are radiant with purity and he said who had me are those heavily with you but five meaning the holy name Elohim that is derived from M-I-E-L-E-H they are with you Israel he asked about the children and he replied the children that Elohim has graciously given your servant bear she 335 he asks did he need to answer him anything he replies since he accepted that bribe meaning the scapegoat he turned to be a good advocate for them he raised his eyes and saw Israel in this way and thought that due to the fear of him lest he make accusations about them they were in such a state of fasting and repentance 328 another explanation he asked about the children and said who are these with you what is the meaning of who are these with you he replies that what he meant was true that it concerns the fast and repentance for you because you sinned against the king why are these children in a situation like this fasting and who are these with you and he said the children the holy spirit said this therefore there is a vertical tonal pause of all on top of and he said and on top of the children in unspecific manner to indicate that the holy spirit spoke so that elohim has graciously given your servant he inquires did then the holy spirit say to esau your servant he responds the holy spirit said these are the children who have not had a taste of sin in their first incarnation the holy one blessed be he placed them in the hands of the one appointed over you and he killed them without them having sinned as it says, and on the side of their oppressors there was power. Kahila 41, that is the meaning of your servant. 329, as soon as he heard about these children, he immediately ascended to the presence of the Holy One, blessed be he, and said, Master of the world, all your ways are just and true. If there is any judgment that prevails upon Israel, that would be for their own sins. Why did you hand their children who have not sent over to be killed? The Holy One, blessed be he, accepts thus his words, and has compassion on them at that period of time. And Yom Kippur children do not suffer from the period
of them as it says and their king passed on before them Ijit 213 and he definitely crossed over in front of them and bowed himself to the ground seven times Beersheet 333 the Holy Spirit that is Malchut diminished itself towards the one above to Zeir Anpin seven times corresponding to the seven higher grades Jesus Bure Tiferet Net Sach and Malchut of Zeir Anpin that are above it and diminished itself to include them with it each and every one until he came near to his brother. Ibit meaning to that level of compassion that is Zeir Anpin which is considered the brother of the Holy Spirit which is Malchut that are son and daughter to Bina and therefore they are brothers Zeir Anpin is called son as it says Yisrael is my son my firstborn Shema 422 that is Zeir Anpin considered Yisrael daughter is the assembled congregation of Yisrael meaning Malchut the Holy Spirit caused a diminishing of itself until its approach to its brother Zeir Anpin 332 as soon as Malchut reached him Zeir Anpin she beseeched him and informed him of the distress of their children below in this world both Zeir Anpin and Malchut entered the hidden and concealed chamber of Yom Kippur that is by their IMA since on Yom Kippur the male and female sent to IMA and beg forgiveness for the children of Yisrael then it says for on that day will he forgive you to cleanse you Vayikra 1630 it does not say I will forgive but rather he in the third person hinting at Bina. 333 Now the Holy One blessed be he granted the children that are the sages present here secrets of the Torah to be adorned with them and become established through them no evil eye has influence on them due to the benevolent eye and the Holy Spirit of Rabbi Pinches that dwells upon them Rabbi Pinches approached and kissed Rabbi Shimon he said if I would have come only to listen to these words it would have been sufficient for me praised is this road upon which I came to you 334 the Holy One blessed be he is here agreeing with us it is not enough that he granted us one tree but he even gave us three trees however this fountain is of a higher form in accord with that hidden and stored fountain that is by the these three trees are the cedars called the cedars of Lebanon and are in the form of three great trees which are the secret of the patriarchs meaning she said viewer Tiferet of Zeir and been called patriarchs and considered the cedars of Lebanon because they emanate from Bina called Lebanon praised is our lot at that period 335 the trees were bent over one over the head of Rabbi Shimon one over the head of Rabbi Pinches and one over the head of Rabbi Laser the branches extended into every direction on the heads of the friends Rabbi Pinches wept and said praised is my lot and praised are my eyes that saw this I am rejoicing not only about mine and yours but I am also rejoicing about Rabbi Laser our child that he is as important before the holy king as one of us because one of the trees bent over his head the same as it did over the heads of Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Pinches he rose and kissed him Rabbi Shimon declared to Laser get up from your position and sight in the presence of our master some of his teachings meaning some words of Torah Rabbi Laser rose section 30 what have I done to you and wherein have I wearied you Rabbi Laser tells us how compassionate God is to his sons even when they have sinned he says that God feels their pain if he punishes them so that finally he begs them to act righteously. 336 he opened the discussion with the verse. Oh my people remember now what Balak king of Moab devised. Misha 65 my people how much is the Holy One blessed be he compassionate to his sons even though they sinned against him. All his words to them are with love like a father to his son. If a son sins against his father and he beats him yet as much as he beats him he doesn't repent his ways and he derides with words and he does not accept from him his father then says I do not wish to continue to do to my son as I acted until now if I beat him his head will hurt and his pain will be upon me if I scold him he will make faces what shall I do I can only go and beg of him and speak to him softly so he should not get saddened. 337 in all these matters the Holy One blessed be he was behaving similarly with Israel he began by hitting them and they did not submit he scolded them and they did not submit the Holy One blessed be he then said I notice about my children that due to the beatings they had from me their heads were woe is their pain which I also feel as it says in all their afflictions he was afflicted Yeshua 639 if I deride them their facial forms will change as it says now their visage is blacker than coal they are not known in the streets each of 48 woe when I gaze at them and I do not recognize them now I will just beg and beseech them all my people what have I done to you and wherein have I wearied you Misha 63 my only son my soul's beloved look what I have caused you I have set you up to rule over all the members of the palace I have set you up to dominate over all the kingdoms of the world and if I have done any other things answer me you can testify about me 338 oh my people remember now what Balak king of Moab devised and what Bilam the son of Beer answered him remember now please remember I pray you what device now we should observe what the advice of Balak was against the holy people the Torah did not consider Balak as anything in comparison to Laban as it says in Aram I wish to destroy my father Devarim 265 missing the rest section 31 and from the hills I behold him and I step outside we hear the esoteric meaning of the title verse part of which has to do with the coming of Messiah son of David and also the emergence of Messiah son of Joseph who will die and be killed but will later rise to life again 339 I behold him Emid bar 239 here the depiction and form of his father was really impressed upon him and from that period that he was in his mother's womb from her side he spread out and extended one more step outside he explains for from the top of the rocks I see him Ibid, that was the form and depiction of his actual father when he was in his mother's womb I behold him I will have extended a step outward Bob is comparable to this 340 that is the meaning of and from the hills I behold him because I am a is called hills and from there Zeir and is made a step outward as mentioned earlier in the higher yeshiva the word Jibot and the hills is spelled without a bob in the heavenly yeshiva Jibot has a bob the bob is perfecting both directions one Zeir and because this hill never separates from its son that is Zeir and and never abandons him therefore the bob is always part of it and that is why it is written Jibot with a bob and one is about Messiah son of David because the hill below which refers to Malchut has the son included in her that is Messiah son of David in the future to come when Messiah will come that higher hill that refers to Bina needs to take and bring him inside her wings in order to firm him up and place him in the higher life of the Bina from it will emerge on that day Messiah son of David the bob of Omish Boti live from the hills I is hinting about him 341 that is the secret of I will tell of it. Decree Hashem has said to me, You are my son this day, have I begotten you? Tehillim 27, which is explained as follows, I am destined to speak to this place that is called Decree, that is Malchut, and give the good tidings. Hashem, that is Bina, has said to me, You are my son this day, have I begotten you? For Malchut ascended and attired this Bina and took out Messiah, son of David, from the aspect of Bina itself. Therefore, that very day which is Bina produces a decree that is Malchut from under her wings of Bina with much life, with many adornments and many blessings, as is proper. 342, that law which is Malchut will not remain on its own after Messiah, the son of David, will emerge from IT because then another Messiah, which is Messiah, the son of Joseph, will be also be included in it. In Malchut, there in Malchut, he will be fortified, and at no other place that is not in Bina as Messiah, the son of David, because this is a lower hill, meaning Malchut, that has no life of its own. Because Malchut contains nothing on her own except what Zeir Anpin gives her who draws from the Bina and grants to Malchut Messiah the son of Joseph was attached exclusively to Malchut alone and to no other place therefore that Messiah will die and be killed because Malchut on its own has nothing to grant him and he will remain dead until this hill Malchut will gather life from the higher hill that is Bina and provide to Messiah the son of Joseph from the lights of Bina then Messiah the son of Joseph will rise to life 343 because of that in the yeshiva of heaven the word Jibo and the hills is complete with the letter Bob that indicates both sides Zeir Anpin and Messiah in the higher yeshiva the word Jibo T is missing the Bob to indicate something about which there is no question or doubt it is a people that shall dwell alone Bimidbar 239 on their own without any other admixture section 32 top branch and path because some of this Section is missing, it cannot all be summarized. It begins with a discussion about the name Yahweh Bob Hey Elohim Yahweh Bob Hey. We learn that the children of Israel have the Hebrew alphabet and language, and that higher secrets can be understood from the form of the letters. This understanding is not available to people of other nations who have scripts that are merely inventions or agre
Shimon, that you merited the higher things of your master, your master is pleased with you. How much the measure of the expansion of this path is by higher measurement in the top of the branch and the path, and they were tired in this extension. Therefore, the first extension is the measure of the six ends, and everything was unified into this letter due to this. It properly shall dwell alone because the beginning is missing. It is impossible to explain. It 346 and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Be midbar 239. Israel have a writing script and a language in each letter. It is possible to observe the form and proper depiction in order to understand the higher secrets in them. However, it shall not be reckoned among the nations because they do not possess the script and language. The original source depicted in accordance with higher forms, they have nothing by which to observe and know anything through the shape of their script because they are vanity, the work of delusion. Yermia. 1015 Since their scripts and languages are merely agreements whereby people have decided upon a specific language and script, the secret shall not be reckoned in their way of thinking and observation of their letter forms because they do not possess the script. Happy are the children of Israel 347 who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel, Bimid bar 2310, of that higher point which is Abba and Ima up above its top branch and path which is the beginning. Middle and end meaning Chakma bonded at Chisid Vira Tifer at Netzach Hot and Yezid is hidden, it is not available for questioning since in Abba and Ima the Yud does not escape from the air from the moment it began to be built and to become a palace chamber in accordance with his wish and be referred to as who that is Israel Saba and Tavun its form of Abba and Ima it begins to be actually built which is Zeir and that acquires the form of Abba that is Abba and Ima above following that. He produced his female meaning Malchut in the form of his mother that is Yisrael Sab and Tevuna which is by the 348 what is this who is the top the branch and the path meaning the top middle and end which are Shachma Bandit Achisid Vira Tifer at Netzach Hot and Yisid of Yisrael Sab and Tevuna that spreads out so that a palace chamber may be built by extension it built in two directions to Zeir Anpin and Malchut so that even though it took out Yisrael that is Bob Zeir Anpin. It also took out the female together and invited her to itself who can count Hebmana means as it says and the king appointed them Hebbam and Daniel 15 similarly that means sending choice portions Hebman note Esther 922 meaning that who which is Yisrael Sab and Tevuna gave him Zeir Anpin a very valuable gift which is Malchut and took it out together with him in the same extension that it expanded it took both of them out together in the same moment 349 the secret explanation of and the number of the fourth part of Israel is passed on to you, Rabbi. Praise is your lot. The fourth part of Israel means one quarter part of the measure of Israel, which is Zeir and called Israel. That is the covenant meaning the Yisrael in Zeir and Why is it referred to by fourth part? Because in the measure of the body is four covenants. The covenant is a quarter part in measuring the body, and all of it is produced by who? That is by the therefore it says who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel. Because who has brought forth everything? Section thirty-three. My voice shall you hear in the morning. Hashem, Rabbi Laser talks about the title verse, saying that morning is the morning of Abraham. That is Jesus when people should pray, because it is a time of goodwill for everyone. All those who have sinned should pray for forgiveness. We hear about revival who carries all remedies and healing in his hand, and about how God. Looks for merit in people at the time of morning prayer. Rabbi Shimon tells his son that there are two mornings, one of Abraham and one of Joseph, both are of Shishid, but the latter is revealed through the illumination of Chakma. We hear that when God first made light, it was too bright for the worlds to bear it, so he made successive levels of light to be clothed in it in order for it to be brought down to a level that the worlds could withstand. Joseph receives all the higher light, so his brightness radiates from one end of the world above to the other. 350 Rabbi Lazar was journeying to see his father in law, Rabbi Yusi, Rabbi Abba, and the friends went along with him. Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse, My voice shall you hear in the morning, Hashem Tehillim 54. What is the meaning of morning? He responds, It refers to the morning of Abraham, who is Shishid, that was roused in the world as is written, and of Abraham rose early in the morning, Gershi 223, when that. Morning arrived that specific morning that is Jesus awakens in the world which is a time of goodwill for all and a time to do kindness throughout the world to the righteous and the wicked then it is a proper time period for prayer to pray before the holy king 351 therefore during that time when that morning arrives all the king's captives meaning those who sin and are bound in the chains of sin find rest it is a time for them to say prayers most certainly those who repent and beg for their request in the presence of the holy king in that period of time a chieftain exits to the south side that is Jesus and his name is Raphael all kinds of remedies are in his hand from the south side that is Jesus a spirit leaves and reaches to the chieftain appointed for healing that is Raphael when the prayer reaches the holy one blessed be he, he instructs the members of his court not to begin the trial because life is in the hands of the holy one blessed be he, and not in their hands 352 Because it is a time of favor, the Holy One blessed be he looks to find merit for that person if he is at prayer or he is returning in repentance, he has compassion for him at that time. The voice of nesting birds is heard as is written where the birds make their nests. Tehillim 10417 Because these birds thank and praise the Holy One blessed be he. The morning gazelle woke up in the world said, Oh, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you. Tehillim 3120 Then it appointee over healing goes forth and does all that he is instructed to do. 353 If you think that the types of healing are in the power of the appointee, as we mentioned, it is not so because the remedy is only in the hands of the Holy King. However, at the moment when the Holy One blessed be he instructs the remedy for that person, the appointed one goes out and all the prosecutors that are appointed for awful diseases fear him and the spirit that travels from the south side that is the spirit. Of Jesus extends that Jesus to that person and behold there is remedy however all is in the hand of the Holy One blessed be he 354 therefore it is written my voice shall you hear in the morning Hashem and it does not simply say my voice shall you hear Hashem because he is referring to that morning of Abraham in the morning I will direct my prayer to you and will wait expectantly Tehillim 54 he asks why is morning said twice he responds it is only because one morning is the one of Abraham that is Jesus and one morning is of Joseph as is written as soon as the morning was light Bereshit 443 the Targum translates it as the morning shines for it definitely gives light and the difference is that the morning of Abraham is Jesus which is concealed from Chakma and the morning of Joseph is of Jesus that is revealed through the illumination of Chakma I will direct my prayer to you and will wait expectantly what is the meaning of I will direct my prayer to you it only refers to I will prepare your candle to light up with as it says I have set up a lamp for my anointed tail 13217 that refers to that morning of Joseph because this preparation of the candle is his 355 it says and will wait expectantly he asks what is the meaning of and will wait expectantly aren't all the inhabitants of the world hoping and waiting for the kindness of the holy one blessed be he even the beast of the field and what is that praise of David better than everyone's in the world he replies I have inquired about this matter and this was the reply which is a matter of truth that comes from the distance that is the secret of Chakma as it says I said let me become wise but it was far from me Kahilat 723 the first light that the holy one blessed be he created was so bright that the worlds could not stand it what did the holy one blessed be he do he made light to his light so that they could be attired with one another and similarly with all the Rest of the lights that is each higher light gets attired with a level that is lower than IT until all the worlds get an enduring existence and can withstand it. 356 that is why all the levels were spread out and all the lights were attired. These attirements wherein the lower dresses of the higher are called supernal wings until they reach that morning of Joseph and he receives all the higher lights because yes it is comprised and composed of all the lights higher than him due to the fact that all the higher lights depend on him. His brightness radiates from one end of the world to the other end of the world above until the worlds below IT cannot withstand it. David came and prepared the candle which is a cover for the morning of Joseph. He should be veiled in it to allow the existence of the worlds that are lower by the setting of that candle. That is why it is written in the morning I will direct my prayer to you and will wait at Sapa expectantly as it says and he overlaid. Have yet who it with pure gold Shema 372 
that he has been given another 22 years of life and that 13 other people have died in his place this will give him time to bring up and teach his son Rabbi Yossi is returned to life and there is much rejoicing he tells the others what happened when he was in the world beyond and how much his son's action of offering to give up his life in exchange for him led to God's mercy 357 during their travel a dove approached and reached Rabbi Lazer she landed and chirped before him Rabbi Lazer declared worthy dove you are always faithful in your mission go and inform him Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Lazer's father-in-law to be prepared for the friends that are coming to you and tell him I am with them a miracle will occur to him in three days and he shall have no fear befall him because we are coming to him with gladness he replied again and said I am not too happy because I am very badly disturbed about one full pomegranate that was placed below him in his stead meaning that someone else died. In his place his name is also Yossi the dove left his presence and the friends left 358 Rabbi Abba said Rabbi Lazer what is this great wonder that I have observed he said to him this dove came to me on a mission from Rabbi Yossi my father-in-law who is in his sick chamber I learned from this dove that he is already saved and a substitute was given in his stead meaning to say another person is going to die instead of him and he got well 359 while still journeying behold a raven appeared. To them it cried out and called loudly Rabbi Lazer said this is your duty and for that reason you were created meaning to bring bad tidings get going on your way I already know Rabbi Lazer said let us go and do an act of kindness for that pomegranate that was full of everything Rabbi Yossi of Pekin was his name for he departed from this world and there is no one that is worthy to make an effort for his sake and he is close by 360 they detoured from the road and went there when they townspeople saw them they all went to welcome them and these friends entered the house of Rabbi Yossi of Pekin Rabbi Yossi had a little boy who wouldn't allow anyone to get close to the bed of his father after he died he alone was by it crying over him with his mouth over his mouth 361 the child opened the discussion saying master of the world it says in the Torah if a bird's nest chance to be before you but you shall surely let the mother go to Barum 226 the child was crying and weeping. He said master of the world abide by that matter that is in the Torah we were two children to my father and mother myself and my younger sister you should have taken us and acted in accordance with the words of the Torah as it says but you shall surely let the mother go and take the young to you of it seven if you should say master of the world it says mother and not father this is the same my father and mother as mother died and you have taken her away from the children and now my father also. Who was our protection you took away from the children where is the just sentence in the Torah Rabbi Lazer and his friends cried before the grief and tears of the child 362 Rabbi Lazer opened the discussion with the verse the heaven for height and the earth for depth Mishlei 253 while Rabbi Lazer was saying this verse a pillar of fire separated them from the departed but the child was still attached to the lips of his father and did not separate Rabbi Lazer said this is why the Pillar of fire separated either the Holy One blessed be he wishes to perform a miracle and revive him or he desires that no one else deal with him however I cannot bear to see the child's tears or to hear what he is saying 363 while still sitting they heard another voice that said blessed are you Rabbi you see that the speeches of the young kid and his tears rose to the throne of the Holy King and pronounced the sentence and the Holy One blessed be he handed 13 people in your stead to the angel of death to redeem you behold they have added 22 years to your life so you will have time to teach the young kid the perfect and beloved before the Holy One blessed be he 364 Rabbi Lazer and the friends rose and did not allow anyone to stay in the house they immediately noticed the pillar of fire was gone Rabbi you opened his eyes and the child was still glued with his lips to his lips Rabbi Lazer said blessed is our lot that we witnessed the resurrection of the dead I do. I they approached him and the child fell asleep as if he was expiring from this world they said blessed is your lot Rabbi Yossi and blessed is the merciful who performed a miracle for your sake due to the crying and weeping of your son life was added to you because of his utterances that he was pushing with irrefutably right true and heartfelt speeches to the gates of heaven due to his pleading and tears 365 they took the child and kissed him and cried with him due to great joy they removed him to another house and woke him up from his sleep they did not inform him immediately of his father's revival but rather later on they rejoiced there for three days and uncovered with Rabbi Yossi many new insights in the Torah 366 Rabbi Yossi said to them friends I was not given authority to reveal what I observed in that world until 12 years later however the 365 tears that my son spill came into account before the Holy King and I tell you friends at the time my son opened up with that verse mentioned above and cried out with these words 300,000 benches that were in the yeshiva of heaven were shaken all the souls stood before the holy king and asked for compassion towards me and guaranteed for me that I would not sin during that time the holy one blessed be he was filled with compassion for me 367 those utterances of my son were pleasing to him and the way in which he gave up his soul for me a guardian was present there a protector and defense counselor who said master of the world does it not say out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have you found it strength because of your enemies that you might still the enemy and the avenger tehillim 83 may it please you that through the merit of the torah and the merit of that child who was ready to give his soul for his father's sake you should have mercy on him and he should be saved 368 and 13 people were prepared and appointed in my stead who were granted to that angel of death as Guarantor's meaning is ransom in his stead to remove me from this harsh sentence then the Holy One blessed be he called on the angel of death and instructed him to return after 22 years because the 13 people placed in my stead were not considered real surety instead of me to excuse me from death forever they were merely placed in his hands as assigned temporary custodians meaning to say that either way these 13 would have died eventually and they were in the hands of the angel of death except that they died earlier therefore they could not be a redemption and safekeeping forever to give him leave of death they have only extended his time for a period of 22 years now friends because the Holy One blessed be he noticed that you were truly just a miracle occurred before your eyes section 35 Hashem kills and gives life Rabbi Yossi asks how Hashem can kill when the name Yod Hay is an elixir of life in which death does not exist Rabbi Shimon explains that he kills the body but gives life to the soul he lowers the soul to Sheol to purify it and then raises it up to its place in the Garden of Eden Rabbi Yossi concludes by saying that for the next 22 years he is no longer allowed to work at ordinary things of the world but he has to study the matters that follow from what he learned in the supernal realm 369 Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse Hashem kills and gives life he brings down to the grave and brings up Ashmuel 26 this particular verse requires more study does Hashem kill behold this name why you dehave up is an elixir of life to everyone and this thing death does not prevail in it everywhere this name provides life to all the world what then is the meaning of Hashem kills that people could think that he kills all human beings certainly the name Yadhe Bahay kills how does it cause death you might think to say that when it leaves a person he dies because while it is still prevailing within him none of the world's accusers could do damage to him but when it departs all the prosecutors immediately take hold of him and the person dies yet this is not so 370 he replies yet Hashem kills whom does he kill the extension of that other side meaning the body because when that extension of the other side sees the glorious glow of the holy one blessed be he it instantly dies and cannot exist even an instant as soon as the extension of the other side is dead and removed from the world he immediately gives life to whom does he give life to that extension of the holy spirit that is derived from the side of sanctity meaning the soul he revives her and upholds her to a perfect existence and all is accomplished by the holy one blessed be he at once and at the same time that is he kills the body and revives the soul and that is why it is written Hashem kills and gives life and it is written he brings down to the grave and brings up which means that he lowers that holy spirit Meaning the soul to Sheol and bathes her there in the fire that is in Sheol to purify her he instantly raises her and brings her to her appropriate place in the garden of Eden 371 and myself my friends during that period when I left the world my spirit was gone and departed immediately until a little later when the Holy One blessed be he brought me back to life during that time my body was dead during the time when my son began with these utterances his soul escaped and flew to meet my soul that was rising from her immersion as mentioned above and re-entered wherever it did there they sentenced and judged her and I was given 22 years of life for the sake of my son's utterances and
confidence he had in that world but he has not given me up to death because from everything that happened to him in this world, that he was pursued and he escaped from all his pursuers to a strange land in the land of Moab and in the land of the Philistines, the Holy One blessed be he has saved him and did not leave him to die he said but he has not given me up to death about his confidence in that world the eternal 373 David said if I sinned here against the Holy One blessed be he I have already been smitten here and have received my punishment he purified me from all my sins and did not leave my punishments to that world that is after my death definitely Yah has chastised me severely in this world to cleanse me but he has not given me up to death in that world to take revenge from me the rabbi yos i returned to talk about himself and said as for myself the holy one blessed be he has already cleansed me once in this world from here on i need to be careful and watch out that i should not be shamed in the world to come section 37 our father died in the wilderness rabbi yossi son talks about wise elephant's daughters mentioned that their father died in the wilderness when in fact many many of the children of israel had died in the wilderness he says that they died after the sin of the golden calf and before the torah was given to them elephant was not acquainted with the torah and he led those who spoke out against moses so his daughters thought that Moses hated him. The women did not speak solely in front of Moses but only before the other chieftains as well so that they would be sure of having impartial judgment in his humility. Moses then disqualified himself from judging their case but brought it before God. Instead the rabbi's son says that Zelophe had died through the words of his mouth but that his father Rabbi Yossi was raised back to life through the words of his son's mouth. The other rabbis talk about staying in Rabbi Yossi's house for seven days until his soul has settled back into place but they decide to go see Rabbi Lazar's father-in-law first and then return Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Lazar realized that the wisdom of the children of this generation will never be seen again until the coming of Messiah 374 the child his son opened the discussion with the verse our father died in the wilderness and he was not in the company of them. Bar 273 there is a tonal above our father meaning Zarka. Whose musical notation lengthens the pronunciation of the word Ahad about holy ones? How much the pain is drawn out when reading our father? There is no pain or hurt of the spirit and soul except when it is read like that. Our father, when it is hurting from the heart, died in the wilderness. He asks, Did not others die in the desert wilderness? Why is he marked by saying that he died in the desert? There were thousands and tens of thousands that died in the wilderness. 375. He responds, It is just that so many people are without it. Some of them say that the gatherer of wood was Zelophehad because it says, But he died in his own sin. Bimidbar 273. Some say this way and some say that way. I learned on the day my father fell on his sickbed. They taught me this and I saw that which I saw, which my father forbade me from revealing. And I was taught that there were many, many who died in the desert and not on account of the sins of Korah or on account of the sins of the spies when the awful. Judgment was decreed that all will die out in the wilderness but they died prior to the giving of the Torah and after those who misled the world meaning the mixed multitudes and those who followed them made the golden calf Zelophehad could have been among those followers but there is no definitive proof from what is written but he died in his own sin that he was the gatherer of wood 376 however the plea that these daughters pleaded was that he died in the wilderness he who was Zelophehad. A chief in the house of Joseph and who was not properly versed in the manners of the Torah could not therefore become a prince and he was the one who did not guard his lips and speech against Moses as it says and the people spoke against Elohim and Moses Bimid bar 215 Zelophehad was the spokesman and about him it is written and many had rab people of Israel died of it six because he was a man that was not versed in Torah he was a chief of a family tribe a chieftain from the seat of Joseph and an offspring of Manasseh because he sinned in the wilderness by speaking up against Moses his daughters thought that Moses harbored hatred against him therefore they brought forward their complaints before Moses and Eleazar and all the tribal heads and family chieftains they did not speak with Moses alone except in their presence because they were jealous of him 377 from here it is understood that whoever has doubts about the judge shall bring forward other judges and increase the number of people to be with that judge who will listen to the trial proceedings and he will have fear of them and he will not have a choice but to judge properly if he does not they will reject him from judging on the trials but they were not aware that Moses was very meek more so than all the men that were upon the face of the earth Bimid bar 123 they were not familiar with Moses qualities 378 when Moses noticed all this he said I see that all this gathering of great men from Israel and all the heads of the families and the heads of the congregation are closing in on me. Then Moses immediately disqualified himself from judging as it is written. And Moses brought their cause before Hashem. Bimidbar 275 other judges do not behave this way. Even if there is a great gathering upon them, those judges are considered insolent. Not having any of the humility that Moses had praised is a lot of Moses. Rabbi Lazar and the friends were glad. 379 the child said, I am returning to the earlier topics to talk about this puzzle. Note meaning the zarka that is on the word of our father in our father died in the wilderness. Its shape is comparable to a snake that hangs on his back and pulls his tail into his mouth. And the strawing that is on the musical note of zarka that is drawn over the word our father caused Zelophehad to die in the wilderness through the words of his own mouth. The child hurried up quickly and held onto the back of the neck of his father cried and Said this Zelophehad died through talking and you my father returned to this world through talking meaning through the utterances and tears of the child his father hugged and kissed him again Rabbi Lazar and the friends all cried and the father cried along with them they all took him and kissed him all over his lips over his head and over his eyes and his father was crying with him 380 Rabbi Lazar said to him my son since you spoke about this matter say what is the meaning of but he died in his own sin the child said father they ask why one word he died was not enough for them what was the need for them to say that he died in the desert and also that he died because of his sin it is only that with the depiction of the zarka that is over the word our father the snake that was wrapped around above with his tail the musical note lengthens the pronunciation therefore it is written in his own sin what is in his own sin it is in the sin of that snake what is it, it is with the speech in his mouth that he spoke against Moses the reason but he died in his own sin extends from the snake that is wrapped with its tail since he drew the power of contamination from that primordial snake by speaking against Moses that is certainly his own sin 381 Rabbi Lazar took him on his lap and in his arms and all the friends cried the child said to them scholars leave me with my father because my mind has not settled down yet Rabbi Lazar said to Rabbi Yossi what is the age of the child in days and years he replied to them friends do not ask me this because he still has not reached his fifth birthday 382 Rabbi Lazar said heaven forbid we are considering it only with a benevolent eye and you mentioned five years these are five more years in which there shall neither be plowing nor harvest bear she 456 and you too will not reap him forever Rabbi Lazar said to Rabbi Abba let us stay here up to seven days in order that the soul should settle down in the house because during the seven days after the soul left the body she walks about naked now that the soul of Rabbi Yosi left and returned she may not get settled back into her place until seven days have passed 383 Rabbi Abba said that it is written you shall open your hand wide to your brother to your poor and to your needy Devarim 1511 we have already taught this verse that it is imperative for a person not to abandon his poor and give to other poor here Rabbi you see your father in law is also in his sickbed let's go and do a kindness for him when we return we will enter here for a second time as long as we come and go this way we will observe the revival of the dead Rabbi Lazar said that is definitely rightly so they kissed the child blessed him and left 384 Rabbi Abba said I wonder about the children of this generation how strong they are like high and mighty mountains Rabbi Lazar said praised is my father's lot that he is the leader of this generation during his Lifetime the Holy One blessed be he wishes to establish his two yeshiva and wants to make them into a great and lofty settlement because there will not be another generation like this until the coming of Messiah the King they left section 38 due to 11 causes plagues come Rabbi Abba lists the 11 causes of plagues that he was taught about in the mission the first of these causes is idol worship and he equates being in disorder with leprosy he also talks about the second cause that is cursing the Holy Name 385 while traveling Rabbi Abba said we have already learned that due to 11 causes plagues come about to the human beings they are due to idol worship cursing the Holy Name incest
Head shall grow long vi 1345 just like it means leprosy there year too it is leprosy about cursing the name of Hashem how do we know it is because it is written this day will Hashem deliver you have yes into my hand Ishmael 1746 meaning the Philistine who was reviling and cursing the name it is written about the leper and the priest shall shut him up at his grow vi 135 we understand from his comparison by analogy just like it was regarding leprosy there year too it has to do with leprosy section 39 the eye of David and the eye of Bilam Rabbi Lazar says that David killed the Philistine by looking at him with an evil eye and this caused leprosy on his forehead thus the stone was sunk into his forehead we hear that David's eye was beautiful and gazed with love on those who feared sin but that the wicked were afraid of him the eye of Bilam on the other hand was entirely wicked next Rabbi Lazar says that the punishment for all the other causes of plagues listed earlier is always leprosy. He tells Rabbi Abba how Bilam perpetrated all these sins and that Bilam tried to draw the abundance of Israel to his own evil side. 387 Rabbi Abba said this matter regarding the Philistine has not suited me and I need to study it further. Rabbi Lazar said it is definitely so. This Philistine was close to the lineage of David and was the son of Orpah. That is the meaning of what is written out of the ranks of the Philistines. Ishmael. 1723 Do not pronounce Marakat and ranks but read from the caves had Mirah of the Philistines because he caused shame to his mother making her as a cave because it is written and the Philistine cursed David by his Elohim. But 43 David gazed at him with an evil eye and anywhere that David was gazing with an evil eye all kinds of afflictions flowed from the eyes of David. This is the way it was regarding Job. As soon as David gazed at him with an evil eye it is written and let it. House of Job never lacks such as are afflicted with an issue or with leprosy. 2 Shmuel 329 388 Here with this Philistine as soon as he cursed the name David looked at him with an evil eye and noticed on his forehead that he became leprous immediately. The stone buried itself in his forehead. I Shmuel 1749 Because the leprosy was stuck to his forehead. All this was due to the impression of the evil eye of the leprosy in his forehead that the stone was actually sunk into his brow. It is definite that he was a leper. 389 The wicked criminal by Lom's eye was the reverse of David's eye. David's eye was embroidered in all kinds of colors and there was no eye in the world as beautiful as David's. All the colors in the world sparkled in it and it was filled with love towards anyone who feared sin as is written. They who fear you will see me and be glad. Tehillim 11974 That is they became happy when they looked at him and all those wicked used to be fearful of him. 390 However. The eye of Bilam the wicked was evil in every way anywhere he gazed was destroyed as with a flame since there does not exist such an evil eye in the world as the eye of that wicked one which was inverse in relation to David's eye 391 how do we know that the punishment for incest is leprosy it is written regarding such immoral behavior therefore Hashem will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion Yeshayah 317 it is written regarding laws concerning the leprous marks and for a swelling and for a scab 1456 as it refers there regarding leprous afflictions here too it refers to leprous afflictions how do we know that afflictions of a leprous nature come as a result of thievery because it is written I have not produced it says Hashem Ksevet and it shall enter into the house of the thief and shall consume it with the timber of it and the stones of it Zechariah 54 what causes the consuming destruction of timbers and stones that is leprosy is written and he shall break down the house of stones of it and its timber vi 1445 392 how do we know that afflictions of leprous plague follow to punish an evil tongue because it is written and miriam and aaron spoke against moses bimit bar 121 and it is written further and aaron looked upon miriam and behold she was leprous ibit 10 for false witness how do we know that afflictions of a leprous nature follow we find that israel testified falsely and said these are your elohim israel shema 324 in a loud voice as is written there is a noise of war in the camp of it 17 thus they put out of the camp everyone with leprosy and everyone that has an issue bimit bar 52 in both cases a similar term of camp is used to give an indication and teach us an equal decree 393 about a judge who distorts the law of judgment how do we know that leprosy afflictions follow because it is written as the fire devours the stubble and as the chaff in their blossom shall Go up as dust, Yeshua 524. What is the reason? Because they have cast away the Torah law of Hashem Seviyah and blossom means none other than leprosy, as is written, and if the leprosy breaks, it blossoms out abroad. Vayikra 1312. If someone infringes on the property or boundary rights of his neighbor or associate, how do we know that leprous afflictions come about from Utia who infringed on the rights of the priesthood, as it is written, the leprosy broke out on his forehead too? To Rehamim 2619. How do we know that someone who incites strife among brothers gets hit with leprosy because it is written, and Hashem plagued Pharaoh Bershi 1217 because he caused strife between Abraham and Sarah about an evil eye? How do we know this is as we already studied that David's evil eye was wounding with leprosy those who were not fearful of Hashem, so we have proof that the evil eye causes leprous afflictions. All this was applicable to the wicked by Lom 394. Come and see. That it is written to Peter which is by the river Bimidbar 225 what is the meaning of by the river he responds he said his evil eye on the river that is in Israel which is Yezid in Zeir and as is written behold I will extend peace to her like a river Yeshayah 6612 Bilam came upon Peter which is Malchut of the other side and was provoking them 395 Rabbi Abba said certainly all these things applied to Bilam but how do we know that he Bilam was also involved in sexually indecent behavior he replies because it says behold these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Bilam to revolt against Hashem Bimidbar 3116 we have here the idol worship of P.E.O.R. and sexual immorality of Kashbi daughter of T.Z.U.R. how do we know that false testimony applied to Bilam because it is written and knows the knowledge of the most high Bimidbar 2416 and yet he did not know even the thoughts of his beast because he could not figure out why his ass from the road how to we know that the distortion of justice also applied to Bilam because it is written come therefore and I will advise you a bit 14 for it was still debated and impends upon judgment if Israel is guiltless or not yet he gave bad advice to harm Israel and that is a deflection of justice because he counseled harmful things about them and he didn't care if he did it 396 he infringed on what was beyond his boundary rights why do we know that about Bilam because it is written and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram bimidbar 234 and it is written I have prepared the seven altars if it in fact the offering up of the sacrifices belong to the priests and not to him and inciting strife between brothers applied to him as well because he caused strife between the children of Israel and their father in heaven malicious language applied to him since no one in the world was a master of slanderous language as he was since all his power was in his mouth the curse of the holy name applied to him as is written while I go to the meeting under Hetko Bimidbar 2315 which means that he wished to uproot Malchut called COH from Israel all these things that were manifest in him also included the evil eye as we studied and everything was directed against the river of Israel that is Yezid in Zeir and he set his eyes on it to provoke it to bend its abundance to his own evil side to the land of the children of his people Bimidbar 225 he asks don't we know that this was the land of the children of his people he responds that is only the secret meaning to which all the members of his people were attached as we have studied already section 40 of him who has an evil eye Rabbi Yossi says that Balak realized that he and his people would fall into the hands of Israel because he saw this Bilam's knowledge was of the kind that was only understood at night when the lower Sfirat and the asses of the Klippot have dominion. 397 and Balak the son of Ksibar saw Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse do not eat the bread of him who has an evil eye Mishlei 236 that applies to Bilam who was evil eyed and he blessed the children of Israel nor desire his dainty supplies to Balak for whose burnt offerings that he offered before him the Holy One blessed be he had no desire 398 come and see during the period that Balak saw that Zihon and Og were killed and their country was taken he noticed one more thing he asks what did he see that the scripture says saw it is only that he realized with his wisdom that he and the five top chiefs of Midian and his people were falling into the hands of Israel he saw
His own authority, Rabbi Itzhak, relates what Rabbi Yehuda told him about the ten lords Farad of the right and the ten of the left. We learn from Rabbi Yussi that Joseph studied the wisdom of the lords Farad of the other side while he was in Egypt. Rabbi Shimon tells the others that in the future God will tie up the ass that is Israel's accuser so that he can no longer harm them. We hear about this Farad that pertain to divination and this Farad that pertain to enchantment. The ox comes from the aspect of enchantment and the donkey comes from the angle of divination. This is why Balaam used the ass in his witchcraft to remove himself from God's power. We hear about the angel of compassion that stood in Balaam's way when he tried to leave God's jurisdiction and how the angel confounded Balaam's wisdom and deflected him from his path of witchcraft. 400. You may wonder why we find written and Elohim came to Balaam at night. Bimid bar 229. That is certainly how it is, and we already explained. That this is a minister that was appointed over them and he approached him similarly. Elohim came to Laban the Aramean Beersheet 3124 and it is all the same meaning. It refers to their appointed minister because Elohim is a common namesake used even for people. Therefore he said to Balak Lash here this night. Bimidbar 228 401 when that appointed minister used to arrive Balaam came into his ass and performed his deeds and spoke his spells and the ass would inform him. He also showed acts in order that the spirit should dwell on him. What did he show? He knew that donkeys wander around and prevail at the beginning of the night. He then showed that accomplishment and placed his ass at a prepared spot lined up against the donkeys and accomplished his work. He set the order of his speeches and he used the ass to tell whoever came in whatever was necessary. 402 he inquired since one night he already told him you shall not go with them. Bimid 12 what is the reason that he Returned the second time he responded is only that they were under jurisdiction of the high authority and we were taught in the path man wishes to follow he is led at first it is written you shall not go with them however as soon as the holy one blessed be he realized that he wanted to follow he told him rise up and go with them but only that word bimidbar 2220 what did Balaam do all that night he was contemplating and thinking saying where then is my honor if I am tied that is in the authority of the above he studied his witchcraft all night but could not find an angle that would place him under his own authority except from the angle of his ass meaning that with the power of his ass he would be disconnected from the authority above and come into his own authority 403 that is what Rabbi Yitzhak said in the name of Rabbi Yehuda regarding these lords Farah there is right and there is left from the right angle are the donkeys which are males as we explained and from it Left angle are the asses that are the females. We have learned that there are ten to the right and ten to the left. That is in accord with the tense rod of sanctity, as the Elohim has made the one as well as the other. Kahilat 714. That is what Rabbi Yussi said when Joseph left his father. He was knowledgeable in the higher wisdom and the secret meaning of the sanctified supernal rod. When he reached Egypt and stayed there, he studied also the wisdom of the Lord rod of the other side. How these of the right and these of the left are linked. That is the ten of the right and the ten of the left. The male and female asses. That is why he told his father what he had learned there as is written. And to his father he sent after this matter ten asses. Bereshit 4523 404. Rabbi Yussi said these ten of the right are all comprised in that one that is called donkey. That is the same donkey of which is written. You shall not plow with an ox and an ass together. Devarim 2210. That is the same. Donkey which King Messiah is destined to dominate as was said in explanation in the meaning of what is written humble and riding upon an ass. Zechariah 99 these ten of the left are all comprised in the one that is called the female ass because from her end emanates Ariyah that causes harm to the children that is called Hevi are the foal of an ass as we studied this is what is written humble and riding upon an ass and upon a colt the foal of an ass Hevitonot it says Hevitonot lacking the Bob of plural indication because the ten are all included in one ass as mentioned above 405 Rabbi Shimon said that it is written binding his foal to the vine Bereshit 4911 binding to the vine meaning for the sake of the children of Israel who are called grapevine as it is written you have brought a vine out of Egypt Tehillim 809 the Holy One blessed be he is destined to tie up this IRA who is the accuser that harms them since Israel are called noble vine as it is written and I had Planted you a noble vine, your Maya 221 IT is written, his ass is called to the choice vine, Bereshit 4911, meaning the one who is an outcome of that ass's side, he will bind her and subdue her 406, the ten of the right and ten of the left that are included in these two, which are the male and female ass, as mentioned earlier, all pertain to divination, there are ten others of the right and ten of the left that pertain to enchantment, therefore it is written, surely there is no enchantment in Jacob, nor is there any divination in Israel, Bimidbar 2323, what is the reason, because Hashem Elohim is with him, Bimid 21, from the aspect of enchantment comes the ox, from the angle of divination comes the donkey, that is the meaning of ox and an ass, therefore because Bilam knew that he was bound to the other authority that is higher, it said to him, but only that word he found this bad saying to himself, where is my honor, immediately he examined his witchcraft and could not come up with anything. That would reintroduce him to his authority except this ass 407 instantly Bilam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass Bimid bar 2221 to do his desire with her and the desire of Balak therefore Elohim's anger burned because he went to Bimid 22 he precisely because he has removed himself from his authority with the help of his ass as mentioned earlier from what he was told but only that word which I shall say to you shall you do Bimid 20 come and see that this is how it was because he was granted permission at first and was told to stand up and go with them now that he was going why did Elohim's anger burned it is because he in his own authority was going to exclude himself from the one who said to him but only that word 408 the holy one blessed be he said to him wicked one you are hurrying and preparing your gear and hastening to leave my authority I promise on your life that you and your ass will remain in my control soon the angel of Hashem stood Shema 32 What is the meaning of stood Rabbi Abba said he deviated from his usual skill and adopted another skill because he was an angel of mercy and not of judgment as Bilam that is what Rabbi Shimon meant when he said the wicked transform mercy into judgment therefore it is written as an adversary Bimid bar 2222 but not for another because that was not his want since he was of the attribute of compassion 409 Rabbi Lazar says the angel did not act differently and did not leave his usual practice it is only that the angel was from the merciful side and stood against him he was interfering with his wisdom and disturbing his wishes that is the meaning of as an adversary to him he was an adversary and presented himself as an adversary but to someone else he was not considered an adversary 410 we studied that Rabbi Shimon said how much wiser Bilam was with his witchcraft in relation to the rest of the people in the world at the time that he was looking for some Possible idea to enable him to escape the jurisdiction of the Holy One, blessed be he specifically it is written, but only the word he then took stock of his art in witchcraft and could not find anything besides this ass through which he could be helped to escape the authority of the Holy One, blessed be he it is written and saddled his ass, he loaded his ass with all types of magic and sorcery with which he was familiar, put it under and made her part of all of them in order to curse Israel. Instantly Elohim's anger burned because he went, he is specific as we were taught that he indicates that he left his jurisdiction as mentioned earlier. What did the Holy One, blessed be he do? He put before him an angel of compassion that would stall and oppose him and dismantle his witchcraft and sorcery. 411 come and see until now it is not written yet, hey, bob, hey because it is not apparent in his witchcraft and sorcery as we have already explained as soon as he had prepared his ass and Ready her with appropriate witchcraft with the aspect of judgment to curse Israel the Holy One blessed be he prepared the angel of mercy to oppose him prior to that and with the name of compassion to confound his wisdom and to divert his ass from that direction as is written and the ass turned aside out of the way Bimidbar 2223 out of the way is precise meaning from his path of witchcraft that is why it does not say the angel of Elohim but rather the angel of Hashem Yod Hei That is indicative of mercy 412 the Holy One blessed be he said wicked one you have loaded your ass with your witchcrafts with several aspects of judgments against my children I will remove your load and remove you from this direction quickly he advanced the angel of compassion as an adversary to him precisely as we studied and not to anyone else as mentioned
He was having his eyes open, seeing and observing the glory of the Holy One. Blessed be he didn't Rabbi Shimon say that Balaam with his witchcraft understood the Lord's Hirat below as it is written, Balaam also of the son of Be of the soothsayer Yahashua 1322. The scripture calls him soothsayer that is soiled filth and how could he gaze at the glory of his master? Furthermore, didn't Rabbi Shimon say that he beheld temporarily as is written and Hashem opened the eyes of Balaam, his eyes became bent changed and you say that he had to see with his eyes open observing the glory of the Holy One. Blessed be he 415. He said to him, I take back what I said against you. My words and yours need to be polished and clarified. The secrets of the Torah are definitely lofty and people of the world have no clear understanding of them. It is therefore not permissible to proceed to expound on the topic in Torah before hearing and understanding the matter properly and clearly they came to Rabbi Shimon. And discussed the matter with him. Section 43 Azah and Azael falling down but having his eyes open. Rabbi Shimon explains to the rabbis that when God wished to create man, many of the angels told him that man would sin and others asked him, What is man that you are mindful of him? God said that he wished to create man and that man would be in their own image and would have wisdom higher than the angels. When Adam sinned, Azah and Azel complained to God about it, so he dropped them from heaven and reduced their holiness. Angels are capable of enduring only through the higher light that sustains them. And when their level was dropped, the glow of their light was reduced. Rabbi Shimon talks about the manna that fell to feed the children of Israel in the wilderness and says that it was from the dew that filtered down when it encountered the air of this world. Its glow was reduced and it solidified. He goes on to say that when God saw how Azah and Azel were misleading. The world he buried them in the dark mountains from where they still teach people witchcraft and divinations Laban and Bilaam learned from them when Torah says that Bilaam heard the words of El this meant the words that Uzzah and Azel related of God's words that they had learned when still in heaven Rabbi Shimon tells us that falling down refers to Uzzah and having his eyes open refers to Azel he concludes by saying that the Shechina dwells only in a holy place that is deserving of it. 416 he opened the discussion with the verse what is man that you are mindful of him Talim 85 it was explained that the appointed minister said this at the time when it was the wish of the Holy One blessed be he to create the human being then he called many classes of the serving angels and set them in his presence he told them I wish to create Adam and they said nevertheless man abides not in honor Talim 4913 the Holy One blessed be he extended his finger and put them in fire he had. Other classes sit in his presence. He said to them, I wish to create man. They replied, What is man that you are mindful of him? What are the functions of this man? He replied to them, I wish to create Adam who will be in our own image and his wisdom will be above your wisdom. 417. As soon as Adam was created and sent and left his presence with his judgment sentence, Azah and Azel approached. They said to him, We have a redress to complain about to you. Here is the man that you created and he sinned against you. He replied to them, If you would have been with them, you would have been worse than him. What did the Holy One bless be? He do. He dropped them from heaven by reducing their level of holiness. 418. Rabbi Shimon said, Now I will return to your difficulty that you asked about what Bailam was saying, falling down but having his eyes open. If we say that this was not so, but rather he just gave praise to himself, how would the Holy One bless be? He write a lie in the Torah of it. Was true, how could the wicked one be benefiting by praise of the highest level above all the prophets of the faith? In addition, doesn't the holiness of the above only dwell on a place that is appropriate for it and not on this contamination? 419. Now I will return to the earlier matter after the dropping of Azah and Azel from their holy level by the Holy One. Blessed be he there after the women of the world and misled the world. Here we need to study and observe as we find written who makes the winds his messengers. Tell him 1044. Here these angels were messengers. How could they exist on the earth? He replies, Just come and see all the angels above do not stay and are capable of enduring only through the higher light that illuminates for them and sustains them. If that light of the above is cut off from them, they cannot exist. Most certainly these angels which the Holy One blessed be he drop lower and from whom he removed that highlight from above would have their glow changed. Consequently, when they dropped lower and were under the dominance of the world, here they transformed to another level. 420 Come and see the manna that came down for Israel in the wilderness. That manna was from the dew above that filtered down from the most concealed attic that is Keter. When it came down, its light was illuminating in the whole universe, and from it were sustained and fed the field of apples that is Malchut and the higher angels. When the manna came lower down and the air of the world affected it, it gelled and its glow changed. It was not glowing anymore, only as it says, and the manna was like coriander seed. Bimidbar 117 The atmosphere had even more of an effect on the angels that were dropped lower by the Holy One. Blessed be he. As soon as they descended, they were transformed from that earlier level in which they were. 421 What did the Holy One bless be he do? He saw that the Azah and Azel were misleading the world. He bound them with chains of steel in it. Dark mountains where are they situated in the valley of the mountains he placed Azah there and through the darkness in his face when the Holy One blessed be he bound them he provoked the anger towards the above as a result the Holy One blessed be he dropped him in the depth to his neck and through darkness in his face he placed Azel who did not provoke the anger next to Azah and illuminated the darkness for him 422 the inhabitants of the world that know the location of Azah and Azel visit them. They teach people witchcraft divinations by omens and signs and by charms these dark mountains are referred to as the mountains of old what is the reason because the darkness preceded the light that is why the dark mountains are called mountains of old Laban and Bilaam learned witchcraft from them and that is what Bilaam said Balak the king of Moab has brought me from Aram out of the mountains of old Bimidbar 237 423 come and see that Bilaam used to praise himself from this location. And said the saying of him who hears the words of El Bimidbar 2416 Azah and Azel used to tell people about these higher matters of knowledge which they acquired earlier when they were above in heaven they used to reveal and relate information from the holy world where they were that is what it says who hears the words of El it is not written who hears the voice of El but rather the words of El these are the speeches and stories that Azah and Azel used to relate of him from El similar to someone who comes from listening to a discourse in a seminar they ask him where did you come from he says from listening to the speeches of the holy king the same is the meaning of who hears the words of El and knows the knowledge of the most high but that he knew the timing when judgment impends on the world and focuses on that time with his witchcraft 424 who sees the vision of Shaday but what is meant by vision of Shaday these are falling down and having his eyes open which refer to Azah and Azel falling down is Azah why was he called falling that is because the Holy One blessed be he stuck him into the depths of darkness to his neck as we mentioned and darkness gets hurled into his face that is why he is referred to by falling down because he fell from heaven and next he fell once more into the depths of darkness Azel is having his eyes open because he was not covered with darkness because he neither provoked nor angered like the one before meaning. Azah Bailam referred to them by the words the vision of Shaday which are falling down and having his eyes open 425 during that period of time there was nobody in the world who visited with them Azah and Azel except for him Bailam who would daily seal himself away with them in those mountains that is why it says Balak the king of Moab has brought me from Aram out of the mountains of old specifically from the mountains of old which are the mountains of the darkness as mentioned and not from the land of the people of the east also of old 426 Rabbi Shimon said how many times I have said this and the friends do not observe that the Holy One blessed be he allows his Shechina to dwell only in a holy place a place that is deserving for it that is how the Holy One blessed be he proclaims and says there must not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass to Barim 1810 and he Bilaam comes to mix among them praised is a lot of Israel that the Holy One blessed be he sanctified them to dwell among them and it is written for Hashem your Elohim walks in the midst of your camp to Barim 2315 because each he walks in the midst of your camp it is also written therefore shall your camp be holy even and it is written and be holy Vayikra 207 it is also written defile not yourselves in any of these things Vayikra 1824 and it is further written and therefore I abhor them Vayikra 2023 because I cannot come near to them and they cause me. To dwell without praise is Israel's lot and praise is the holy faithful prophet's lot they are sanctified and they have a part to benefit in the higher holiness
Asked if his mission was against the ass what need was there for the sword if his intentions were against Bailam why did the ass notice him but Bailam was unable to perceive him he responds it must be that his mission was intended against all both to the ass and to Bailam the angel came before the ass to help her out from the way it was loaded meaning the witchcraft and sorcery that were placed on the ass how did he relieve her with compassion and he stood against Bailam to punish him about his intention to follow his own authority rather than the authority of the above 428 rabbi you see said now there is room to question if Bailam's utterances were from the aspects of the lower Sfirah and not from other aspects as it is written and Elohim came to Bailam but only that word Bimidbar 2220 rabbi Yitzhak said this is how I learned that all these references to Elohim here were referring to an angel who came from the aspect of harsh judgment to which are linked the power and strength of these lower crowns of which Bailam made use as a result of this IT is written and Elohim came to Bailam and an Elohim said to Bailam of 12 because an angel is sometimes referred to by a supernal name 429 and the ass turned aside out of the way of 23 meaning that it deviated from the aspect that she was encumbered with the aspect of harsh judgment against Israel he asked how did Bailam perceive that she deviated from that path it is only that Rabbi Shimon meant to say that even along the road he wished to harm Israel with the strength of his ass since he was unable to it is written and he struck the ass with a staff of 27 meaning that he burdened her and loaded her with the powers of harsh and forceful judgment that is why it is written with a staff and staff is precise which alludes to powerful and harsh judgment it is not written as staff but rather a staff which indicates the well-known staff that is harsh judgment 430 come out and see how Powerful and effective was the wisdom of the wicked one and his passion to harm Israel because he was careful to leave the authority above that prevents him from that due to his passion to have honor and to harm Israel 431 but the angel of Hashem stood in the path of the vineyards Bimidbar 2224 what is written above at first it is written and the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field meaning it followed a straight course in the side of field which is Malchut and deviated from what was instilled in her from the course of witchcraft with which Bailam had burdened her and Bailam smote the ass to turn her into the way of the 23 meaning to diverge from that course of the field which is Malchut of holiness to the course of his witchcraft Rabbi Yossi said between the angel and between Bailam the ass found herself in great distress afterward when Bailam realized that he was unable to deviate her from the course of that field then he struck the ass with a staff. As we explained that staff refers to harsh judgment 432 but the angel of Hashem stood Rabbi Abba said how important it is for us to pay attention to the sayings of the Torah these verses are imbued with higher wisdom is it in vain that this angel comes out to be seen to one ass or to stand against her way in the vineyards now here and now there it is only that it is a higher secret and with everything the Holy One blessed be he wished to shield the children of Israel they would not be controlled by evil beings because they are the lot of the Holy One blessed be he 433 but the angel of Hashem stood in the path of the vineyards we were taught that when she melted is adorned from the aspect of IMA in her decorations appear 1500 aspects engraved under ornaments when she melted wants to unite with the king that is Zeir and she gets adorned with one ornament of four colors those colors glow in the four directions of the world and each and every color glows three times in its direction which are the twelve boundaries defined they come to be included in twelve others 434 at the top of that decoration there are four lines to four directions, north, south, east, west, which are lines of towers as it says banks of fragrant flowers sure hasherim 513 what is fragrant it is as it says with all powders of the merchant of it 36 on every individual tower are three portals set with fine stones around each side this decoration is engravings of precious gold of the fur. For the glory of the king as is written I will make men more rare than fine gold and mankind than the pure gold of the fur Yeshea 1312 435 under the decoration gold bells are suspended all around a gold bell from this side a gold bell from this side and one pomegranate within that pomegranate there are a thousand bells and each one of those bells glows in red and in white that pomegranate is divided into four sliced segments and stays open to display its bells there are 325 bells to this. Side and similarly to each and every side until all the four directions in the world glow from the display of each individual segment they are referred to as a piece of a pomegranate as is written your cheek is like a piece of a pomegranate within your locks sure hashering 43 436 the four wheels in the four segments of the pomegranate take through rolling that ornament when they have taken it they elevate themselves upwards until they reach the upper wheel segment that moans day and night then all these segments join and take that crown and lift it upright and the sound of these wheels reverberates throughout the firmaments hearing this melodious sound all the legions of heaven are excited and all ask one another about it until all recite and proclaim blessed be the glory of Hashem from his place yeshis call 312 437 when the king that is Zeir and couples with the matron that is Malchut then this crown is elevated and set on the head of the matron meaning to say that all the activities mentioned above happen only when Zeir Anpin is joined with Malchut then one higher crown descends also to Zeir Anpin that is set around with every fine gem and bulbs and flowers it is equipped with six circles to the six ends of the world carried by the six wings of the eagle fifty grapes are surrounding that crown engraved on it by IMA above by the they are set with precious gems whose colors are white red green black and purple with 613 lights to each and every direction. 438 there are 1600 towers to each and every direction and each individual tower is done as permanently set rows have tur meaning that each tower is surrounded with a few houses derived from Turim they blossom above and get their sustenance from the table of IMA above who is binded from her anointing oil and the IMA above quietly bestows supernal gifts sends them and sets them into that crown afterward it endows abundant rivers of holy anointing oil on the king's head Zeir Anpin from his head. That supernal precious oil flows down on his glorious beard and from there it flows over the king's garments that is what is written it is like the precious ointment upon the head running down upon the beard Tehillim 1332 439 following this after the crown received all the above mentioned lights the crown returns IMA above decorates Zeir Anpin with this crown and spreads over Zeir Anpin and over Malchut glorious garments with that crown the Shesedim that enveloped the Chakma and that are named glorious garments and the sound reverberates throughout the world go forth O daughters of Zion and behold King Solomon with the crown with which his mother crowned him Sure Hashering 311 King Solomon is Zeir Anpin and IMA is by she then rejoices with all the king's children who are they they are all those who come from the side of Israel because they do not join with them by coupling Zeir Anpin and Malchut none stay with them except Israel who are of her household and serve them which means they raise male and female waters through their Torah study and prayer that awaken the union as a consequence of blessings that emerge from them from the coupling of Zeir Anpin and Malchut belong to Israel 440 and Israel take everything meaning all the blessings that result from the illumination of the coupling of Zeir Anpin and Malchut mentioned above as is defined in the secret of their two crowns they send part of them to the rest of the nations and from that part are sustained all the rest of the nations we have learned that the parts of the lower ones meaning the outer forces and the other nations of the world are drawn from a very fine path which emerges from between the aspects of the portions of the ministers of the heathen nations from there it separates to several directions that is what we call the residue that emanates from the side of the holy land that is Malchut 441 therefore the whole world drinks from the residue of the land of Israel. What is the land of Israel? We have already explained that the land of Israel is Malchut both above and below all the rest of the heathen nations do not get sustenance except from that residue do not think it is just they themselves for even the lowest Tyrot drink from that residue this is the meaning of a path of the vineyards that is a path from the chief ministers of the rest of the nations who are blessed from it 442 when the angel saw that Bilam had turned his ass towards that path that is referred to as a path of the vineyard in order to convey from there the energy to curse Israel it says to turn her into the way this indicates the path practiced by the outer forces which is a path of the vineyard through which they receive all their sustenance as mentioned above instantly the angel of Hashem stood in a path of the vineyards to block that path so the rest of the heathen nations would not be able to be helped by it nor would the lower Tyrot of the outer Forces of path of the vineyards will mean
Possible for the angel to block that path against the external forces since it would be necessary to be reopened he replies it is only because he had another help which was the Holy One plus B and the assembled congregation of Israel which is Malchut Rabbi Yehuda said the Torah helped him out because it is written on the one side and on the other were they written Shema 3215 444 at that time it is written and when the Asa she thrust herself to the wall Bimidbar 2225 what? Is the meaning of she thrust herself to the wall he responds it is as is written a breaking down of walls Yeshea 225 that wall means a protective wall here too a wall means shielding which is that force which protects them and crushed Bilam's foot against the wall if it means that she the ass gave him no help at all but in her distress she sent him to the wall who is the chief minister above assigned to protect them that is what she intimated to him by pressing herself to the wall then. He struck her again a bit at that left side 445 and the angel of Hashem went further and stood in a narrow place a bit 26 at that time the angel closed up all the roots and supporting courses so she would not have any help whatsoever from any side in the world then she lay down under Bilam a bit 27 meaning she count not even hint to find a place for help as she did before so he would ask help from the wall as mentioned above when Bilam saw that he was powerless it is written and Bilam's anger burned and he struck the ass with a staff a bit 27 we were taught that he loaded her and attired her with implements of forceful harsh judgment as we mentioned there 446 and Hashem opened the mouth of the ass a bit 28 that is one of those things that were created on the eve of Shabbat at twilight Rabbi Yitzhak said what benefit is there from this to Bilam or to the ass or to Israel in these speeches of the ass Rabbi Yossi said the ministers that were with him had a good Laugh at him when they reached Balak they said to him you will not find any substance in the matters and speeches of this fool you sent us to call on consequently with the utterances of his ass his honor was shamed Rabbi Shia said if the ass would not have spoken up with this Bilam would not have abandoned what was his it is only through the utterances of his ass that he realized his power had been broken 447 Rabbi Abba asked a difficult question it is written and the earth opened her mouth Bimidbar 1632 and it is written and Hashem opened the mouth of the ass why the difference between the earth and the ass it is not written regarding the earth that Hashem opened the mouth of the earth he responds it is only that there it was Moses decree that the earth needs to open her mouth and the earth performed the command of Moses by opening it is not proper that Hashem should carry out an instruction commanded by Moses seeing that Moses has decreed and instructed and it Earth opens her mouth of it thirty hence the earth performed the command of Moses as written and the earth opened her mouth however here there was no one who had decreed that it was only the wish of the Holy One blessed be he since that was his desire it is written and Hashem opened the mouth of the ass it originated with him and through him it occurred 448 Rabbi Yehuda said I have studied these passages about the mouth of the ass and these words these words seem not to be the needed ones as it says and Hashem opened the mouth of that ass it would have been more appropriate to have these utterances in matters of greater importance words of wisdom and if it is as the friend said that Bilam was taking pride in that his horse was in the pasture and therefore he had to take the ass and the ass had spoken up and said am I not your ass upon which you have written all your life to this day of it thirty then this is where she should have made her opening statement but she merely Started with what have I done to you of 28 if so why did the Holy One bless be he bother himself to open her mouth with these words 449 Rabbi Abba said it is definite that through these words of the ass I would have learned the thoughts of Bilam that he was not worthy to have the Holy Spirit upon him I also learned that his ass had no power to do good or evil I further learned from this ass that beasts do not have the strength to instill them with full understanding and consequently she spoke no words of wisdom come and see that Bilam could not comprehend the speech of his donkey nor the silly thoughts of his ass how much more would he be uncomprehending of the knowledge of the Most High yet he claimed that he knows the knowledge of the Most High Bimidbar 2416 450 and she said to Bilam what have I done to you Bimidbar 2228 meaning that she informed him and it is not within her domain to do any good or harm because beasts do not behave except how they are led. To behave although that ass was in great distress she had no control on her own because Bilam had loaded her with his magic and she remained under his authority 451 and Bilam said to the ass because you have mocked me but 29 he should have laughed her off but instead he responded with the logic then they laughed at him and he became debased in their eyes in the eyes of the ministers that accompanied him and they realized that he was a fool what did he say because you have mocked me I would there were a sword in my hand but the minister said this fool boasts that he could destroy nations with his mouth but he cannot even destroy his ass and he needs a sword we have further learned that beasts do not contain that power required to have them be endowed with another spirit of wisdom if people tend to think and say if the beasts could talk how much perfected knowledge would come to the world they should go learn from that ass whose mouth the holy one blessed be he opened to. See how she spoke section 45 when Balak took Bilam we are told that Bilam went up to the altars of Bal because he foresaw that Israel would come to worship Bal in the future Bilam wanted to provoke a quarrel with Israel yet he saw he could not because of their friendship with God so he made a sacrifice to God that was rejected Bilam told Balak to restrain Malchut with his witchcraft and if he could do that he himself would nullify the blessings he had. Given Israel yet Rabbi Yitzhak says that Israel could be cursed neither from the aspect of the patriarchs nor the matriarchs the rabbis talk about various sections of the scripture, the top of the rocks the dust of Jacob and the fourth part of Israel in the end we hear that Bilam saw that even with all his witchcraft and his offerings he would be unable to sever Israel from God so he was powerless he had tried to breach Israel's defenses at the level of Jacob and at the level of Israel. But was unable to because neither level is ever involved in evil actions. We hear that there are two clipot of iniquity and perverseness that correspond to enchantment and divination. Bilam thought these would be the right weapons against Jacob and Israel, but he was wrong. The rabbis say that Israel is as strong as a lion and will conquer the heathen nations in the future. Rabbi Abba also refers to the form of a lion that appears on top of acceptable burnt offerings if the form of a dog appeared. On the fire, it meant that Israel must repent. Rabbi Laser returns to the story of Bilam and tells Rabbi Yossi that at the moment Bilam turned his evil eye to Israel, God protected them by covering them with his spirit. Bilam praised Israel so that his evil eye would be more effective and they would be more vulnerable to it, but God did not allow him to harm Israel. Israel is never afraid, even in exile, because they have the strength of a lion due to their study of the Torah and their Obedience to its laws 452 and it came to pass on the morrow when Balak took Bilam Bimidbar 2241 Rabbi Yitzhak said Balak was wiser in magic than Bilam except that he was unable to figure out the most opportune time to curse like Bilam like in the parable therefore Balak took Bilam he was preparing him and holding to him in everything 453 and brought him up into the high altars of Bal Abid what is the meaning of and brought him up into the high altars of Bal he responds it is only that he observed which aspect of Israel he should grasp onto with his witchcraft and he discovered that Israelites were destined to build altars and serve the Bal as it says and serve the Bal to Melashim 1716 that thence he might see the utmost part of the people Bimidbar 2241 he noticed the chiefs of the people and their king who worshipped him as it is written and they called on the name of the Bal I Melashim 1826 and it is written if Hashem Bialohim Ibid 21 as soon as Bilam noticed the children of Israel were destined for it in the future immediately Bilam said to Balak build me here seven altars Bimidbar 231 454 Rabbi Yossi and Rabbi Yehuda were talking one said that in accordance with the earlier altars that were prepared by the ancestors he offered sacrifices on seven altars and one said that he did everything with wisdom because he found that Israel's lot was tied to the seven levels she said Vira Tiferet Netzach Hadyazid and Balchud Therefore he said let me set up seven altars 455 this is comparable to a person who had a friend whose father left him people were afraid to quarrel with him on account of that friendship sometime later a person came along and wanted to quarrel with him he thought to himself what should I do if I provoke him into a quarrel here he has a friend and I shall not prevail what did he do he sent a gift to the friend the friend thought to himself what does this f
written and Elohim met Habugur and cooled himself to what Ibalam was thinking in addition and Elohim met is as we were taught that the aspect of defilement was roused against him 458 Rabbi Lazar said that Yugur means that Bailam believed he would be able to harm Israel with that gift the Holy One blessed be he eradicated that gift from his presence expunged Bailam from such thoughts and uprooted him from that level that is the written meaning of Baikur as it says it. Ravens of the valley shall pick it up. Habakkuk Hamishle 3017. He said to him, Wicked one, you are not worthy to be associated with me or to enter into my presence. Your gift will be presented to the dog. 459. Rabbi Shimon said, Come and realize that this wicked one was the abomination of everyone because you will not find in the entire passage of the episode such expressions as, And Hashem spoke to Bilaam or, And Hashem said, Heaven forbid it is written, And Hashem put a word in the mouth. A Bilaam, which is like someone who puts the bridle bit into the mouth of the ass to restrain him from diverting here and here, so too is the meaning of, And Hashem put a word in the mouth. 460. The Holy One blessed be. He said to him, Wicked one, do you really think that it depends on you if the blessings of my children will endure and be fulfilled or not? They do not need you. They say to be not from your sting and not from your honey, but rather go back to Balak. 2316. When you Open your mouth, it will not be in your control and it will not depend on your mouth, but only save us. Hebko for Ko, which is the Shechanah, is prepared to bless them, and Ko will express the blessing of my children. When you open your mouth, she will speak the words that will come true upon my children, and I will not leave these matters in your hand. 461 Come and see that this is how it was as soon as Bilaam came to Balak, and Balak heard all these things with which he blessed Israel. Balak first thought that they emerged from Bilaam's mouth, he said, I called you to curse my enemies, and Bilaam replied, Take this witchcraft into your hand to restrain here this Ko, which is Malchut. If you will be capable of holding her back with the sorcery, I will expunge all these words that she said from her, meaning he will nullify the blessings that she said as mentioned above. 462 It is written, Stand us, Hebko, by your burnt offering, Bimidbar 2315, here by and through these magical. Practices you will restrain her coh which is malchut while I go to the meeting under let me co meaning to say I will expunge her from these words that were said by her the holy one blessed be he said to him wicked one I will uproot you it is said following this and Elohim met by Lam, Bimidbar 2316 that matter will raise its voice with the speeches of Ko and that is what is written and said go back to Balak and save us Hebko and save us Ko is exact 463 come and see the first time it is not written stand us Hebko by your burnt offering but rather stand by your burnt offering and I will go perhaps Hashem will come to meet me but three however when he realized that Ko spoke those blessings he then said stand us Ko by your burnt offering while I go to the meeting under meaning as explained in the previous discussion 464 come curse Heberami Jacob Ibid 7 means to pick derived from I have gathered Heberami Mimer with my spice Sure, Hashirim 51 Rabbi Yussi says he threw them off from that level where they stood before as it is written and I will shoot Hebor on the side of it. Ishmuel 2020 meaning shoot and hurl them away. He said if you will be able to hurl them off that level that is Malchut all of them will be uprooted from the world and come to announce Yisrael. Bimidbar 237 refers to Yisrael above which is Zeir and who should cause him to be angry meaning anger and indignation shall be before him as it says and. And El who has indignation every day. Tehillim 712 465 4 from the top of the rocks I see him. Bimidbar 239 Rabbi Yitzhak said this refers to the patriarchs as it is written look to the rock once you are hewn. Yeshea 511 and from the hills I behold him. Bimidbar 239 this refers to the matriarchs they could be cursed neither from the aspect of the patriarchs nor from that of the matriarchs. 466 Rabbi Abba said that top of the rocks means who has power against Israel since they are attached and emanate from the top of the rocks who are the rocks they are Gbirat because all the judgments in the world emerge from the Gbirat and they are attached onto them and from the hills I behold him. These are the rest of the camps that are linked to them to the Gbirat. It is a people that shall dwell alone but it is the same as it is written so Hashem alone did lead him to Barim 3212 467 who could count the dust of Jacob Bimidbar 2310 this was already explained however. Rabbi Yussi said there are two levels Jacob and Israel at the beginning when he is at the six ends he is considered Jacob and later on when he attains the first three Sfarah he is Israel although it is all the same there are two grades the higher grade is Israel and the grade of Jacob is lower 468 who can count the dust of Jacob he asks what is the dust below in the level of Jacob Rabbi Shimon says it is written about it his sword makes them as dust Yeshea 412 who is his sword it is. Known that it is Malchut as is written the sword of Hashem is filled with blood Yeshea 346 because Malchut is considered the sword of Hashem dust refers to the place from which Adam was created as it is written and Hashem Elohim formed man of the dust of the ground Bereshit 27 from that dust emerge many legions and many camps many levels many trial investigators many arrows many projectile stones and many spear swords and weapons who can count is as it says is there any number two his army Zio 253 469 and the number of the fourth part of Israel Bimidbar 2310 the quarter of Israel is the Hay of Yud Hay Bape because Israel which is Zeir and contains four letters from the name Yud Hay Bape of which Malchut is the fourth letter therefore it is called the fourth part Hebrew of Israel it is one with the dust of Jacob which is also Malchut except that dust is Malchut of Jacob and the fourth part is Malchut of Israel a fourth of Israel is as it says lying under its burden Shema 235 whose Aramaic translation is Rabbi thus the fourth part of Israel means the laying down of Israel that is the bed of Israel which is Malchut which is called bed this refers to that which is written his litter that of Solomon Shirhasherim sure, 37 which is Malchut another explanation of fourth part like the lower fourth of Israel namely Malchut which is below Zeir and that is called Israel being the fourth underneath IT for it is called the fourth. Part in the sequence of the Sfirah from this we understand that David which is Malchut is the fourth leg of the throne since she said Bureau Tiferet of Zeir and Ben are the three legs of the throne which is Ben and Malchut is a fourth to them 470 another explanation of who can count the dust of Jacob dust are all those who are considered as dust meaning that emanate from Malchut that is called dust as we explained and the number of the fourth part of Israel is meant in the same. Since as is written is there any number to his armies the fourth part of Israel means as we explained it now refers to the quarter of Israel and not to the dust of Jacob another explanation who can count the dust of Jacob refers to the precepts applying to the dust like sowing planting harvesting as was already explained by the friends and the number of the fourth part of Israel refers to the precepts applying to the livestock as it says you shall not let your cattle gender with a Diverse kind, Baikra 19, 19, 471, and he took up his discourse and said, Bimidbar 237, he inquires, it is not written, he spoke, that would mean that he spoke, then what is the meaning of, and he took up his discourse, indicating that he made the speech, and nobody else, Rabbi Shia said, he was just raising his voice towards the speaker, that is Malchut called COH, that is the meaning of, and he took up his discourse, this was Bailam who took up his discourse and said, which refers to Koshi. Spoke as is written, and say, thus, Hebko Malchut, that is called COH, will do the speaking, and the speech was from her 472, come and see that Bailam saw that even with all his witchcraft and all that offering, meaning the sacrifices that he offered, he was unable to uproot that Ko, as it says, while I go to the meeting under Hebko to uproot Ko, the Holy One, blessed be, he said to him, wicked one, you are planning to annihilate her, I will extricate you from your chain, meaning he will. Uproot him from the source it is written and Elohim met Hebaker Bailam as we explained that it is derived from the ravens of the valley shall pick it out Hebaker Hamishle 3017 pick him out of his level following this when he realized that he was impotent he again said and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it her it should have read I cannot reverse him but reverse her is more specific because it refers to her about whom the word ko is used as and say thus had koju. Malchut about whom he said I cannot reverse her from Israel 473 Bailam said in two levels I tried to enter them I tried to enter
Perverseness in Yisrael what is the reason because Hashem is Elohim is with him 475 if you will venture to say that with these iniquity and perverseness I cannot succeed but with enchantment and divination I will succeed it is written surely there is no enchantment in Jacob nor is there any divination in Yisrael of 23 not only this but all the legions above and all the camps are unaware nor do they look at the customs of the king of high until only after they ask for these two levels of Jacob and Yisrael what are they saying what El has performed Ibn Rabbi Lazar said all these matters were spoken by Ko that is Malchut and Balaam just raised his voice towards her having no idea what it was all about nor what he was saying 476 behold the people shall rise up as a great lion Ibn 24 which nation is as strong as Yisrael when the morning light breaks to shine he rises and gains strength like a lion for the devotional service of his master with many songs and Praise is studying Torah all day at night he shall not lie down until he eat of the prey but when a person wishes to lie down on his bed he sanctifies the holy name and proclaims him king above and below how many instigators of judgment come together before them at the time they open their mouths on their bed with shma Yisrael and beg for compassion before the holy king with several verses of mercy 477 Rabbi Abba said behold the people shall rise up as a great lion means this nation is destined to rise in the future over all heathen nations like a powerful mighty lion and will hurdle himself over them it is the manner of all lions to lie down over their prey however this nation shall not lie down until he eat of the prey 478 another explanation of behold the people shall rise up as a great lion to bring offerings and burnt offerings before the king on the altar we have learned that at the time the offering is being burnt on the altar they perceive the form of a lion Reclining on top of that sacrifice and eating it 479 Rabbi Abba said Uriel was a high angel and he was perceived in the form of a strong lion reclining on the altar and consuming the sacrifices when Yisrael were not so worthy they used to perceive it in the form of some impudent dog reclining over it the children of Yisrael then realized that they had to repent and they repented he shall not lie down until he eat of the prey refers to the sacrifices that must be completely consumed by fire during the night such as burnt offerings and drink the blood of the slain David bar 234 means that the holy one blessed be he will carry on battles with their enemies for them 480 Rabbi Lazar said that it is written he shall not lie down what is the meaning of he shall not lie down he responds it is only because every single night when a person follows as his master commands he does not lie down on his bed until he kills 1125 of those evil species that dwell with him Rabbi Abba. Said 8,000 are from the left side as it is written 8,000 shall fall at your side. Tehillim 917 and it is also written let the pious be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds the high praises of El are in their mouth to execute vengeance upon the nations. Tehillim 1,495 to 7 hence it says he shall not lie down which is the meaning of to execute upon them the judgment of 9,481 Rabbi Shishkiah said in accordance with the three times that Bilaam beat his ass and loaded her with his witchcraft Israel was blessed three times Rabbi Shia said corresponding to this Israel got the blessing to go up three times a year and be seen in the presence of the holy king 482 and when Bilaam saw that it pleased Hashem to bless Israel he went not as at other times to seek for enchantments Even bar 241 he inquires what is the meaning of to seek for enchantments Rabbi Yossi said the first two times he approached with all the implements of his witchcraft and desired. To curse Israel, then he realized the wish of the Holy One, blessed be he who said, Go back to Balak, because they have no need of your utterances and other speeches forthcoming from this Ko as it says, and save us, Hetko, that means Ko will be speaking and not you, and save us, Ko or Ko will speak, because she governs all the rulers of witchcraft and sorcery and the variety of evil, so they are not able to harm my children. He then wished to gaze at them with the evil eye 483. Come and see this wicked one when he gazed at Israel, he looked into both of these levels, Jacob and Israel, to harm them with his witchcraft, either this one or that one, therefore at each and every blessing, both Jacob and Israel were blessed, and when Bilam saw that it pleased, how did he see he responds? He noticed that when the king's face was shining, the variety of evils did not remain, and none of the magic and sorcery were successful in their witchcraft. 484, come and see at those. Two times it is written met once in and Elohim met and once in and Hashem met Bilaam then it says and save us Hetko when he realized that no anger exists and his witchcraft was not helping him he went not as at other times as soon as he separated and removed himself from his magic he began with another kind of rousing to praise Israel Rabbi Yehuda said what was this rousing here he said to him this was the rousing of a spirit of the left side the one under whom all the varieties of his witchcraft are connected 485 Rabbi Lazar said this is what I was taught even the third time the Holy Spirit did not dwell upon him Rabbi Yossi inquired of him if so why is it written and the spirit of Elohim came upon him but two and all the other times it is not written that way he replied to him that is the way it must become and see that it is written he that has a generous I shall be blessed Mishlei 229 it was already said in explanation not to read shall be blessed but Rather shall bless since Bilaam was of the evil I know one in the existence of the world was as evil eyed as he everything at which he gazed with his eyes became cursed 486 therefore they said whoever crosses his son in the marketplace and has fear of the evil I should cover the top of his head with a headscarf so the evil I will not affect him as well when Bilaam noticed that he could not succeed with his magic and sorcery in harming Israel he wanted to gaze on them with the evil I because everything he looked at with his evil eyes became cursed come and see what he planned against Israel it is written but he set his face toward the wilderness Bimidbar 241 as the Targum translates that he put his gaze in the direction of the cap that Israel created and sent within the desert so that he may get allies to harm them 487 see what is written and Bilaam lifted up his eyes and he saw Israel Bimidbar 242 because he wished to gaze at them with the evil eye at that very moment if the Holy One blessed be he would not have preceded him with the remedy he could have destroyed them with the gaze of his eyes which remedy did the Holy One blessed be he grant to Israel at that very moment it is written and the spirit of Elohim came upon him and came upon him refers to Israel the Holy One blessed be he extended and covered Israel over with the spirit of Elohim it is in the same sense as a person spreads a scarf over the head of the child in order that no evil eye shall affect him 488 he opened the discussion with the verse how goodly are your tents O Jacob Ibn 5 come and see whoever wishes to gaze with an evil eye is not able to do so unless he praises and adores that one whom he wishes to curse with the evil eye what is his usual method of operation he says how nice he is how beautiful he is in order that the evil eye would affect him here too he said how goodly are your tents O Jacob how nice how beautiful they are how Beautiful are the plants that have been planted from them, they are comparable to the pretty plantings that the Holy One blessed be he has planted in the Garden of Eden with that plantings shall come forth from these dwellings 489 he shall pour the water out of his bucket this is like a man who had fine hands beautiful in appearance one person passed by a man of the evil eye gazed at these hands grasped them and began to praise them saying how beautiful they are how pretty look at the fingers cut out in the highest form of beauty then he says who shall give these hands to dwell among precious stones and expensive purple garments they shall be in his house to use them and they shall be stored in his vault 490 here the same Bilaam began to praise how goodly are your tents O Jacob and your tabernacles O Israel how handsome they are and how fine afterward he shall pour the water out of his bucket of its seven which means that you cannot find a nicer planting than this the Planting of Torah outside of these peaceful dwellings and moistening a seed plentifully of it which he meant to be among the clipot that are called great mighty waters meaning to say that the Holy Spirit should not grow and increase 491 the Holy One blessed be he said to him wicked one your eyes can do no harm because there is a veil of the Holy Spirit prevailing on them he then said El brought him out of Egypt the which means none of the world's inhabitants will be able to harm them because a strong and powerful higher strength holds onto them what is it it is El brought him out of Egypt not only that but he has as it were the strength of a wild ox of it no person could extend his hands over him due to his height because he exists at such a height he shall eat up the nations his enemies of it and no one is able to harm them 492 even at a time when he is not standing they will not succe
world could prevail. Section 46 Uzzah and Azel Rabbi Yehuda tells how Balaam went to the mountains of darkness to consult with Uzzah and Azel. We hear what happens in those mountains and how Uzzah and Azel teach magic and sorcery to those who enter there. When Balaam went there, God confused all the magic in the world so it would be ineffective against his children. So Balaam eventually gave Balak advice regarding the Midianite women in an attempt to hurt Israel when God saw that he had given this advice. He told Balaam that he would be ensnared in his own plot and indeed he was later killed in the vengeance against Midian 494. And now behold, I go to my people. Dibid Bar 2414 Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse, You shall not deliver to his master, the servant shall dwell with you. Dibar 2316 How lovely are the words of the Torah before the Holy One, blessed be he, and how beloved is the Torah that gave her as a legacy to the assembled. Congregation of Israel come and see at the time they left Egypt. Balaam heard that his witches and sorcerers and all those ties that they performed were not effective against Israel. He began to scratch himself and tear his hair out of his head. And he went to the mountains of darkness and reached the iron chains with which Azah and Azel are bound. 495 This is the manner of the one who reaches them as soon as a person enters there between the mountaintops. Azel that one that is called. Having his eyes open, Dibid Bar 244 notices him. He immediately informs Azah they then give a sound signal and the great burning snakes gather to them and surround them. They send a type of small creature called an imta towards that person. We were taught that it is a cat like animal with a narrow snake like head. It has two tails and its hands and feet are tiny. A person who sees it covers his face and brings a vessel with ashes that is called smoke shreds from the burning of a white rooster. And throws them in front of the Anumta which then comes with him. 496 he goes until he reaches the top of the chains because the top of those chains is stuck into the ground and reaches to the great depths. In the great depths there exists a socket that is stuck into the lower depth and into that socket the top of the chains is connected. When a person reaches the top of the chain he knocks at it three times. The Azah and Azale call for him. He then kneels on his knees, bows down and continues to close his eyes until he reaches them. He then sits up in front of them and all these snakes surround him from either side. Then he opens his eyes and sees them. He is shaken and he falls on his face and bows towards them. 497 following this Azah and Azale teach him magic and sorcery and he stays with them for 50 days. When the time arrives to leave on his way that little creature called Anumta and all these snakes walk in front of him until he leaves the mountain ranges from in between. That heavy darkness 498 when Balaam reached Azah and Azel he told them what he needed from them locked himself with them in the mountains and begged to denounce Israel and return them to Egypt the Holy One blessed be he confused and impaired all the wisdoms in the world and all the magic in the world so they could not get close to Israel 499 come and see when Balaam realized that he was incapable of harming Israel he returned to Balak and gave him advice in order to harm Israel. Something he did not ask him to do and his advice was regarding the Midianite women who were beautiful if not for the fact that Moses told this to us we would not have known of it because it is written behold these caused the children of Israel through that counsel of Balaam Bar 3116 500 when the Holy One blessed be he saw his advice he said you will certainly get snared by your own plot because he was killed in the vengeance against Midian what did the power controlling magic? Do that is Malchut as mentioned above it showed him the final and he inquires does he have permission to see into the distant future Rabbi Yitzhak said the I saw and perceived however the actual statements were spoken by the one who is over him meaning it came from Malchut this was already explained in relation to the verse and he took up his discourse and said who spoke whoever had the authority to speak meaning Malchut as we mentioned there why is that so so that disgusting statements by Balaam should not come true through the will of the Most High through the high wish of the Torah section 47 in the time of Messiah we are told what will happen at the time of Messiah when God is going to rebuild Jerusalem the account presages the destruction of Rome and its ruler and talks about many wars the spirit of Messiah will destroy the enemies of Israel and the righteous will be brought back to life when the children of Israel leave their exile Sheshanah will go with them and there will be great joy at the time of redemption. All blessings will freely flow to the righteous from the great deep springs of Shachma and by the 501 I behold it but it is not near. Bimidbar 2417 because some of these items came true at that time and some of them are for future times in the period of Messiah we learned that the Holy One blessed be he is destined to build up Jerusalem and display a fixed star that sparkles with 70 moving planets and with 70 winds that display light from it in the center of the firmament another 70 stars will be instructed and guided by it and it will be glowing and blazing 70 days 502 on Friday on the 25th day to the 6th month the star will be seen it will be gathered on the 7th day at the ending of the 70 days it will be covered and not seen on the first day it will be seen in the city of Rome and on that day three higher walls will fall from the city of Rome and it Great palace which is there will fall the governor of that city will die then that star will spread and extend to be seen in the world during that time great and mighty wars will be stirring in the world to all four directions and there will be no faith among them 503 in the center of the world when that star will shine in the center of heaven a great king and ruler will rise in the world his spirit will rise over all the kings and provoke war on the two sides and will overpower them 504 during the day when that star will be covered the holy land will shatter and shake 45 miles around the area of the temple house and a cave underneath the ground will be discovered from that cave will emanate a fire to burn the world and from that cave will grow one great lofty branch that will dominate over the entire world and the kingdom will be granted to him the saintliest people will be gathering to him and messiah will be revealed in the entire world and the kingdom will be granted to him 505 at the time of the revealing of Messiah the inhabitants of the world will find themselves in one distress after another and those who hate Israel will get stronger than the spirit of Messiah will stir upon them and will destroy the wicked Edom and the entire land of Seir will go up in flames concerning that time it is written and Israel shall do valiantly Bimidbar 2418 that is the meaning of and Edom shall be his possession Seir also his enemies if it meaning the enemies of Israel that is the meaning of and Israel shall do valiantly at that time the Holy One blessed be he will raise to life the dead of his people and remove death from them this is what it says the right hand of Hashem does valiantly I shall not die but live Tehillim 11816 to 17 it is further written and liberators shall ascend Obadiah 121 and then it is written and Hashem shall be king Zechariah 149 506 Rabbi Abba said what is the meaning of for you shall go out with joy Yeshayah 5512 it only means that when Israel leave the exile the Shechinah will leave with them they will leave together with her this is the meaning of for you shall go out with joy with the Shechinah that is called gladness joy is referring to the Holy One blessed be Rabbi Yitzhak said that is referring to the righteous meaning is it in Zeir and this is what is written joy and gladness shall be found in it Yeshayah 513 which are Yizid and Malchut 507 Rabbi Shimon said the righteous that is Yezid of Zeir and is called joy from that day onward when the assembled congregation of Israel fell into the exile the blessings were prevented from flowing down to the world from this righteous at that time of redemption it is written therefore with joy shall you draw water Yeshayah 123 this refers to the righteous called joy out of the wells of salvation Ibid refers to Abba and Ima which are Shachma and Bina from where the Yezid draws another explanation out of the wells of salvation Is referring to Netzach and Hot from whom Yezid receives all receive from deep springs that flow which are Shachma and Bina then it is written and in that day you shall say Hashem I will praise you Ibid 1 it is also written cry out and shall you inhabitant of Zion Ibid 6 bless be Hashem forevermore Amen and Amen Hashem reign forevermore Amen and Amen